Funnily enough, even though 90 days have passed, if you missed the entire last session, we're starting in pretty much exactly the same situation. Because the run started and ended with, well, quite a bit of misery for us. But we'll take a restock on how we're doing and turn the whole situation around. Exactly, Marvin. This time we have the dinars. And not only that, one thing that feels nice about losing in this game, well, insofar as it can feel that way, is that you can still bounce back because you still accumulate skill, money, and renown. There we go, this thing loves to pop up a bit too much. Okay, so here we are where we started at Maranath, and we are still a loyal member of the Batarians. Unfortunately, there's almost nothing left of them. They've been torn apart by multiple wars. Uh, wars. They're still under siege. The French are coming to get them. The French got me. I had a disastrous fight. And that means, of course, my inventory is completely empty. We're on our own. Well, I have one horse, one crummy horse. And I've still got the, the goods that I equipped myself with, which is a whole lot better than what I started. But we need to rebuild our inventory, rebuild our army, and rebuild that influence, because I like being paid. So we might as well do it from here and continue to take the fights where we can. So, so, so. I guess I can't be particularly fussy on the units that I end up with. So, crummy volunteers and one whole trained warrior. On you come. Hopefully my companions can... I have to just take them all. Uh, what about you? Yes, actually. I don't like the wood runners. Basically, I don't like anyone that upgrades to the right. Just because it's a lot easier to bulk increase if they're all from the left. Or bulk upgrade, rather. So I take it all... I grab myself some much needed food. Uh, decent rates here, so why don't I get myself, say, five of everything. I'm sure we'll loot our way to better goods later on, but I certainly want to... I mean, cargo exceeded. Need some workhorses then. Uh, not you, though, because you don't increase... Uh, ah, I'll bring you anyway, at least you speed us up. Yeah, I want the stewardship upgrade from all the different kinds of food. On top of that, I do want hardwood. And I can smelt that down to charcoal, which still makes it lighter. Hello, Jake. How's your day? Well, it's just started. But any day with some mountain blade is bound to be a good one. Right, three grand to get our self started, plus hiring fees. Should be okay. Gonna go and grab some fians in training before the castle falls. You got Remtol and Crag... Oh, wait. Oh, you are already taken now. You you are under siege. Hmm. If that's the case, I'm going to grab as many units as I can and aid that siege. Now, when it comes to our clan, we're still just single. I'll need to find myself a uh, childbearing woman at some point so we can start popping out the scrogs. Until then, though, we've got Trigvi, Fugger, and Stalin. We used to have Yuna, but uh, Yuna's pilgrimage came to an end. Surprisingly so, she was just in the archer lot, but she still got shot and killed. But of course we are playing with 33 times increased death rate, so go figure, we're going to see some casualties. Still got two prisoners, I'm sure they will get free at some point, until then at least Stalin has joined us. And you're right, I don't remember what Stalin's position is. What are you even equipped with, Stalin? Stalin is a good... Mm, riding and bow, really, so you are made to be a horseback archer. But I still like you having shields. Then again, that's very few arrows, isn't it? Ah, oh, heck, I'm sure that'll be fine. I don't know how it designates whether someone's a horseback attacker or a horseback archer. But either way, you'll probably just ride with me as long as you stick close. Anyway, grab army, assist uh, castle, go and take it, and then round ourselves back up an army. The army is going to be very green for a wee while, but we have perks that level up our units automatically, which is very welcome. Now, I, plenty of people say, oh, just take anyone, just take anyone, but no, I, I like to be a little bit fussy with my units at the very... Oh, God, so much for helping that army. Maybe we can turn the tide of this battle. Ooh. Uh, I 
got more reinforcements. Oh, wait, that's not reinforcements. That's the caravan. But still, I don't think that's uh, going to work out too well for my fellow clansmen. Not a coward, just prudent. Volunteer, trained warrior. Uh, not taking, not taking horseback units. I'm pretty sure Batarians have terrible horseback units. Yeah, I'm not buying the idea that I could have changed the flow of that battle. Mm, clan warrior is a trained up version, so gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, but now I seriously want slash need some Fions. But we have uh, we have no castles anymore, do we? Which means no noble troops. Unless any of it got taken. Oh wait, no, there's still Utilam Castle. So let's head up that way. On top of that, Sayanon might have some goods that we need. Have fun, Jake. May Balaton swallow but a few frames today. I'm going to catch up yesterday's stream. Uh, yesterday it swallowed almost none. Not completely none, but barely any, and I was very happy with that. Right, uh, I think I just want lots of horses. I really want that carry capacity. And even a little bit of a herding penalty isn't too much to burden with that. And Midlands and Batanian horses are pretty good for the increased speed. Basically, I just like having horses. Yeah, there we go. Now that's an actual speed. On top of that, I should probably get going with my... Or get back going with my smithing career, which came to a horrific end last time. Which is to say I lost all my stuff. So if I get some hardwood and get going with smelting down some cheap crummy weapons. Cracked blacksmith hammer still smelts fine. Wooden hammers, blacksmith hammers, pitchforks. Yeah. And all lets me go into the smithy and melt it down. So get smelting, smelt all of this stuff. You don't. Oh, right, of course, I need actual charcoal, don't I? Give us all of that. Smelt us all of that. And that's pretty good because a lot of it was uh, made of wood, which allows us to turn that wood back into charcoal. Now, none of, the, none of this stuff is really changed from vanilla except for the fact that I can uh, not have to waste time by actually passing time inside a city to keep on with the forging. Man, this is grim. This, the start of both streams is hey, let's go to the forge. I know, I know. But hey, it makes me feel good to give people the kind of tools they're looking for. Uh, that said, can we get any thrust damage going here? How in the world do I have a tier 4 thing here? Oh, because it only has tier 4. Well, unfortunately for you, this is the best I can do. And they still like it. Still gets us apart, and someday I will be able to make decent weapons for everyone. Uh, this one they're probably not going to like. Actually, they're not going to like it all, because I have no iron for it. The pain of having lost all of my... Uh, all of my goods. I used to have iron and steel, and even fine steel from things I smelted down, and I spent quite a bit of money on those. But that's... Oh. This one's actually pretty good. Almost good enough, even. Ah, but that's the reason it needs iron. Then you just get the junk. Making people... Wait, who are you? Mangy Young's unused DDR pad wants a javelin. So somebody wanted to sneak in a reference on the names list to the fact that Dark Young has had his dance map for, what, months now? And still not made good on his uh, boastful braggart ways of, oh, you'll pick it up and do it easy, easy game, isn't it? Ah, well, someday. Someday, I hope. In any case, what were the really good... Was it the Highland Throwing Daggers that were good for smelting down? I think they were. I'm going to make an assumption and just take them all. Even though this is costing me a lot of money that's going to dry up real fast. Great so No, actually, it's a pretty terrible source. It just gives me wrought iron, which isn't so hot. But I'll still do it, and I'll still get more parts. At some point, I reckon I'm going to make myself a half-decent knife. I want to try them out. Maybe use them for prison breaks, which I've still not found a way to do. Like, how do you do prison breaks? I get that they're a thing, but how do you even instigate them? Yeah, I was a little bit late today, actually. 45 minutes late. 
Unthinkable. I was ready to go with 10 and then realized uh, that I hadn't done some updates. But got it done, got it tested, and all was well. Right, Glorious Fians. Do I want Batarian Volunteers? Not really. I already have a lot of uh, foot troops. Oh, but uh, how dare I go away from here without taking their hardwood? Oh, the price is pretty grim. But I think I can take it anyway, and i got to remember, some places love charcoal. That was quite the thing to... Uh, quite thing to discover, that charcoal can actually be sold for a profit. I had no idea. Of course, how do you know where to sell things for a profit? That I don't know. Maybe there's uh, some kind of perk that helps out with that? That flaxman is down the wrong way, but some trained warriors wouldn't go amiss. I mean, do you want to buy charcoal at a... No, you don't. What I could do, I suppose, is set up... What is it? Alt-A? Here we go. This is the auto trader configuration. But I'll be honest, I'm looking at this and I don't really know how to interact with any of this. Feels like something that I should practice with before just using straight up. Maybe that'll be more useful in the late game when I have a ton of stuff. Too intimidating to look at right now. At least we're not at war up here anymore, but uh, by gods, not a good day for us and our gang. Right, I was needing to get some cavalry. I've been, I've been really feeling the burn of lack of cavalry for engagements. But... I don't want to use the cataphracts because I used them last time. I wouldn't mind actually using the French, but the slight problem there is that the French are at war with us. Maybe once this war is over. And this war will be over easily if... well, easier if I come and help out here. You're not coming to engage, are you? I worry that you're going to join up with some others. And there's the others! Bye! <laughs> yeah... Sorry, Batanian friends, but I gotta look out for number one here. And check to see if I want my glorious charcoal, and in a way they do. Ooh, wow, they really do. Ah, right, but... And this I need to remember. There's very limited budgets over in villages. This is how you lose a war. Well, it's not my problem, I'm just a mercenary. I have no intention of bringing Batania up to uh, the glorious heights here. I'm just here to make, uh, make ends meet, you know? But I still do want to fight some errant Frenchmen. I wonder if you actually restocked on any units. I don't know how quickly these places restock, but... Wow, very fast, apparently. Great opportunity to get you. Now I have, well, no cavalry, admittedly, but I can take on those cavalry guys myself. All right, let's use our newfound confidence and go out and pick a fight with the Frenchies. Like Urendolf up there, who's weakened a bit from his previous excursions. His army is made of pretty much everything, but he has a fair amount of Vlandian cavalry, which are a pain. And uh, is he actually coming to fight us? He is. That's kind of good, because it puts us on the defensive. So let's hold this wonderful-looking hill. If you have anything to say, say it quickly. Well, uh, what I do have to say is that I forgot to upgrade my troops, and I surely have troops worth upgrading. So uh, we're absolutely going to fight. The game thinks that they are much better. Unfortunately, the militia's joining in. Ooh, hmm. Well, that is quite bad. Out-experienced and outnumbered. Well... We did just waste all of our money. Why not? Why not get rid of it with a generous donation? Could you smash the small army that approached? Probably could have moved in on them, but I thought they would turn back to the other guys. Right, I got nothing but greens. Whose militia is that? Or is that my unit? I think that's my units, actually. Oh, God, it's another fight by the town. I am not the world's biggest fan of those. You might even say I'm the world's smallest fan of those. My footmen have no shields. 
So actually, they're in a pretty grim situation. This is a much grimmer fight than I was expecting. And the cavalry is going to tear us apart. Shields are for pansies, well... These not pansies are going to get ripped apart then, aren't they? I still think they're going to be shot from people over there, but oh well. Oh, there's still... There's still you, isn't there? Um, Stalin, you just go over there. Oh god, they got a lot of cavalry. I think their cavalry alone could come and destroy me. So I need to do what I can do. It's not like I've got a great weapon to smack them with either. Oh man, I am 100% going to be mulched here. I might order a retreat and sacrifice my units just to get away because otherwise... Well, we'll, we'll see. If I can distract the enemy and have them die under a hail of uh, my rookie's shots, then maybe. But that seems unlikely. My, my horse is already about to go lame. Oh, Christ, so am I at this rate. Let loose, arrows, let loose. I'm assuming you have the range from there. Are they... Is their view line being blocked by the infantry? Something ain't working for my uh, archers here. Move! Infantry, move! I didn't want my people to be so close to the enemy arrows. Yeah, and I can see Sword Sister just shot one of my volunteers, which is bad. I'm pretty sure they're just frozen in fear. Well, look at this. I would be too. Since I am. Yeah, look at that. They are actually shooting our volunteers to death. Hey, they got stuff to throw. That's cool. Well, some of them do. Alright, yeah, they're being shot from there. We have got, like, no chance here. I should probably just sound the retreat. Never retreated before, I think. How does this work out? Did we lose any units from that retreat? I don't think so. We had 65 before. So is it just a way to restart a battle? Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Sounds kind of very weird. Good to know, though, because I had a battle glitch out once. There was a unit just stuck underneath a tree, and there was nothing you could do. Mm, the high ground might look nice, but... These recruits, good for decoy only. It certainly feels that way. Bowman, if you if you could please actually get some shots from there, and the infantry, yeah, the infantry does not do a lot except perhaps block my own archers. So I'll have you off the side here and see how this goes. Can you organize your troops into a giant white flag? That'd be quite customary considering we're fighting the French. The white flag was customary for using to surrender to the French. We didn't we didn't kill anyone last time, did we? I don't think we did. Hey, my horse got its health points back. If you don't want your horse to go lame, you could just retreat out of a battle and come back. Interesting. Of course I myself didn't get healed.
Oh, how did I switch to Bo? Oh, maybe I just didn't switch away from Bo. Come on, Bowman, let loose on these archers. Bring him down. Yeah, man, these are these are some green soldiers. Fighting against what looked like not green soldiers. I could see some of those kind of squarish looking head. Oh, jinx! Unless they start marching single file into us, I think I'm going to be sacrificing a lot of your lives just to save my own. Gosh, this is grim. I, I thought I'd be okay against the party, but less so against the militia that he also has. They're just taking pot shots at us. Uh, Bowman, move a little closer. See if you can't get a shot or two off. I don't think the militia's your issue. <laughs> no, no. I just need something to blame, though. Are you guys gonna take any shots? Well, some of you can. Okay, now you you guys you guys do not have what it takes. Time to sacrifice their lives and make a make a split. No, not surrender. We're getting away here. Part of your baggage and 25 soldiers sounds good to me. Off we trot. Sometimes you just gotta know when to cut those losses. It leaves you disorganized, which in a way is good. But what did I lose out on? Well, like 60 items in general. Basically just money, right? In the end it's just money. But look, a, vo a volunteer got some valuable experience. And looking at it, we largely did just ditch our crummy volunteers, so no great loss. And only that, great lessons learned. Good luck on the recruiting today, yeah. I need to recruit an army, not some, uh, not some pajama warriors. Some soft, squishy targets. Uh, you're Batanian, so I absolutely don't want to raid you. I want to keep my good, um, good Batarian friends, good and Batarian. Of course, it's a little dangerous to be roaming around these areas, but what can you do? In Warband, everyone in Calradia would be making fun of you for running away for the next ten years. Is that true? Do they take note of your retreats and then? Keep having a go at you for it. That's not very nice, but hey ho. Right, you guys are villagers of Kalos, which is a Vlandian area. So if I could just. Oh, oh, oh god, Baron. Baron wouldn't be too happy with me. And he's disorganized. I don't know how much he's going to speed up when he's not disorganized. Ooh, well, <laughs> I am. Marginally faster. What about this guy? He's pretty fast too. It's a dangerous game for the Batarians. Ah, my reinforcements have arrived. Lots of ranged units. Although I'm not really sure we've got the the anything advantage here. Oh god, you're you're just making away scot free, aren't you? Is there any safe place for me? <laughs> Holy moly. Actually, do we have numbers on that? How's our army doing? Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. There we go. I've finally given up. Maybe I can have my way with a caravan to 
get back some anything. And here I thought Jake was circle strafing their troops so our guys can siege and feed. What guys? We've got like a thousand in our army in total. Not sure that's enough for anything. Uh, hmm. Well, at least there is an army, but I have a feeling it's an army that's going to bite the dust quite easily. See, I'm very not confident taking on Urundolf, even though we outnumber him because his units are not terrible, unlike mine. In fact, is he after me? He is after me, good lord. And he's probably pretty quick because of his, uh, his cavalry that he has plenty of. Right, villagers. Oh man, it's such a dangerous place for me here. Everywhere is. Do you wanna do you wanna give me a hand? Oh wait, are you even No, you're forest people. I made this mistake before. The forest people are not on our side, are they? However, that's an army. Together we might just be able to do something here. There we go. Let's turn this whole situation around. Bad idea. Hmm. Gotta do what I gotta do for the Batanian people. Hmm. Sergeants in charge! You guys figure out what to do. They don't have that many cavalry, at least, so maybe we can do something. Oh god, why, why are you... are those my guys going off? Can't really tell. Yeah, yeah, let's try and stick somewhat together. I don't trust my sergeants here. Oh yeah, Barrel retired. I wanted Barrel's story to have an end. Infantry. Right. Forward. I Forward. I want the bulk of the uh, the goodies here, so. Loose formation. Loose formation for the archers up here. I want my infantry to take the bulk of the hits and losses infantry. because they're crappy. Better to just get the experience and the kills so that I can get more of the loot. Alright. Splendid. Our cavalry do appear to be making shots, which is also good. Nah, screw it. God, I'm going straight to the air tunnel today. Oh, cripes. Look at these poor Batanians I'm killing as well. I do not like Brother Wars. Yeah, also, why are, why are we the ones getting shot to shreds here? I think we need an engagement, but... Uh... I mean, they're going to die for sure, but they might get some kills in. Oh god, speaking of getting some kills in. Ooh, I can be Stalin. Now, there's a winning solution. Oh, don't you? Oh god, he's going for my mount. Oh god, there goes that mount. Oh, it's not a good day to be Stalin.
No, we're not still on the laptop. We've got my actual PC here. Oh, I think that's the end of Stalin, actually. That's all the red, um, the red skull and crossbones. Oh, my days. Uh, well, we still outnumber it, though. We don't anymore. You know what? I see the writing on the wall. Oh, cripes. Actually, there's no issues on my end here. Uh, well, it wasn't our fight to begin with, so I believe we can just leave and leave. I'm Wait, where's all my army? 31 walking wounded. Oh, God, right, well. You have fun with that one. I thought that would be a shoe in to win, but no, we got massacred. Whew. Okay, well, don't sweat it. One thing we do have is actual money, so let's just regain our army. Hopefully, get some. Uh, Fians in training as well. And continue to show that great Batarian resolution. I highly recommend getting the Kuzait horses. Lower ride height, they can slash your swordy sword, hit well, having great acceleration and control. Why don't you stick to loot? I'm not sticking to looters. Oh boy. A humbling start for us. That said, though, looters might be a great way to level up our troops a bit, but I want to I want to earn my uh, my influence, of which I have none. Um, Red him and Seodas. So this is meant to have some nice units, but it doesn't. So I'm going to take a little bit of our... Oh, thanks, Orendolf. I'm just going to wait here for a bit to get some health back. I think he's busy ravaging the lands. Oh boy! Besieging Uthilum Castle. Uthilum Castle has 300 odd defenders, but he's got 300 odd attackers. You think he's gonna try and take us on? I I don't I don't think I would help out with that too much. Level up, then earn influence for bigger battles. Running away doesn't... Yeah, I can tell that. Yeah, running away is not good for the old influence. Oh boy, hardwood's coming at a premium. Also, where'd all my food go? I'll take the grain while the going is good. I suppose I haven't been winning battles or raiding anywhere, so... Not a lot of food flowing for the army. Bye-bye, Uthalum Castle. But it's okay, eventually we'll have peace with these Frenchmen once they finish devastating our lands. Then I'm sure everything will turn around. By the way, saying on. Ah, see, we just brought in some new mercenaries, just what we needed. Ah, no new orders going here. I don't know how often orders refresh. Should just bring them all in. More for the meat grinder. Ah, oh, it's Wario. The lake rats of the Western Empire. Hmm. And those are just villagers. I really don't want to pick on our own uh, Batarian villagers. Unless, of course, they are... See, so it says Faction Vlandia. But they're from Remtoil. Now, where is Remtoil? It can't be that far away, can it? But it must be... It must be all red-like. Where the heck is Remtoil? R-H-E-M. R-H-E-M, Remtoil. And it is Batanian, so I don't particularly want to pick a fight with them. That said, though, picking any fight with the enemy would be good for getting some influence at this point. 
I don't even get paid when I've got zero influence now. That I didn't know. Small tip, if your king dies and they vote you in, the AI thinks the kingdom is doomed. <laughs> well, surprisingly, we still have our big chief in charge. Caladog has refused to die, despite the high death rates. Who are you attached to? Oh, you're part of Pen Canuck. Right, you. You're actually Vlandian, and hopefully the Vlandians will be too busy to guard this place. So if I just force them to give me some goodies, then all should be well. And I do need some goodies. They don't want to, but I'll just kill them for it. Big Cal's a winner, if only his faction followed his lead. I'm not in his faction. I'm just a mercenary. I can join any faction I want. But I will be true to my Batanian ways. Uh, oh, crikey, it's all, all dark and spooky-like. They're just over there. They have little to offer us, so... Actually, everybody. Hang on. Correct me if I'm incorrect, but Stalin is still alive. I could have sworn he died in battle. You saw it, right? He fell and he got the red skull and crossbones for it. Hmm. Perhaps you can't keep a good man down. Give them no mercy, folks. They're French. He doesn't even know how to operate that crossbow. It was white. Ah, I must have made a mistake there. No losses for us. They're all going down. We gain morale, but sadly no morale. Uh, no. Oh, we did. We did gain influence. Somehow. Anyway, I wanted their stuff. And it's not that great, but we'll get the real goodies from raiding. Or so I hope. Even the peasants have shields and my people don't. 17 whole grain. At least it'll keep us fed. And now we raid. And the raid doesn't go on for so long because... Oh, God. Um, well, that was a great raid, wasn't it? Bye. I think they are, they are very keen on doing me in. Getting better with the bow, at least. Reload speed. Reload speed. Accuracy. Accuracy penalty. I like reload speed. Firing fast. Same for our units. Right, Wen Chao, you have some actual units. Maybe. Oh, right, no, I thought I was 89. It's 8 and 9. Hmm. Perhaps I can lead my friend Baron here. I know it's... I know it's Baron as in his rank is Baron. Someone corrected me on that on YouTube earlier. Right, he still thinks he can take us. He only has 10 cavalry. What do we have? Blaze, clan warriors, wood runners. Honestly, I still think he's got the advantage in all of that. And now you're picking a fight with Speed Racer. Maybe I can go and finish off my raiding whilst you're uh, busy with that. Well, he's, he's busy enjoying his munches there, isn't he? Oh, they want to stop us again? Just send the troops. Better I learn a bit of tactics every now and then. And if we can steal your horse, all the better. Right, I want to check my influence change, because this gives influence, right? No. No, it does not. Oh, what I said about raiding villagers. I don't feel like you're taking my complaints seriously. Does that actually amount to anything, or is it just flavor that your uh, your people yell at you? Also, Alucard, that caravan of yours. 
I wouldn't mind it, but it's probably too fast for me. Villagers of Rotendan. Again, where's Rotendan? It's Vlandian. Oh, those villagers don't know what's coming. It's me. I'm coming. But they don't know that. We're taking our products to the market. Farmers going to market. Oh, what do you have? We have all this stuff for money. Hey, that's cool, but I'm taking it. I bet we can take you. God, word gets around fast about the performance of my units. It's okay. Losing volunteers is all part of it. Uh, this doesn't look at all like the stuff you were taking to market. I'm still taking it, but it's still weird. You're going to be disorganized at one, what, 120 chasing me? Ah, that one. That's okay, we're in the forests, and if there's one place we have an advantage on speed, it's the forest. They're only slightly faster than us when we're disorganized. When we get organized, when we get organized, oh, it'll be a different story. This is all part of my masterful plan. The hidden hand is joined. Hmm. Give us goods. I need goods. Actually, do you have any good uh, recruits for me? Nah, give me the goods. There's quite a few of them, but uh, we'll take them out, no problem. Medicine applies to enemy casualties, increasing... Uh, yeah, that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know why you'd not choose that. What does the chat mod do exactly? It adds uh, names of people from chat into the game. There we go. The losses we can live with. And just like that, we're seeing the effects of the uh, prisoner increase. And I want this for the dosh more than anything. And then... Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. And I think we will try it and let's see. Erdnot Rex. Skanderberg. I don't think they're normally part of the game. Oh, crikey. Right, well, that was fun. Bye-bye. As long as we have forests nearby, we should be fine in outrunning most people. But man, it's a dangerous game out here for us. Ooh, Fugger's back. How I've missed you. Uh, where am I going to find you? It's clan, members, Fugger. Oh, they need a little bit of time to regroup. So this uh, this place must have been taken, or otherwise they managed to get out. Oh, there's a thought. I should have tried a prison break on them. Oh, that that's what the, the ding a -ling was for. We finally made peace with the French. Ah, sweet. Hopefully they don't mind all the raiding I've been doing. So there's not much left of Batania, but there's also no real enemies for us to go and fight against. Fugger's probably seeing a therapist. Right. Let's get some actual units here with shields so they don't immediately die to projectiles. And I need to start thinking about cavalry. I think I'll try out the Blandian cavalry. Is it the Banner Knights that the Blandians have? That looks like they're noble troops because it goes up to tier 6. Gallant knights, so squires, knights, champions, banner knights. Well, why not? If you can't beat them, recruit them. And also, dare I say, we got up a clan level, so we could become a vassal, but that would be suicide. Well, a suicide if we joined the Batanians. You were part of Telve Castle, so that's probably also a place to grab some units. I'd like more, but this seems to be about as much as we get. Right, I'll find their castles, I'll get their good units, and then I'll turn them against them. You've got Fenton and Hongard. I'll go and grab those too. They'll enjoy peacetime for build. Hold on, I can get an extra party now, can't I? I can. I could actually send out Stalin to become his own party guy. 
build up an army and then I could call him into an army. Can I do that? Can you create... Oh, okay, it's probably not worth our time then. I wasn't aware that you couldn't do that as a mercenary, but now I know. I. There we go. I got no problem taking out bandits, especially if it's for money. In fact, we got some people right here that need to die. I don't have Fian champions to cry over losing now, so I don't mind doing some auto battling. Stalin wants a one party clan. That's clever. Help with brigands. Hey, I can also do that. How much are you willing to pay for it? They don't often talk about how much they want to pay, aren't they? Do they? No, only at the end he says he'll pay me, and that's not a lot of money, is it? However, this is quite a lot of good cavalry units for me to press in. Glad I had the money for this, but I've also burnt through about half of my money. Right, we'll have our way with these guys. Although, who will I be using for it? I don't know. I don't think I want any of these uh, Vlandian pleasantries. Oh, well, I do have one hero. How about that? Um, M and M. If I brought in the squires, it would help get them the experience to become much better cavalrymen. Or get these trained warriors to be actual decent frontliners. And then if they become really good, I might even be able to use the uh, Distinguished Service to press them in further. Had some looters auto-resolve and kill all your top tier troops. It's just when you have a, a bunch of five guys that you auto-resolve. And then they just take out one, of two, one or two of your Fian champions and you think, oh. Those champions are really good, and there's no way they would have died in a regular attack. But now I feel my units are a lot more disposable. I just really need to start making money again. That happens because five guys are only good at making burgers. I've never eaten at five guys. I saw one once. But I'm surprisingly uh, indecisive when it comes to choosing food to eat. Boy, the faster uh, aiming thing from high level and bow is really, really nice. Oh, I thought that, I actually just thought that was a dark part of a tree. I took a chance on it, and it paid off. Ooh, well, two went down and both were fatalities. Such is how it goes. Yeah, that's how they get Yasmer off. You're all coming with me. Probably just to be sold. I don't think I want to press you into my army. But someday I want to do a proper... Rogue run. Alright, boss, what are you made of? That's a pretty big looking axe. I don't want any of that. Ooh. Easy now. His axe is about to remove my shield. But that's okay. Oh, I might be.
There we go. <laughs> Not a problem, guys. Bow down to your new leader. Alright, their loot isn't too hot, but in the end it's probably just going to be sold for the much-needed money. Hang on, what did I get three grand for? Was that for just looting the place, or was that for completing the task? I think that was for the task, the 700 odd is for this other stuff. Uh, deposit prisoners for now, though. Oh, hang on, these looters need to die as part of the quest, too. You best back off. There's dozens more of us hiding, just waiting for our signal. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm afraid you need to die, so off you trot. Oh wait, I, I thought I was trying to kill them, but no, they just they just choose to become prisoners. Works for me. Turn things around fiscally and turn things around on the battlefield. I want to smelt down the weapons, so I'm certainly keeping those unless any of them are worth good money. That's good enough money. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. Smelting down good stuff for good materials is going to be vital in making more money down the line. Uh, this stuff, on the other hand, I don't see any upgrades, so away it goes. Uh, Stalin, do you feel like you need any better equipment? It's just me and Stalin for now. I need to call back the others. But I need the dosh, so off you all go. Not a big fan of having sheep and hogs and hides or any of that crap. But I am a big fan of having multiple food types, which I certainly don't have right now. Fish are going cheap. Very cheap, in fact, so stock up. Cheese is also quite cheap. Butter is quite cheap. I guess we are in France. Even the olives are cheap. And the meat is cheap. What a nice place to be. Shame's the French are, French are living like kings out here off the back of Batarian heads. Nice. Otherwise, still got my charcoal. Why have charcoal when you can have more charcoal? And then smelt it all. And then ask if there's any orders that'll actually pay good money. And some of them will. Oh, well, he hated that for some reason. I think there's a worth amount, but I met everything he wanted. Truthfully, I don't understand orders fully. But I do know they, good, uh, they give good levels and parts, so I take it. Hmm. Yeah, I saw it, that'll do. <laughs> See, I didn't meet uh, three of their requests and they're still so satisfied that they're giving me extra money. What does it all mean? Popuri. Everyone's favorite pink-haired goddess from Harvest Moon. Personally, I don't see the appeal, but don't let that take away from your fun. See, I don't know which of these are going to help the swing cut damage. It's surely all in the... Um... Oh, length helps a bit. Now, let's just give them that and see how it works. <laughs> they hate it. Of course they hate it. They'll like it a lot more when I have more pieces available and more skill at it, but until then, we just give them crap. Let us not go to the smithy. It is a, it's definitely a silly place. I wonder if they have any good smelting weapons for sale over here, though. Cheap, uh, cheap hammers and pitchforks are always worth it because they're a great source of wood, if nothing else. Also, I wonder if you guys buy charcoal at a... Holy moly! They love charcoal. At least by the end of this, we're going to know damn near everything to make for weapons. A few more of your noble cavalry, and I'm going to feel pretty good about taking fights again. Not at Hogwarts Castle, but... Oh, you've got some actual villages. The, the Landing is probably a great place to start on the map. You're isolated with a very soft target next to you. Also, I couldn't help but notice the music got a lot more French. Right. No need to worry about money. We're actually making money on the influence we've got just from raiding people. I'm not taking the art of the trade. Never taking art of the trade. 
Blandian infantry is probably the best in the game. Really? Would that be the Vlandian sergeants? A complicated path, though. Right, then left, then right, then down. Ooh. The Volgiers. The Volgiers. Yes, the Volgiers. Specifically, sergeant. You mean this guy right here? With his fine steel spear? One-handed mace and shield? But they're so French. How could we fight all those French only to have them on our team? Ignore the cavalry. I know I do. So, do the Patanians still have any enemies? Uh, that's found under N, I think. N... Home, Kingdoms, Batania. They're still at war with the Wolfskins. So I need to find Captain Falcon and put him in a headlock. He's last seen near Metachia. Where the heck is Metachia? Metachia. Is all the way over there? Crikey. Well, it's peacetime, so there's little better for us to do. Okay, well, of course, they're going to need... Um, M and M&M. That's a war horse, I think. You can tell by the spikes on the back. I also forgot to get rid of my prisoners, as usual. Marin. Grab a few more cavalry, and then off we go. The higher tier, the better. In fact, I think these guys already have their war horses, right? Or are they the guys that need the war horse for the upgrade? I should double check that. There we go. Something resembling an army. And grab a little bit more influence and take to the fight. Do I at least get some influence for uh, dealing with them like that? I wanted to fight them, but they don't always want to fight when they surrender. I guess I'm just so overwhelmingly powerful compared to them. But naturally they want to just give up. Well, the prisoners that I have are clearly not the top tier. Off they go though. Anything for roguery? You chose the wrong option. Ah, there was one that forces a fight then. No one in the tavern for us, sadly. I'm always interested if they're wanting some of my charcoal at a high price. As for you, you don't have anything that particularly speaks to me, do you? Actually, I think the tribe and throwing daggers are amazing, so I don't mind that. Yeah, that's the one. Tribal throwing daggers. Such good stuff out of smelting them down. And on top of that, we get some parts for it. Which makes me wonder if I'm at the point yet where I could freely make... What is it? Throwing knife, right? No, I don't have any high tier parts for it. Does it even go high tier? It does. But if I made those and smelted them back down, there'd be a lot of experience to get out of it. Ah, the smithy grind. Um, here you go, go. And you hate it, of course. They always hate what I make. Unless I screw it up, then they tend to somehow love what I make. You can't smelt crafted weapons. Yes, you can. You can make it and then smelt it, and whilst you do end up spending your charcoal and losing a slight amount of materials on it, you get a lot of experience if you've made good weapons. Right, well, with this at least we're going to gain a little bit of influence for our contract, and we will get paid, but we need actual fights, so we're on the hunt. Of course, we could ditch uh, Batanians and go and join someone else as a mercenary. In fact, so these guys didn't want to give up. Fine by me, though. 
So they still take out a clan warrior somehow, but I just needed the influence. In fact, that stuff is gash. I might as well just leave it for the experience. Surely you go down with a Batanian ship. Oh, well, you see, it's part of my brilliant plan, because at some point those Batanian places are going to revolt against foreign rule, I assume. And then that's when we swoop in and take it. Uh, and by take it, I mean we're probably going to get screwed by that. Uh, not sure if bug in game where another lord comes in and just steals the siege from you. Now, where's that guy we're looking for? Tanyan, Wolfskin War, Captain Falcon, last seen near Temis. There's somewhere around there. Fight the good fight. And also, buy the good wood. And a bit of butter. We're fine on food, though. It's not a lot of experience, but... Um, Turning wood into charcoal still gives it. That's the key to getting these levels. What do we want to invest in at this point? Those smithing, medicine, and steward are all maxed. So is the bow. At some point, I'm going to have to make a decision on the kind of weapon that I want to main. But I still ride the horse quite a lot. So well, I'll be almost exclusively doing that. So maxing out riding seems like a decent idea. Captain Falcon's last seen near Ortha. Orthra. So he's hanging out around here, right. We're coming for you, Captain Falcon. You see all this ending of the mercenary contract? Can my employer ever terminate it for me? I'd be sad if he could, because I actually like being able to pay my way. Last seen near Gauss. Gauss Castle or Gauss itself? Or is this where I'm going to find out that he is uh, considerably stronger than we thought? Lanthas. Lanthas, anyone? Okay, so he's heading in this general direction. Coming for you, Captain. Oh, there was our, there's our Captain. Have at, Falcon. He's so fast. We're only marginally faster. It's okay, marginally faster is still faster. I probably could ditch the prisoners for a bit of speed, but... Why, when we're about to get some more? Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least, until I find out who you are, anyway. I do wish you could just recruit people that you find like this. Maybe need a long time to uh, convert them, but just some way to get something other than the crummy tavern guys. That's why I have distinguished service on. Apparently I'm passing through their lands without permission. They must claim to own everything. They eat no cooked meat and wear no woven cloth, but uh, they still need to die. And it's a fight we can probably actually take in a real battle, so let's go for it. Yeah, Ben Koss is right. The uh, the vanilla grind on the smithing's awful. Smithing's just awful in general, but I do engage in it because I want to be able to make some custom weapons for our crew. Yeah, maybe have you off to the side so you guys have a clearer shot. As for you guys... I wish you could save designs in smithing. Well, you can with this mod. In fact, um, yeah, yeah, you can. In vanilla, it just gives you your most recent ones, but with the better smithing mod, you can save designs. Gee, I didn't realize there's so many horseback units here. Yeah, I meant to do that.
There is Relentless Smith, but that's nowhere near as good. You want the better smithing mod. Oh boy, I hope all my greens can handle this charge. feel the faster speed at uh, reloading this bow, and it feels good. Well, what's this guy made of? Get down! There we go. Oh, Batanian mounted guys, don't make me start thinking that they're half decent. way too far away from my own ranged units, so I'll have them figure out what to do. Oh, they've got Batanian heroes now. Those, naturally, I want. And now that I've got the medicine skill for it, it's a lot more likely that... Uh, the casualties we cause will end up being prisoners for us, rather than fatalities for them. God, it is dark. I don't like doing my battles at night time. I find it hard to see at the best of times. There we go. I think I just have a much bigger affinity for horseback cavalry melee rather than horseback archers. But again, I'm probably just not using them right. What are these guys' story? Yeah. Veteran skirmisher, we'll see about that. Ooh, easy now, I'm not here to die. How do, how do they make the system so good? I guess it's experience, right? They, they made uh, Mountain Blade, Warband. What's the grimmest Mountain Blade game made? What What's... Uh, or rather, How many are there, actually? I don't know. See, Paradox was publishing for a while, and then... I don't know what happened there. I wish I had the intel, but I don't. But did they ever make a real stinker? Cue someone saying Bannerlord Early Access. Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade Warband. Oh yeah, Fire and Sword, that's the one. I played Fire and Sword. It's actually the the experience that made me think that I wanted to try this, because I played Fire and Sword and I thought, well, it's definitely rough around the edges, but I can see some potential here. Easy. Captain Falcon did survive, and I'm not in the business of killing people with my own axe just yet. It's the game themselves. I've heard they're pretty much trash without mods. <laughs> Alright, Falcon, I got you. And I'm definitely taking your prisoners, but I'll of course keep the Fian for myself and the hero. Now this is more like it. Those look like some pretty great arrows. Of course, I already have them, but uh, I know someone that could do with better arrows. There you go, Stalin. By the way, Stalin, do we not have a better bow for you by now? Eh, no. No, we do not. How about some better boots for you, though? Yeah, there we go. I don't want Stalin falling on me. He's, he's done the good work so far. And I got some decent influence for that. Always welcome. Fatherless Stalin. You're a pretty charming individual, aren't you? I'm trying to think what I actually use you for. It's horseback archery, really. Mm, I think we will play into that. Yeah, 
hit points, experience to melee troops in your party after da 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 da. Just give them extra hit points. It's very small, but maybe you'll survive a little longer. And let's ditch the folks we have and check to see if there are any more wolf skins out and about. There's Gordon Freeman. The Redfield Bloodline itself. And, ah, oh, Yuan Shao. You're hurting me with this one. Oh, they're, they're miles away. They don't tend to stick together too much, do they? Um, tavern. Yeah, I'll just get the money for Falcon. But definitely keeping that hero. And definitely keeping that Fian. The Imperial Legionary might not be a bad idea to, to press into my front lines anyway. But I'm still going to get rid of him. What a shame. We're looking pretty good on almost everything. How are they on... No, there's no hardwood whatsoever. Does that mean that charcoal will sell for a decent amount? I'd call that decent enough. And do you have any junk for me here? Pitchfork, hammers... The price of these doesn't change based on the number of them, is it? Interesting. Uh, Pugio, I can't remember if that was any good, but I'm going to grab that. I'm going to check for the Highland throwy things, because those were good. Or was it Tribesman? James, now I can't remember. I'm going to take both of these and check. Pugio was some... I don't think Pugio is as good as those throwing daggers, though. Let's check. Um, -nam -nam. Pugio here. Oh, I take it back. Pugio's amazing. Tribesman throwing daggers are better. Because there's more rot, uh, more iron, which is better than wrought iron. But it's all good, so smelt the whole lot. Wasn't I meant to sell some of this? Ah, what the hell. Off it goes. And then a chunk. And with that, we can do this. There's a whole lot more clicking in the base uh, vanilla smithing. I'm telling you, the whole system is beyond terrible. But there we go. Now I'm back to where I was before. I actually have some fine steel and steel. So it means that I could actually make some vaguely complicated orders that require better stuff. Although that's assuming that I have better materials to make them out of. And in this case, I don't think I do. Let's make that swing speed a bit better. Not great, but... He still takes it. At least it's a satisfying thunk when you do this. Lots of people wanting throwing daggers for some reason. Not high enough rank though, but uh, I think you can take difficulty orders up to... What is it, like 50 or 75 above your current level? Something to that effect. All those people who warned me don't touch the smithing mechanic, well they were very right. Rance the fist. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell your stolen wares there, Rance. Your spoils of war, your responsibility. Mm, plenty of mountain bandits over here. Plenty of mountain bandits over there, but maybe you have a mission to eradicate them. Oh, it's just delivering herds. And more herds. Danustia. I don't know where that is. I was hoping someone would want me to wipe out that hideout for them for some extra dough. That could be the one. Oh, but it's a different height. Well, what does it matter? How do we go, go? Before we do go into that. Yeah, we're getting there with the smithing. Uh, again, neither of these matter at all because we've turned off uh, 
stamina, so both are the same. Stewardship, on the other hand. Weapons for experience is very tempting. Yeah, get that weapon stuff. It's good stuff. Also, can I finally recall my party members? There we go. I miss having you on the team. We'll get you back. Are there any mods to make the hideouts less repetitive? I'm not so sure about that. I suppose the answer is just don't do the hideouts. Picked Warrior. Is that as high as it goes? I think there's one level above Picked Warrior, isn't there? So let's try and get you leveled up, shall we? Although I could bring in the Highborns to get them leveled up to Fians, and that sounds even better. There you go. Session's going better than... Well, given that we were imprisoned twice last time, just about anything would be better, but we also did some... Uh, just charge on in. Some losses are to be expected, but I'll take it. Wow, nice shoot. Wow, very nice shooting. Never mention how much I love projectiles in this game. Yeah, don't let semblances be hoodwink. Our, uh, our clan, or rather our faction, is falling apart. Those poor Batanians. I think the sound effects have a lot to do with it. That slew of projectiles makes it feel extra good. Face, face, neck, which is pretty much face. You have not been blessed today. Well, I'm doing my part, James. I've done six. The rest of you need to pick up the pace. You're never going to get distinguished service at this rate. I love this game. I wish they'd have more of everything, says Rawful King. I do love the game, but every update just loves to break the mods, which is frustrating. It doesn't feel very feature complete. In fact, it still feels quite early access in a lot of ways. I do feel for all the people that have their qualms with the game. Alright, again with the big axe and the shield. But I'm not risking my fians, I will take you, no problem. Come on, whiff. Oh boy, oh boy, right, I am whiffing bad myself. There we go. As is custom. Seems quite a bit better than what I have. The extra length I'm more than happy with. Yeah, that's coming to me. It still thinks it can be upgraded, though. Wait, it, it thinks the other sword I have is better. Because of the swing speed? I, I don't buy it. I think that extra length is more than worth it. I'll probably just lock you in so it doesn't get uh, overridden. some good stuff. That was actually a pretty good uh, haul out of that, and we get paid. Alright, alright. Should probably double back to our good old Batanian. For well, actually, being being a merc for the Batanians is probably a pretty raw deal for us right now. We should check and see who is in some more exciting wars for us, because at least as a merc, you can duck in and out without real, really much penalty being a vassal that makes them very unhappy. So, so, so... Let's just get rid of the blinking notification on that. Who's at war? That's the question. Who's at war with people that I'd want to grab at that? Because my party has a front line of Batanians, a modest amount of archers. Let's 
do a lot of the upgrades while we can. Vlandian as the cavalry, quite a few of them. Maybe I will try my luck with the horseback archers again. Not that we have the space for them in the party, but we'll build up space for them. And that means the light blue people, and how are they doing? Kazates, right? Kazates are war with the Northern Empire, so probably a good opportunity to head over there and do it. The Western Empire is expanding into Batania. I think they already... Oh, cripes! Ooh. And that was Caladog declaring war in the Western Empire. What the hell are you thinking, Big Cheese? Well, at least I'm well positioned to actually contribute. Well, let's do what we can, hopefully without dying horribly. Sekiro constri Conscripted Prefect. Who adds these names? Right, give me the hardwood. And hopefully I don't get caught and lose all my goodies, but uh, perhaps given the penalties of being caught, I should be a bit more keen on... Oh, that thought I was scouring for cavalry, because I feel awfully slow. I think I want more speed cavalry. Um... Yeah, I should be more conscious of sacrificing troops to get away because things didn't work out so good before. Oh, got no okay, that's more like it. Not actually killing my units mysteriously. Not really sure I want looters, but I'll take them. It's going to be hard to find a place to fence my people, isn't it? Well, especially since I already ran past the carry-on. Those both don't have jack for taking. Let's get rid of our uh, hefty stuff at Lacaron and then go raiding our way through the Western Empire. Again, I do want to keep the Batanian Fians and Heroes, the rest, Kathunk. For whatever reason, the interface doesn't work when selecting them through this screen. I think you need to do the done before it has that. And... It's nice to have over a hundred uh, capacity for soldiers now. I've got a lot of... a lot of food variety. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go. It's fighting to be done. It's also a big hideout with our name on it. I bet there's some really fat loot in there. Oh, screw it, I'll do it. I wonder if we held here, if he would pass by and we could jump him, but... Liking all those heroes, but I want the highborn warriors to get their level ups. Because Fians are great. Caladog's a king who doesn't ride a horse, he's a gig chap. Well, that just makes it all the more likely he's going to get himself killed in battle. I don't think he's going to survive this war, but we'll see. F1, F3. This rain is actually pretty bad for projectiles. I think accuracy goes down a fair chunk. And these guys have shields. Ooh. They're being clever. In that case, follow me. Shields can take a whole lot of pin cushioning before they go. And he's a clever bugger. He's taking uh, javelins to this fight. Unfortunately, I'm cleverer bugger. So I think what I'll do is I'll try and distract the enemies. Try and get them to either show their back to me or my cavalry. Uh, not cavalry, archers. And then we have our filthy way with these mountain bandits. I get that these get repetitive, but I still quite like them. I suppose the real repetitive part is there's so much travelling involved. Too much travelling involved. Just walking around, often very slowly. I will not, you filthy hillman. A 
love how good the AI is at knowing when to switch weapons. They will very rapidly go from uh, longbow to two-handed weapon for these engagements. Scream that at the top of our lungs. Couldn't actually see someone there. That's not to say there isn't someone, but go my fians in training. Yeah, I think the AI is pretty suicidal at starting wars. Which is probably by intent. If the game had none of those going, then it would be a lot more stalemate and a lot less fighting. And that wouldn't let the game shine at what it's best at, which is these big battles. Well, it's not these big battles, but we'll have proper ones soon. At least with a hundred not rookies, I feel somewhat confident in taking on other armies now, but if things start looking south, I need to stop... Uh Stop being so hard-headed about not retreating. Does anyone know the numbers of units you need to give a retreat? Because I know at a certain point it's something like, oh, we have too few troops to actually um, escape. What in the world was that? Was that a throwing axe? Whatever it was, there was a blunt missile on my leg. Maybe it was just a stone. Have you started Sturgeon troops, Jake? You might like the line breakers. I think I'll give them a go once I've burnt through my Batanian ones. You. They look pretty cool. Unfortunately, you. Oh, cripes. Unfortunately for you, rather. You go down. Ah, but he's not dead. So, pressed you go. I shouldn't skip that. I want to see what I get out of it. Plundering is nice. I remember when I first played through, I, I hired this guy thinking, oh, he'll be great, but he just, he just instantly dies in combat. Can't get too attached to any one person, sadly. Ooh, I can get attached to these weapons, though. Something like that, I wouldn't want to smelt down, I just want to sell for the goodies. To be fair, all troops in the game are viable except the Batanian cavalry. People keep telling me they're terrible, but I, I don't know how to quantify that. Right, am I going to be able to catch you? I'm faster than you in forest, but I bet in the open you're faster than me. Yeah, they are. They most assuredly are, right, in case things go south. I do want to sell my goodies so that I at least have a war chest for when I eventually lose everything. It's no, nowhere near as valuable as uh, when it said uh, what it said when I picked it up. Uh, that's just how it goes. Also, Fugger, I might have some upgrades for you. And you just go in there with a club. And the Taj on the front. Yeah, I keep you on the front lines, don't I? So you probably regret the armor that I give you, but you're fighting for every German. Remember that. I'm thinking I'll actually give you the standard for morale shock, since you're going to be in the... or I suppose you're going to be leading the foot troops. Is that really a good idea? I'm starting to think it's a terrible idea. Oh, screw it. If, we, if there's only one of these, I'm taking it. Got to be reasonable. I am the ruler after all. It's barely any hardwood, but I'll still take it. As for food, mm, we're a bit short on beer, so give us some beer. Even if it's expensive, it's great for leveling up that stewardship. And the rest of this just away it all goes and away you go I'm working on that smithy skill actually no I already recently got 125 it's uh, going to be a slow climb up I can get extra control or vigor 
probably go bigger so I can actually start getting levels on these. Although, now I've already, already pumped a lot into bow. Yeah, vigor is probably the way forward. And then beyond that, artisan smith, even though I don't sell smith weapons. This is what I really want though, master smith for masterwork weapons. Right. Enough snivelling and cowering here. Let's go into that war. Uh, no, not to there. To the tavern. Get rid of all the prisoners that aren't the ones that we decided to save. Are they ever actually going to join me? Now we're working our way towards it. Good. There we go. Have faith in that army. Be like Hannibal. Have loads of different troops, but have them work in unison somehow. Also, yeah, they are sadly faster than me. But could I not force them into this forest where I am faster than them? Back to the wall, my friend. Back to the wall. Oh, they're dead. Western Empire trader, you've made a terrible mistake. Soren. That's not uh, Mass Effect Soren, is it? No, he's Saren. Uh, what do you have, my good friend? I do like horses. For the carry capacity for all this fat loot I intend on grabbing. Mind if I take, like... I, I don't know if that's a high price for it or not, but it's good for that, if nothing else. Otherwise, their, their goods are a tad too expensive. I don't think I ditched much of this stuff, did I? Not enough of it, that's for sure. Maybe I can pay in part. Oh, there, that's good. It just alleviates me of some of the heavy stuff that I have. Get rid of this tat as well. Pleasure doing business indeed. Uh, by the way, give me all your goods. Finally built up an army, army equal to what he had at the end of the last stream. Hopefully he pisses them all away in a bad fight again. <laughs> it was a terrible fight. Really terrible. Right, Fugger, you take care of the foot troops. And Trigby, you're also a swordsman, so you also fight with the foot troops. Stalin, the fatherless, I swear someday you're going to have... Actually, couldn't you just be your own division? If I have horse archer and you're the only horse archer... Apparently there's one other horse archer, well, let's say one out of two, am I a horse, am I considered a horse archer? I guess I am. You are, Jake, how do I, what determines if you're a horse archer or not? Is it the order of the weapons that you have on your person? Well, I do not know. Um, and M and M. We somewhat have the high ground here, but can't help but feel that it could be higher. Ooh, some of you have, some of you are enjoying this more than others. Eh, might still be good. Now, what are they doing? Figure out what to do yourself there, Stalin. Why do I feel like I'm just throwing him away to die like this? I probably am. In that case... Horse archers! Stay close! Horsemen! Follow your sergeants! Hey, at least our archers are doing something. A pleasant and welcome change. Oh, oh, Stalin went down, but I think he's down and not out. Alright, Western Empire scum. You think you can just tear apart what's left of Batania? Well, you're completely right, but you're not going to have your filthy way with me. This is where I don't remember who felled me last time.
shame on them for sending out their cavalry without any sort of their own cover. Myself lucky they didn't just lance me down where I stood there. But I'm confident that my own units would have known what to do in that case. If they're over there, then. Be a tantalizing target in a uh, shield wall. Although I'm quite confident that our cavalry will have their way with these guys. Jeez, how did you live through all that? Get down. Yeah, these guys will not survive a cavalry charge. Crummy Imperial Archers. Waste of time. Can't imagine a situation where you'd want them. I'm liking the extra reach of this sword. I wonder that maybe you could actually make a viable one-handed sword for when you're on horseback. Give it a good swing speed, give it a good reach. Might be better than some two-handed in some, in some cases. <laughs> the arrow in the back of my neck, that's okay. Then I can say I eat like I have a hole in my neck. Hooray! Hooray! Hold that shield right there, friend. I bet soldiers did that all the time. Mm, well, I mean, prisoners are prisoners. I just need to find a place to deposit them. I'm more interested in their money and goods. Did it say how much money I raided off of them? Uh, sadly, what they have is pretty garbo, but what can you do? Well, what I could do is test that idea that um, if you buy one of a good and then sell the bunch, you can make trade experience. Yeah, you can make one of the flax blades, use it as a two-handed or one-handed based on whether or not you have a shield active or not. Yeah, I know you can toggle the shield, but that's, that's something I might try when we start forging ourselves some sweet weapons. Okay, right, a caravan is one thing, but let's see if we can't find a proper army to fight. Uh, or maybe they send another caravan because the other one got ravaged. Alright, let's not run too far and fast into the lion's den here, though. Lots of villagers. Wish I had some more horses. Hey, couldn't I steal some horses from uh, Face Sauce? Go shoe pie. Right, these are imperial people, so we don't care too much about them. So give us your goods. They don't want to, but uh, I do want them to, so go and take them out. Anything to get the influence, I need the money. Now bring out your... oh right, of course, first we take the spoils of war. Any mod for vanilla? I didn't play since beta. Uh, I've got the mod list in the title. Right, they grudgingly bring out one horse and one sack of grain. Uh, right, I think they are taking the mick, so I'll see if I can't raid them while I'm here. They will actually sell to me, which is interesting. I can get those stumper horses on the cheap. I don't know if this is also impactful on what they have to sell or not. But it's also a good opportunity to just ditch a lot of the tat that I picked up. I suppose I could ditch this for experience, couldn't I? But I do want some more money. I always like money. Right, let's get raiding. 
But if someone comes along, then we retreat into the forest one way or another. Uh, well, that's someone coming our way. And they are 100% coming to save face sauce, so... Wait, I think I did just raid what I sold to them. I highly doubt that a village would normally have fur-rimmed leather gloves. Alright, that's all fun and well, but I gotta get away. In fact, I am neck deep in trouble land. Settlements are good for XP. Oh, settlement battles are good for XP. Are they really so good for experience? Always going left. Always wishing I had some better horses for the upgrades, though, but... How do I get out of this? Let's head north. Oh, but I'm uh, disorganized, so... Oh, wow. Wasn't very disorganized for long. Of course, raiding doesn't disorganize you, which is weird. Frostitute has a party. Frostitute is choosing a very, very bad time and place to be. The lake rats. Stop there. Who are you? It is better we know each other's names, even if we fight. So you're actually a member of here? Or you just... No, you're part of the Western Empire. Well, it sucks to be you. Frostitute is there with bile demon. You're all very poor, though, so I'm afraid you're going to die. Might want to get Stalin a friend. Uh, I'm sure Stalin knows how to survive. Tell you what, Stalin can stick with me. Well, then he's probably just going to run into trouble, isn't he? If I put Stalin in with the regular archers, would he be okay? I'm not sure if you can mix archers and... Ooh, well, there's a thought. Stalin, what if you just join there? Is that a problem? Surely he'll be fine. I don't know if he'll mess up anything, but surely he'll be fine. Okay, it is dark and foggy. This battle is probably not going to be great for our reliance on ranged. But we're also considerably stronger than they are. And there's some good high ground for us to use. And move, uh, use we shall. It's so hard to see where I'm telling them to go. Am I even telling them to go here? I don't see the little flag things. There they are. But I also want you to... Loose formation. Oh, crikey, the enemy's right there. And for some reason, I'm just running on in. Alright, hopefully I can distract these folks from taking the high ground. Oh, well, it's a bad day to be our archers. Make your shots and make them good. Oh, well, there goes Stalin. There goes Stalin for good. And no medicine skills saving him. Boy, I did not expect that to just become a melee, but... I also didn't think our units would start practically breathing down each other's necks. There, friend, you almost got shot by me. Oh, bye bye, Stalin. Quickly get Rasputin. Mm. Can we not get Glasnos instead? I'm not having good luck killing enemy unit, uh, enemy heroes, but I'm certainly getting my own killed. Tempts me those Imperial cataphracts. Not too shabby. All right, gulp and go, because we're still uh, still in a dangerous place here. Where's the closest place I can go to actually fence some wares? I suppose up to Epicotri, eh? Stick to the forests. Better to better for hiding. Mm, 
just give me the goods. And they say no, and then in go the troops. Ah. Hmm. Peasant, crummy recruit, crummy other guys. There we go. And then, are they going to bring me up practically nothing? Of course they're... What's even the point if they have nothing to give? Uh, the mind wanders. Just a way to kill your relations with them. Alright, let's make our way up to Epic Country. Too many things to, do uh, to ditch and the old guy's still on my back. Hey, Bellcat. Was Stalin on 1%? Yeah, there's the things. Uh, your comrades will jump into battle at, uh, what, 20% health? Which can make them very much... Uh, a magnet for death, which can be quite frustrating. Duffman, no, I'll pass on Duffman, but I will get rid of some of my wares. Any expensive goods? I'd rather just melt all those down, to be honest. How about these? And the hooked javelin, I think I want to smelt, but the rest of this can just go bye-bye. Probably should smelt first before I sell, shouldn't I? It thinks that I've got an upgrade for you. Oh, that is quite the upgrade, thank you. Otherwise, the rest of this, I like the money. I don't just like the money, I love the money. Get rid of the animals. Sell them suspiciously expensive charcoal. The wine doesn't stack for some reason. Maybe at some point when I find a lot of goods like that, I'll see what I can do. Ooh! Tell you what might stack, though. I don't know if anyone ever sells um, iron, but if they do, maybe I could buy one, stack it with that, and sell lots of it for trade. I just would love to find a way to make trade experience uh, something that you can actually get in reasonable amounts. But trading in this game is weak sauce. Ah, no more Stalin to level up. I miss him already. Uh, hmm. I also kind of miss having any leadership. Maybe I should work on that now. Increase morale, increase garrison. Battle morale. There's one of these that gives a decent amount of extra units, right? Yeah, plus five party size for every town you control is probably a pretty big one to get. So I should probably put a little bit into leadership. Battle morale when you join ongoing. It's not much, but it's something. And what did I say I wanted to put some points into? Vigor, perhaps. Hmm. That's wine and oil, Jake. They're both in the bottle, so they both use the same icon. Interesting. I didn't even notice there were different words there. Oh yeah, Yuna died, and now Stalin has also died. I really want to get myself some more units. I was hoping Distinguished Service would mean a lot more... Um, not more heroes joining us, but it hasn't been working out that way. And it's a, it's a hard time trying to find how much the frost shoot worth. Hmm, about two grand, I'll take it. The cataphract speaks to me. Uh, it's a little early to be a, a chooser, so I think I'll keep you on right now. Probably the same with a heavy horseman. Yeah, I think I need bigger fights with more uh, max tier units to get more companions on my side. I was hoping to find a mod that just added more companions into the game. But as it is, no, not really. Alright. Nice hustle. I think we're over it. I didn't check you for the smithy. I was meant to smelt down some of my crap. In fact, I'll just smelt it all. Slowly but surely, we will get more things to build with. It was the tribal throwing daggers, right? Yeah, probably. And the Puggio. Which, uh... A masterwork Puggio. Probably not worth the money, but I'll still take it. I'm curious if this one is any good as well. The one-handed dagger? Relatively cheap, I'll just take them all. It's no big deal to me, it's just money. Oh, that was a bit too much money, though. 
pickaxes and hatchets. The wooden hammers, ah, they're the good ones. And the reason they're good is because you get the wood out of them. So we smelt those down. There we go. Okay, so the Pugio is much, much better than the Zephos. Zephos is kind of a waste of time. But we still smelt it all. And people don't want to pay us too much money, but I'm sure they'll still pay us. There we go. This is a much more... Uh, feels a lot more rewarding for doing the smithing rather than just bulk crafting swords and selling them. Which is totally what you would otherwise do. Hard to give you the reach and also the speed. Maybe you'll make do with that and not care about the reach. No, he cares about the reach. I swear I read somewhere one time that they don't actually care about the reach, but no, they really do. I'm happy enough to just give them stuff that they're displeased with. It still gives experience, I believe. That one didn't even cost any um, any metal. How are we making that? It's a wooden, wooden tip to a so-called pike. God, with all these goods, it would sure suck to fall in battle, but we go for it. See a lot of wood over there, and I do like getting myself some hardwood. Villagers, eh? Oh, they're Batanian, of course they'd have wood. I cannot bring myself to hurt a fellow Batanian, at least not on purpose. Mm, Veron Castle. Wait, you secured a castle? Could it be that Batanians are actually going to win this war? Maybe the Western Empire is stuck in a load of other wars. Is there a way to check that? Of course there is. N. Uh, Western Empire. No, no they're not. It's only Batania. These two are just minor, uh, minor clans that pick fights. And can be completely wiped out. You wanted a fancy fight here? Take this rake. Well, at least we'll, work, we'll get uh, opinions with notables that request goods from us now. I think you need to make a half-decent one, though. It's not the best price for hardwood, but I'll still take it. Hell, I'll take damn near everything you have, just not your grain. Right, that's why I want some actual horses. I need war mounts. Of course, they're expensive, but I want them for the upgrades. Otherwise, regular mounts just for being able to move faster around on the map are very welcome, and capacity horses, it's all good. Take a cheese and butter, well, it's a bit expensive, but I'll take it anyway. And I'd like to pay in part with charcoal, but that's not much of an option. And that does mean that, huzzah, I can actually get these squire upgrades to gallants. This tells me that if you're recruiting squires, don't recruit squires, just get the gallants, because it's going to save you a war horse. I, wasn't able, I was only able to do three of them there. That is sad. Still, lesson learned. And hero, on you come. I've just got a decent amount of space for more. You're with Sion, right? Yeah, it's kind of hard to find noble troops around here. Glitter ponies are war mounts, but they don't come cheap. There we go, just hemorrhaging the money, but why not? I want to see how good these Vlandian squires can really get. We've seen them in action fighting them, at least. Right, back to it. Maybe I can join up with the army and seek out glory and fortune and all that other stuff. There's Banjo, no Kazooie, and oh boy, right, well, opportunity is here, because you're about to come in and mulch them, right? Uh, hey, army leader, can I join up with you? Mortarmen, I like the way you're going, so I want to join your army. 
Because I know where you're going. Oh boy, maybe I should be ready for this. Fian, on you come. Hoo diggy! <laughs> Finally a battle that Batanians can be proud of. Let's go. Yeah, I wasn't aware that mercenaries could join armies. Good to see they can. And we need to fight for glory here. We need our part of this. Fat loot, fat influence. Our plan is to attack full force around our infantry. Is that really a good thing? I mean, Batanian infantry of all things to stake your bets on? I'll lead the cavalry charge. Attack! Well, no, not attack. Follow me. Got a nice snowy landscape here. I like it. The enemy severely lacks cavalry. And thanks to me joining in, we actually have cavalry. Yeah, I'm taking practically all of the... Uh, all of the credit for that. Oh, that wasn't a great shot though, now was it? Jake, char, I'm on it! By the way, where do you want me to check? Protect the right flank of the center... Who's right? My right or theirs? You know what, what we should really do is charge straight into their archers. That'll make the difference in this fight. Nice of them to leave me this row to just come and swing my way through with. And then we can just double back and... Slicey slicey. I am charging Lucian. Oh god, they got reinforcements. Hmm. Stop yelling at me, I know what I'm doing. There we go. You can take the Batanians out of the fight, but you can't take the fight out of the Batanians. Pokey sticks, but these are largely uh, crappy units, so yeah, I'm feeling the lack of power from swinging this uh, this one-handed sword. Maybe I really should get a bow, two quivers, and a two-hander, and just say to hell with shielding. Or actually, no, a bow, one quiver, a shield, and a two-hander. That way, I've always got the option. That's good. That's so good. <laughs> Real Highland charge energy there. Look at the Imperials run. As long as there are 100 Batanians still breathing, we will never ever be subject to the Empire. Yeah, you need a shield option for sieges. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, so getting something that could be one-handed or two-handed is probably a great idea. So a nice big sword, or... Can you get uh, two-handed maces that can be one or two-handed? Probably not, right? Mm. What a slaughter! And, uh... Oh, my party did surprisingly small amount, but my party was pretty small, wasn't it? Bye bye, highborn youth. Bye bye, Fugger. Trigby's still alive, but he didn't claim any kills, did he? Sorry, Doc Spengler. You know, not everyone can survive these kinds of fights. Oh, how'd you come? Just, just come to a stop there. I think double tapping's meant to make it stop altogether there. Zingus went down. Frozen Kaiser went down. Franco went down. Mytherius went down, but Doc Spengler's down and out. God, I love seeing this pop up. Can't wait for bigger battles where more of them go down.
I bet Doc Spangler's not even a real doctor. Ah, Franco, nice of you to congratulate me on my victory. Mm. Now, one thing I thought was, hey, just always let people go free so you've got good relations across all of Calradia. But letting prisoners go free gives you so little relation. Might as well just lock him up. Nice prisoners. Have we got space for practically all of them? Well, actually all of them. Yeah, Fugger's not going to be in the greatest of health for quite some time, I think. That does make having lots of companions a bit of a nyeh as strategies go. Because I think these guys, as long as they're ready to fight, they're always at full health, aren't they? It's mostly to level up charisma. Ugh, sounds even worse. Our share of the loot is pretty crummy, but loot is loot. I might even just give it away as uh, experience for the troops. Doc Spangler has died in battle. Well, let's... Whoa, slow down there. I'm not sure I want to... Ah, the siege was already ongoing, right? Maybe we can join and get it done quickly and do our part. Mm, handling with one-handed weapons... But I want... What happened? Which of these two skills does it care about when you switch between one-handed and two-handed style swords? I'm thinking about it. Maybe I will go with the one-handed sword for this. If I have a one-handed sword that can be one or two-handed, and I switch to two-handed, does then it start using the two-handed skills? I don't know, but I need to get some vigor, surely. Sad music playing for Doc Spangler. He died in 1085 at the age of 23. Died smiling, no less. And you were a lord of the clan Varos. Clan of average strength, but Derwin is still your leader. Lord Braska has been born. After Yuna has died. Mm, don't know what to make of that. Right, well, we're a fairly large army. This castle should fall easily enough. Is that Tidus? Tidus, you were too late. You couldn't save Yuna. Nobody could. Surely my party's due some upgrades from that. Not a whole lot. Just assault. Assault now before they have any catapults set up, you fool. So it's a shame you can't do... Oh, wow, he's actually going for it once they've only set up one catapult. I am impressed. Well, might as well do my part. Should always die smiling. Make the funeral awkward, is it? <laughs> Brasco was born into the wrong generation. And I, I was always hoping that we'd have a Final Fantasy uh, X prequel where you get to play as Jack, Brasco, and Oren. I suppose story-wise, it wouldn't be a lot of payoff because you know how it how it goes. But I still want to play it out. Maybe have some alternative way about it, but. I ain't part of Square, I don't know what their game is. Right, screw this, I'm just I'm just going on in. I know how to fight a siege. Out of my way, everyone! They're gonna aim the fire catapult right here, and I don't wanna be part of that. Got big castle walls here. Seat, you stay here and don't die. I think you just got shot there, actually. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Must have if you're running away like that. Let me ready the ladders for you, lads. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take all the glory away from you, so I'm not going to charge up there. Ooh, ooh crikey. Okay. What are these little holes in the wall called? Somehow this is getting me tactic points. It's okay, they're just militias. Just go and mulch them.
easy money. Also, they're Batanians. Give us back our castle. You know you don't want to be there. You know what? I want a better view of how this is going. Bless the RTS camera mod. First time I'll express good feelings about uh, RTS in any way. But yeah, they, they did not have the numbers, and we certainly did. Just a... Oh, Oof. Oh god, a Fian, a hero. Uh, I think a named character just bought it there. Damn it, someone needs to get up and put an end to that. If they just launch it into one of those, that's a lot of deaths. Fugger the Dispossessed. Oh no, but they were taking people out. Oh, that's fine. Where am I in all this? What am I doing back here? Oh god, what am I doing back here where the, where the things get launched into? Come on, folks. They're, they're already dead. <laughs> so few losses and yet Munster still goes down. Who even is that? We've got a lot of parties here. But, well, it's just culling the lines. So there'll be more lords that need to be filled out by others. Oh, sweet. Any losses that we took? Replaced by Fian and... Okay, maybe I was a bit too excited. I saw one Fian and thought that was okay. Ugh, even if you're high level, I don't particularly want you. I don't mind getting some heavy horsemen, though. I shouldn't be too fussy at this stage in the game. None of you speak to me, though. Well, prisoners might not be too bad. Actually, what I could do is just take all the troops and throw them into the garrison for some easy influence. Just lock in the units that I have right now. Hopefully the lock stays. Sometimes this lock does not want to stay. <laughs> so much for the looting opportunities, though. I'm not part of the army that took it. I'm quite certain I was part of the army that took it, but oh well. Alright, take some prisoners that I don't want. Franconian. Actually, I'd rather sell Franconian for some money, but... Imperial recruits, infantrymen, archer... You, you, you. I'm keeping those heavy horsemen. Definitely get rid of hired people. Their wages are way too high. People told me these guys are crap, but uh, I had a siege where these guys mulched me. Probably unrelated. Also, I didn't get any influence for that, which was a little sad. So I'm not sure I wanted to give them any more. Yeah, no, I'm keeping my guys if you're not going to uh, appreciate them. I said I'll donate to the garrison. Mm. I think I'll keep the egg whites for now. A little bit of influence. Right, leaving this army, that was fun, but I'm just not getting enough of the loot for myself by doing that. There we go, merry men. That's what I like to see. More party size is more better. I've got create, ditch the prisoners, and then get back to the fight. Finally broken the triple digits on the party size. Franconian is worth two and a half grand. I'll certainly be taking that, thank you. And I can't read all of this because of the stuff in the way. But this seems about right. Cataphrac and Heavy Horseman. I must have already hired the other ones that I want. Sure. I feel like I'm making a mistake, but sure. What else do you have going? A thirst for my charcoal, which is always welcome. And, 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 and... Not a whole lot with my name on it. 
course, we, we got next to no loot, didn't we? One pair of shoes? Yeah, forgive my lack of excitement there. And, yeah, no new... Oh, well, I'll give you your crappy little order here. And refine down a bit more charcoal. Getting those skills, slowly but surely. Franco wouldn't sell you, it'd be straight to the block. Uh, did I not donate to the garrison? Pretty sure I shoved my unwanted troops into the garrison. Keeping the egg whites. And up to Daisy. All right, great, back in we go. Nice to actually capture something. And in fact, an opportunity to recruit some more uh, elite troops, not elite, noble troops. Suspiciously wealthy furry. I wouldn't mind taking it out on you, but you're part of the Hidden Hand, aren't you? The Hidden Hand is unaffiliated, and I feel like there's only one moral thing to do against you. Oi, sorry, I don't think I know you. So what's your story? You are there with a the Hidden Hand. Your members in... Oh, you're the leader of it. You're at war with... Oh, I really shouldn't. You're at war with our enemies. All right, you get to live for now. When you walk these roads, know that nothing escapes the notice of the hidden hand. Lords and emperors come and go, but we remain. He doesn't capitalize emperors, but he does lords. I'm here to deliver my demands. I offer you one chance. Surrender or die. No, not quite. I think you can back out of that choice, but I wasn't willing to take the risk on it. All right, well, that was a good bit of a push, but uh, any further pushes deep into enemy heartlands. Perhaps being near Mormon Sea is not a terrible idea. Right, I want that wood, but it's Batan- no, it's not Batanian, it's Empire. Unfortunately, it's already been raided. Captain Falcon! It was a mistake to ever let you go. I wish you and prosperity. But of course, I don't want that. You've got some attitude, don't you? Yield or fight. And I'm not taking on 13 guys to send in the troops. And of course he kills three of them. An oath sworn, a trained warrior, and a banner knight. Is the banner knight the best one? Sounds like a good one. I wonder if the, uh, the killing rate also applies to these auto battles. Ooh, I tell you, though, getting a war mount out of that's not a bad trade. Now, what do we have here? 808. Right, unfortunately, I'm disorganized and a real fight, but I'm going to be right on top of you. What is your story here? Mm, Legion of the Betrayed of the Western Empire. All the more to kill you with. That's close enough now. Who are you? Off with his head. I don't want to be chopping people's heads off left, right, and centre because it severely impacts relations. And I might start caring about that when it's time to start forming a, a faction or our own kingdom. That said, though, if I find some people that just need to go, they might just need to go. If you find yourself in a position to hire warriors, you should consider the Legion of the Betrayed. We know what it means to honour word and contract. But you're a cruel individual. You're at war with us and the Embers of the Flame for some reason. Dr. Beruga leads them. Interesting. Right, well, you know how this goes. We gotta fight, and fight we shall. Ah, uh, yeah, morals aren't morals if they're not challenged, Mordkalb. Oh god, companions are just asking to die in these fights. Mm, right, you're still there in with the foot troops. Where are our enemies? I don't know. This is the closest thing to high ground, so I guess we're going to make a march on that. And then cavalry to protect flanks and such. And, of course... Our 
Why do I have a single horse archer going? Tell you what, the, the horse archer can just follow me. Everyone. No, not everyone. Not at all everyone. Oh, right, the horse archer became a unit because I myself went into F10 mode. Interesting. Still learning so much. That's a lot of ranged units. I'd like to cavalry charge right into that, but we'll see where they end up. See, they might just nestle themselves on that relatively high ground themselves. I want a cleaner Archer. shot for you, so forward. move forward a bit. The Fians should be able to shoot from here. Uh, especially if you Cavalry. are not blocking move. Their, move. their view. Come on, Fians. Show us what you're made of. They're right there. They're just staring at us. Footman, Archer, forward. Footman. Footman, you guys get into a Form a shield wall. Infantry. And offer them something interesting forward, to shoot. Move. There we go. Fians are now able to work their magic. So the Fians engage nicely at 170. Got you. If they start charging us... Oh, tell you what. Um, infantry. infantry, just hold where you are. What's hold? Six. Stand your ground. Fians carry plenty of quivers and arrows, I think, so even if not many of these hit, shouldn't de shouldn't deplete us too much of, uh, of our ammo. Although, I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing hitting. Yeah, seeing the arrows fly is nice, but I'd rather see them hit. Not raining or storming or anything. Are they in a shield wall over here? Oh, well, no, there we go. Give you what's for. Oh, oh, their leader. That might make life easier for me. That wasn't their leader. That was just an egg white. Who's their leader? Is it the guy with the banner? Obviously now I don't want to sit here and die myself. Is it that guy? Looks like he's wearing some fancy clothes with a fancy helmet and a fancy cape. Come on then. Let us do honourable... Yeah, there it is. 808. Kill 808. There we go. I don't see much point in risking my own uh, units here. My own cavalry, that is. These guys seem to want to just die to a hail of archer fire. I will let them. Crikey, yeah, 808, you fought this about as badly as I fought that big battle the other day. There we go, just remove what's left. Oh, <laughs> God, that feels good. Flawless freaking victory. Sadly, 808 survived. And we'll let them be. I've never seen Jake get this excited about a game that didn't involve unregulated capitalism. Yeah, sadly, the capitalism is fairly regulated in this. But, oh, it feels so good. It feels pretty bad when you're losing, but it also feels good to turn around such a situation. Reputation of being fierce and cruel. Doesn't look like you have any friends, though. 
Can we really not do our way with 808s here? Oh, nice. Uh, replacement Highborn. I don't really want your crummy volunteer units, but... I mean, it couldn't hurt, could it? Nice prisoners, though. I should, I should take every last scrap of prisoners you have. Gilman to Gulman, a camel rider. Oh, what the hell, you're practically free. I might as well take you. What about the Vlandian footmen? People are saying the Vlandian sergeants are really good, but oh, the complications of upgrading them. When I, when I do upgrades, I just like to hold control and click down the left path. Like so. Less thinking is better thinking. Wow, damn, I'm good at the leadership now, apparently. I think it's just because I put an aptitude point into it. Um, and M and M. Well, Rockman is also here. As is Wario. Why, why let up a good thing? I certainly have uh, prisoners that I need to get rid of, though, and Maranath is right here, so I think I'll go there instead. But, what do I do with you? If I were to kill you, 808, who would care? Nobody would really care. I mean, minus 10 with a bunch of people, none of which seem to matter. I think this is the only appropriate way forward. Cowardly removing that. So one of the things I really didn't like about executions was that it kept popping up at the top to tell you about everyone that doesn't like you, and it could go for minutes. I have a mod called No Relation, which means that pop-up does not happen. It all just ha it all just shows up here. No, no no sound effect, no going on for ages. Just kill people. Which is good, because when I find the chatters and kill the chatters, they get to know that they die with little ceremony. Whoa, okay, that's a big army. Besides, the more we kill people, the... What do you mean I lost honest? I said right in the start, I'm going to be killing people. If only this game had message settings, eh? Hey, now Paradox seems to be bringing those back. Never thought I'd see the day. I thought they were gone for good. Captain Falcon, barely worth this money. Said I'd keep the egg white though, didn't I? At least until we can be fussy. Ah, Vlandian Knight. Okay, yeah, Banner Knight is the top level, and we lost a Banner Knight just in some uh, auto auto finish fight. That was not very nice. Does that actually maintain there? Yeah, it does. Slowly but surely, they'll be recruited in. All right, I'm liking our setup here. I do wish there were more Fians, but for that, I'd like a larger party availability. My message got suppressed. What bad word did I say? God knows. I've got a massive filter of emotes, so probably any emote. Consider yourself fortunate. Yeah, that's why you never do auto calc, but you don't want to fight every single tiny little fight, do you? Uh, those war mounts are incredibly expensive, but I do need war mounts. Uh, need or want? Take your par freeze and your hunter. Interested in finding or making a one-handed sword that can also be a two-handed sword. Like a falx, but I'm not sure I 45 grand want it at this point. Was it the Highland Throwing Daggers that were the, that were the good ones? I think they were, right? Yeah, give me all of those. And was I right? I have an amazing way of forgetting things that I learned moments earlier. Nope, the Highland ones are trash. What were the good ones, then? Heavens knows. But away all it goes regardless. Tribesman daggers. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to just keep forgetting that. There we go. Starting to get actual payments for jobs that I can reasonably do now. Almost what you're after. Uh, doesn't quite have the range though, does it? 
That's sort I'm sure you'd be happy with that. Happy enough to pay me one and a half grand. What's pretty close? That's pretty close. Here, have this. No, he hates it as well. Everybody hates the stuff I'm trying to make for them with the goodness of my heart. Still unlocks new pieces though, so I'm happy enough to do it. Even if it's not proving to be that great money-wise. I wonder what I could actually build for myself reasonably now. So if I made myself a two-handed sword that could also be one-handed. No, we've barely got anything unlocked here. But I wonder if what I could, would, or should do... Mm, I'll pass on it for now. But there'll probably be a point where I make like 50 weapons and smelt them all down just to get new parts. But let's not worry about that right now. We're at war. Oh, crikey, right. We saw him sieging his castle moments ago. Looks like he got it, and now he's on the warpath. The one advantage we can enjoy is that... Oh, God, there's barely any defenders, but we just we do not have the wherewithal to, uh, to besiege a place, sadly. Oh, it is an empire culture place. So we should naturally come on in and be nasty and hostile. Give us your goods. I mean, it's terrible stuff, but uh, now I'm just going to raid you. Hope you don't mind. There we go. Getting the hardwood. Getting the... See, they didn't They didn't have as much as they were claiming. Uh, a couple of people. One, one person's lost. One person died in battle. It's nice that it tells us that. Did I get any influence for raiding that place? Unlocks are based off of price, it seems. Just make the most expensive item, then smelt them after. Sorry. Highest leveled item in the category. That's what I plan to do, just not at this moment. You got more cheap uh, war mounts? Because heavens, I need those. Apparently. No, that's just mounts, not war mounts. It's really nice that your merc contract is based on your influence. Oh dear, that doesn't look like a good feed. A lot of members of Batania just got taken prisoner. Luckily for them, none of them died in battle. Right, anyone here that I could jump? Like Archon. Archon Derwin, I'm sure I saw your name somewhere earlier. I want to coax him out of there and then catch him. Get him in the forest, for example, because that's where my advantage is. Well, not fighting in the forest, and certainly not fighting near that militia. That should be fine. Before I engage, let's grab an extra heavy horseman. I like them a lot. It was never my plan to be using those, but I suppose my troops are small and weak enough that I should consider them for it. So, Emperor Derdrak of the Western Empire. How pleasing. Is he the Emperor, though? what may seem to be an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. Just beyond sword length is fine. So, who might you... Not quite. It's Emperor Derdrak. And you are Archon Derwin. Clan Varos, average one, but you are in charge of it. Hmm, it was such a shame when you lost Doc Spengler, wasn't it? Oh, oh, sorry. That was your son. Well, like father, like son. Let's hope we can take him out and put him in the ground for good. Hmm. Do not take it amiss if I do not immediately extend my hand in friendship, for the world is a treacherous place and I have learned to be wary. Cautious, cruel, devious, close-fisted, you are the reason. Well, let's have at. It's morning time, I wonder if there's going to be any uh, any light going. I love how my party's to the north and just didn't care, said Dicey. 
Well, when you know the death rate is high, you probably don't want to engage in every fight. Okay. I don't know where his... Oh, his army is probably going to be across that bridge, right? The only thing I want to do is make sure that you guys are in loose formation. Otherwise, where are you at? Okay, this could be a gallant opportunity. Ah, oh, but they're going to crest that hill nice and easily. Um, then I want to engage them on this. If we can fall back a little bit. Have them come to us. Cavalry want a piece of us to begin with. Tch, crummy cavalry. I hope my units aren't going to be looking the wrong way because of their fallback command. Or me telling them to move back a bit. Cavalry, cavalry we need you to uh, engage. Don't want their cavalry giving me a hard time here. Sweet, I'm finally fast enough to catch others on horseback. You're a sword sister, right? Eat it. Where's the fall back command anyway? Like return? Blocking a lot of the archer view, aren't you? I feel a little bad that we're not atop this hill, though. We could certainly have a better view from up here. <laughs> there we go, Fian. Immediately taking these guys out. That's what I like to see. shield away. This game is on console? I'm actually surprised at hearing that. Someone that's hanging around. No, you're just a regular Imperial Heavy Horseman. I should have learned that that's not the best way to engage close combat. How about you, though? Oh, crumbs. Shot just when I was trying to... Uh... Yeah, there you go. There's Archon. Damn. He cleverly decided to go in with his mess of units, but... Our Fians know how to handle this. Well, some of them do. Some of them are blocked. Infantry! Move! Move! Move it! Move! Lots of spears, so I'm not too keen on charging into that with my expensive cavalry. Very interested in finding Archon himself, though. If I could take him out with a lovely arrow, especially to the head, I imagine that's going to make it less likely that he gets back up. Damn, he's good with that shield like a coward. Come on. Face it, Archon, you've already lost. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the things this does for me, you have no idea. Ah, 
I think I missed my shot at Archon. Yeah, he got knocked down, so if we were to kill him afterwards, we'd have to take the penalty of actually massacring him ourselves, so I think he's going to be sold to the highest bidder. Jake's passion for this game is infect. I've heard from quite a few people that have been watching this and gone, okay, now I'm playing Bannerlord. It's so good. I think a lot of people are, uh, especially if they played it well, it was in development, are full of bitterness from its development. But since I don't touch early access, I can just get to enjoy it on its release. And whilst there are bumps and cracks and chinks, it's still a good, oh, it's a great game. Well, Derwin, I did want to kill you, but I'm not going to lower myself to bringing the axe down on you myself. I'm not sure I even want your prisoners that much. Oh, well, I'll take them, obviously, because I can sell them, but... Uh, ooh. Yeah, let's be courageous. Otherwise, I'm taking all your goods. And we apparently have a better mount. That... Ooh, Cantarion Charger. Apparently better. What was I using before? I think I used a Step Hunter. Still, better horse is better. Early access is bad, real bad. I don't know why people put themselves through early access. Just just have the game come out and be amazing and play it then. No guarantee it's going to be amazing, but it's probably going to be better than early access. Right, so what was I planning on dunking into these days? I think it was leadership, so I can get myself up to masked leader. Although maybe someday I should be going for one-handed and two-handed so that I can get these to be a lot better. Because my personal damage with it is terrible. And I did just get that vigor. Nah, go leadership. More party is more better. And look at that. Party size limit increase. Yeah. Okay, feels good to slaughter someone. Why not continue? I spy Dicey. Dicey was bragging about their great decision to not engage. Sadly, there's no way I can just dump the prisoners that I have right now, but let's head north and see if we can't catch Dicey. They might cleverly join an army or something, but eyes peeled. Frankie Vesna. No, you went into Legata. Caravan of Swedish Pizza. Ugh. So, uh... The first and or second time we had a gathering of community members here in... Well, not, oh, it's not here in Sweden anymore! Oh, thank God. Ah, back in Sweden, in that distant and horrible past where I lived in the frozen wastelands of the north. We went out for pizza, and it was terrible. Because Swedish pizza is terrible. Damn, where did Dicey go? Are they in here? Can't really tell. Yeah, Swedish pizza bad. That's the story here. Well, at least I can pop over here and uh, deliver my prisoners. The Redfield Bloodline? Mm. Ah, prisoners first. You're already taking care of that. Looks like you just can't keep the Batanians down. Mm, Tavern District. Again, no, no compatriots to be had here, which is a bit sad. I had intended on this being a very... Oh, nice. A very companion heavy run, but it's not playing out that way. Elite Merc Maceman. Yeah, nah, you're just money to me. Oh, no, 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 you're to wait. I'm here for the trading. And it was not these. Puggio might be the much more accessible. Where, where do you get the what was it, the Highland Throwing Daggers? No, the Tribesman Throwing Daggers. Where are those found? Wrath's Army. Uh, sure, I'll help you with Veron. Hope I don't regret it. I already regret it. I'm not built for sieging. Far from it. I'm here to isolate and destroy armies. Oh god, what was that? That popped up at the top. Who in the world got destroyed?
I believe it began with a V. The Vizaros clan. Tarkin died. Zapdos. The baby mysterious VR is somewhere with no one to look after them. But your entire clan just got wiped out. Died in the battle at the age of 29. So that means that... That clan is actually going to be replaced with a new clan at some point. I don't know if that happens instantly or not. God, there's a lot of clans here. Can we sort by age? No. I think all of the clan names that start pull from the game's base names, but when they are replaced, they're going to pull from the chatter names. So we will have, say, the, uh, the Dicey clan or the Earl Von Boomer clan. We just need to wipe out enough clans for that to happen. And I'm all on board for that. Hello, Frostitute. Fancy meeting you again. It's been a while. Oh, it's been too long. I think it's dead as well, Jake. The baby, that is. The tooltip said so. Oh, but it didn't colour it in black and white. Maybe the game didn't expect dead babies, so didn't prepare a graphic for it. But if I'm playing your game and you have babies, prepare for dead babies. There we go. The experience of slaughtering them never gets old. <laughs> Much like them. Some good high ground here, but I suspect I'm going to be beaten to it. Although maybe my cavalry could rush on in and... Secure it. Alright, let's F10 it. And, oh yeah, yeah, they are 100% going to want that, but I want it too. Cavalry, I want you to follow me. We're going to disrupt them taking the top. Oh boy, yeah, they got they got long spiky things. But go, 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 and charge right through them. Probably just best to go in with a charge here. See Batanian heroes doing what they should do. I am so good at getting my horses killed. Probably because this isn't much of a charge, is it? It's just a strolling up and being killed. There we go. Nothing for it, Frostitute. Now get back into the tavern. I want the money for you. Hi Jake, nice to see you live. It's nice to be live. Nice to be live here from Balaton. God, I love being here. And I love not being in Sweden. Uh, I'm not sure many of your guys are worth having, but I already ditched my prisoners, so on you come. And naturally I take your stuff. Those are just villagers. I'm not here to terrorize too many villagers, I think. Okay, it's promotions all around. And we're getting there with leadership. We attack far more often than we, um, than we defend, but I really like that recruitment rate of tier four plus, so that I have to go for. Sure, I don't want to terrorize villagers. We are faster than them, and they're probably returning with all their money, aren't they? And they don't look Batarian, do they? We're returning for the market back at our village while I'm taking your stuff. Here's the money, just take it, let us go. It doesn't work that way. I want everything. 
I want the skin off your back. It's been a bad time for the Batanians. Need to make sure that people know not to mess with us. Where even are they? are just over there, right? Are they going to move on us? Probably not. Archers! Loose formation! Infantry, move! Form a shield wall! Did I spy one person on horseback there? Not sure if I did. Footmen! Move! Move! Go on, get forward a bit and just pepper these guys to death. You're not all taking shots though. Hmm. Footmen! Forward! Forward! Archers! Forward! Wow, Batanian shield wall is sad. Look at those tiny little shields. Sad, sad fate for these guys. At least they're bundled into a large stack over there, so I can just pick away at them and get my bow leveling skill. I'm keeping the shield wall up just because they're still throwing stones at us. And now... Kill that last poor sod over there and run down the rest. If you're an Empire Civvy, you are complicit in Empire War Crimes. And for that, there is no forgiveness. somehow that's worthy of influence, but hey, if I get paid for it, it's all good. Yeah, some stumper horses aren't the worst thing to get out of that. Any horse is good horse, as long as you're not receiving herd penalty, which I should probably check for. Has Jake found her favorite mace? No, but I do hope someday to be forging the weapons that I want. Okay, it's almost paying for our wages right now. Honey Tongue Godzilla. Who the heck is Honey Tongue Godzilla? Doesn't matter, I suppose they're gone, but do they show up here? No, I've never seen this being lost thing before, but I guess it's a real thing. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's probably another big battle that went very wrong for our kingdom. Yeah, we have inflicted more casualties somehow, but they are stronger. They're... Honestly, the Western Empire is very weak. There's no way we want to be paying that now, is there? We should get a Bacterian Waifu to preserve the noble line. You're not wrong. I don't know where I'd find one, but I should. Probably have to pay for one, really. Villagers of La Bloom. Ooh, who the heck are you? Dorothea Dorable. Is that a vanilla name? Doesn't matter, you're still going down. You made the terrible mistake of entering a forest. I'd like to make sure that we're as leveled up as we can before we engage. Your militia's probably going to help you. Stop there. I would ask you for your name. Okay, well, I can only hope you go down, but you got Kraywin here. Orlov is one of your friends, but what about your clan? Oh, hey, I remember you guys. You know how this goes. And yeah, there we go, the militia are joining in. But the way I see that, it's just more, um, more experience for us. The encyclopedia just filter for female, alive, Batarian, noble, not married, and sort by age. Clever, Chipaku. Very clever. 
Oh wow, what an awkward position this is. And we're right at the bottom. Huh. I should have taken note of what exactly I'm fighting against. Right, where uh, where's whatever we're fighting? They're over there. We can secure something resembling high ground, but they'll have higher ground. Mm, it's all pretty bad, I think. All pretty bad. Guess we just gotta make our way up. We have some archers, but not many. Oh yeah, cripes, they're already there, aren't they? But I think they're on the defense. They don't want to leave their precious homes. Stabbies. My poor horse. Right, well, this is not ideal. How about cavalry just get away? Archers into a loose formation and infantry into a shield wall. And hopefully we can win the. Uh... Oh god, out of my way, everyone! I suppose I'm the one in their way. that on horseback? Just one of my one of my regular guys? Also, I don't think you guys are firing at all from there, are you? So... See if you can't make any shots from there. Whilst the shield lord does its thing and just absorbs the arrows. Oh dear, oh dear. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm not sure the bowman will really make a lot of shots from there. Oh jeez, this is awkward. Come on, didn't come here to die. Oh, I guess I did come here to die. Well then, it's up to the units to figure it out. Yeah, actually sending in the cavalry to disrupt their attacks might have been a decent idea. Or I suppose just charging with my significantly better units, my foot troops. What a choke point though, that's unfortunate for us. Yeah, the units start making their own decisions once you're dead. Not always good ones. As we can see, our horses are getting mobbed. And down they go. My expensive, well-trained horses. It should have been my infantry going in instead of the horses. They still get the job done in the end. But yeah... Gallant down, squire down. Ooh, a banner knight's never fun to lose. But a win's a win. Yeah, the fast forward can be done when you're dead, but it can also be done if you go into RTS camera mod, which is nice. Sometimes you're not dead, but you do want to speed up the fight. That's a lot of prisoners, but I'm already prisoner maxed. Let's give it to the crappy ones. Because they got some real good ones here. Uh, 
should probably have it sorted by tier. First, we make sure that we take the, well, I'll just take all the best ones, right? And of course, the mounted ones. And then it's just as many as we can get. Hmm, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now, obviously, I took a lot of damage there, but thanks to perks, we get a lot of it back. The medicine perk is so good. That's why it's uh, pretty much the first one I worked uh, work towards. And it always feels good making a difference in this fight. There we go. We're now being paid more than our wages, thanks to our towering influ... Ooh. You know what this means? This means one of you is going to end up... Uh... Actually, what happens if we enter this fight? We're hostile to both. Okay, you can't. The game can't handle three-sided battles. But... Whatever you have, I'm taking your stuff. Actually, what do you have? I have one butter. Yeah, sure, I'll take your butter. But I'll also take your life. There we go. It would have been unthinkable if those guys could have taken down any of our units. Yeah, dismounting and going on in probably wouldn't have been a bad idea in that uh, in that fight. I always forget dismount. I suppose it's easy to forget. It's point in having mounted units if they're not found to, uh, fighting on horseback. Well, the answer is horseback's not always the way forward. Especially against big pointy sticks. So hard to find companions, it's uh, a little disheartening. Well, we'll get them eventually, I'm sure. Okay, you two are not worth a whole lot, but I'm still putting you away. And... Whilst that's a pretty nice horse archer. Actually, shouldn't I take you? No, I'd rather, I'd rather make a special assignment of can guards than have you. Yeah, I can just ditch a lot of you. What is the custom characters meant? Well, you might have noticed that we have people like Slippy the Toad and Bob Ross around here. Tiny Nancy's an odd one, isn't it? We've got custom names, both people from the chat and names that the chat have put in, appearing as characters in the game. Right, Trigby. Good hustle out there. Less charge damage taken sounds great. And that works for your formation. Well, that sounds incredibly good to have you as a uh, as a hero in that. Ooh. That might actually be really good for when I grab... Um, ooh, grab promoted companions. I might make a mental note to grab braced and then have them in command because... Minus 50% charge damage sounds great. Unless I'm not understanding what charge damage is. As for you, you don't have a lot going for you. Just take the hit points. Right, speaking of not a lot going for us, this fight, far from great for good King Caladog. But Caladog is still alive. Hand it to him on that front alone. Maybe I can join in this, uh, this siege at this late stage in the game. And I still have room for almost 20 party members. I should actually consider... Is Veron Imperial? It is Imperial. I'll take a long way around and stop by here to grab some more Fians. Because I do love my Fians. Yeah, everyone does. Also over here because I probably have some stuff to sell and or liquidate. Yep, absolutely. And everything below this probably. A reinforced kite shield looks better than my existing one. Don't know why it doesn't show upgrade here, but there we go. It looks pretty badly chipped and damaged, but hey-ho. Cow, sheep, flax, wool. Just getting rid of the trade goods because they are way too heavy to be worthwhile, in my opinion. Hides, salt... Seems okay. Seems like lots of money for me, which is always okay. 
And, and, and. Smart lot. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, I don't know why he doesn't like that. I fit, I fit all the criteria and he's still not happy. Maybe it needed to be a higher tier for him to be happy. Maybe I should try that next time I do something vaguely difficult. Mm, stacking charge damage is great. Enemies literally go flying once you stack enough of it. The final riding perk massively buffs charge damage. Well, maybe if I get a... Uh, a great cataphrac or valiant banner le uh, banner knight to promote to a um, companion they might be excellent in charge of their own division because they'll have lots of perks for it so i'm just giving you any any kind of crap i can just want the experience but that experience is fairly drying up on smithing isn't it still 10 times rate there's a lot of smithing to be done. We need to do bulk smithing at some point, but not just yet. I'll wait until I lose everything in a failed fight. And then I have nothing from which to smith. That would be a good idea. I'm being facetious, of course, it would be a terrible idea. Copsy has, says hello with a smiley face. Well, welcome. Wait, I came over here to grab Fians. Grab those Fians and get right back into battle. Mmm, Trevor Belmont. The first Belmont ever. Hero, warrior, highborn youth, it's all good. But some are more good than others. Right, can we can we get you? We are faster than you. And anything to build up relation and influence, because I want that money. Mechanically, this game is so good. Just needs a bit of spit and polish, and maybe some content. Or in some ways, less content. Probably doing something foolhardy by chasing you down like this, but... I set my eyes on you. Trevor Belmont owes me some goodies, because I got trashed by Castlevania 3. Now, what are you carrying? A lot of stumper horses, but I think we're fine on capacity for now. Hardwood at a ridiculously high price. And they don't even want my charcoal for a particular... Ooh, well, they'll buy a fair amount of it, won't they? And they have the money for it. Great, take my charcoal. And then... Um, hand over my charcoal. I'd love a simplified way to unlock parts that wasn't just smelt till you die of old age. Well, there's a decent way to do it if you have a lot of stuff to craft with and I will do that at some point just get it out of the way and then we can all just nod in agreement at how terrible the mechanic is I have a hard time telling where the edge of my deployment point is here it is how dare I not see grey on brown can't really see where our friends are be nice if it remembered the formations that I like to give here right How's this gonna go? Nice big empty area. Sounds like I want my archers. This is kind of a high ground-ish place to be. So archers here. Infantry over there. I may or may not shield wall you afterwards. You get ready to take care of anything that comes our way. Quite a bit of um, quite a bit of their cavalry in that case. I want my own cavalry to engage. To yeah, I'm just trying to stall out their cavalry charge by body blocking. And then our own cavalry come in. And that should open up the opportunity for my archers to do some damage to. Oh, cripes. Easy now. I don't want a lame horse after all this. All right, that's pretty good. We have the advantage now, so I want you to fall back. Fall back! What is fall? Where does fall back actually?
place them. Do they fall back to where all of our units are, or what? They don't seem to be falling back that much. Get over here. So we broke their cavalry charge. Now they should be slim pickings for our archers. If anyone gets too close, I have all of my cavalry, because no one went down, and my infantry. Now oh, they're still, still making their attacks here, though. That wasn't what I wanted. I want to engage. Oh, bye-bye, horse. I guess we'll find out if you go lame or not real soon. Mmm, just looking at those heroes making their kills. It feels so good. I should join them in that regard. Ow! <laughs> your head about you. Mm. Everyone, them all! Flawless victory if you ignore my horse. And we'll find out if our horse did go lame. Yeah, I don't have the awesome armor for the horse yet. I forget where you find that stuff. Imperial Veteran Caravan Guard? Yeah, I'm not into Caravan Guards. I don't think I'll be Sword Sistering this time. Just give me the goods. I'm surprised on how much I've been enjoying the game on console without mods, says Holy Crack Attack. Well, with mods, you tend not to know what you're missing until you see them or experience them. Okay, I've capped one handed, which is a little sad, but medicine is there. Healing rate with high morale. That's good. Yeah, I think I'll take that, because if we just keep winning, morale will be high, and that's when I want to chain the victories. Alright, but what about my horse? It doesn't say lame. It would say lame if it went lame, right? It could be slaughtered for meat. Not on my watch. Well, good job, horse. You died, but you sprung back like Lazarus. Now I've got a war to contribute to. Hmm. Could have raided you for grapes. Actually, I want your grapes. Give me your grapes. Uh, actually, it might not be worth it. I'll just head away. Like I said, I'm here to fight, not get grapes. Wario! What are you doing here, Wario? Yeah, get away from the town. I hate town fights. Stop. Who are you? It is better we know each other's names. Wario, Wario really cleaned himself up. Calculating, cruel, generous doesn't sound right for Wario, though. Now, we'll see if we can't put you in the ground. Can Britannia win the war? Well, the one thing is that the Western Empire is suspiciously low on units. If the Western Empire got pulled into another war, and that diverted the units, Batania could probably come out on top. But that's a lot of ifs. Batania's on the back foot from day one in this game. They're just so poorly positioned, they're bad at everything except for Fians. And of course that means other people can just come and take their Fians and be done with it. Right, what's the story here? Massive open plane, nothing really to shout about, so... Infantry up, archers up. Others over there, just get into position and mulch them as they come. Move to enemy! Yeah, nice, uh, nice attempt at a charge there, sucker. Easy now, don't take out my banner knights, I like those. Stand apart. Yeah, I love seeing those projectiles coming on in. God, 
It's the sound effects are so damn good in this game. So how do I tell them to kind of disengage or come back? Just the fallback command? See, when I did this before, I feel like they didn't actually fall back to any degree. Cavalry! Ah, I see, that shows their current... Uh, their current orders. A whole lot of not coming back, my horseman. <laughs> Good job, Fian champion. Got to do my part. Oh, this guy's dead. <laughs> the spirit of Yuna lives on with the Fian champions. God, I miss Yuna. Closer to our friends. They barely have any cavalry. As long as the cavalry is nearby, we can take care of any of their charges. What's going on with my chat? Seems to have stuck there. There we go. How many chatters, companions, has Jake gone through so far? Uh, a lot of named people have died. More than you'd see in a several year campaign of Bannerlord, but... The death rate has been increased to be 33 times normal. Boy, I wish um, shield formations were smart. And when there's no threat, they would uh, break apart and move forward faster. Still, this is nice. Our longbows are outranging them. At least the longbows that are on relatively high ground. Get higher up. Cavalry, stop following me. Just get into position here. It's kind of kind of awkward having so many following me like that. Come on, folks. They're right there. Take some shots. To see that, and if any one of these uh, Fians or the Fian champions, rather, since they're at max level, if any of them make it their way up to, I think, six or more kills, boy, there hasn't been any fatalities so far. Um, then they are eligible for promotion to companion. We had Yuna do that early on, and man, that was good to see. But sadly, no one has managed to accomplish that since. You have to get something like the 60-something percentile of kills and get a minimum of... It's something like 6, 7, or 8 kills, depending on if you're foot troop ranged or horseback unit. Oh, wow, these poor buggers are just eating a rain of arrows right now. They don't even have a shield wall. Wario, what are you doing? Actually, maybe dying if I have my way with them. You're just an egg white. You're not Wario. Where's Wario? Hey. Easy now. My horse may have survived the last encounter, but I'm not gonna. Not here to just take my chances, you know. Okay, they're going in for the charge. Infantry. Now it's not the time for shield wall. It's shoulder to shoulder and charge. Poor Batanian volunteer went down, though. 
He didn't promote in time to get a uh, to get a shield. Wario's down, but not out. Glorious. For Narnia, for Yuna. More for Yuna than Narnia. I don't think that film was that great. Alright, nice to meet you, Wario, but you're being sold to the highest bidder, and I'm a little overflowing on... Ooh, cataphracts. I'll be taking that for sure. Otherwise, I don't care much about the rest of your units, so just give me the good tier ones. Actually, can I take them all? No, not quite. Imperial recruits are barely worth anyone's time anyway, so... There we go. Ooh. Why, yes, I think I do want that mount. How could you tell? Riding 60, tier 5, yeah. I've heard about this purebred horse. It does exist in the game, but it doesn't seem that great. Alright, I gotta I gotta pull back a bit. Ditch the guys I've picked up and get back into the fray bentos. And doing what I can for this war. And it's not even a war that I have to do that well in. Uh, didn't I say I just want to get rid of all of this? Yeah, get rid of it all. I already broke down a lot of the other crap. And that seems okay. How are we on food and food likes? We've actually got a pretty rich diet going here. I'll take more uh, date fruits since those are the ones that tend to disappear the fastest. A bit of meat as well. There we go. Worth it for the dosh. Smelt everything down. And of course refine a bit more of that. Well, I do this for you, but I went and got rid of all of my hardwood, actually. Stocking up on hardwood's never a bad thing, as long as the price isn't... Uh, mm, that's not a great price, but I'll still buy it. I'll make your silly orders. Even if you hate it. There's Luke unlocking new smithing parts. And that is a two-handed mace. The two-handed mace just looks so wimpy. Look at this thing. It's like I'm out to play croquet. That's the right word, right? But it still unlocks these parts for us. Uh, do want to go up and get some more hardwood, though, and we'll get it at a good price. Hello, Cyanon. Hello, Cyanese hardwood. I'll take your butter as well. We're at the hundred thousands of money marks. We don't need to be too tight fisted. That doesn't mean we want to throw our money away. Noble Mount, War Mount. More War Mount. Perhaps more regular mounts. It's hard to get a good idea of just our mount number from looking at this, but stumpers and mules and workhorses don't really count. We've got like 10, 20, 60, well, with 100 people here then, yeah, I certainly want some more of the Batanian hobbies. <laughs> Reminds me of when I read Calvin and Hobbes. For the longest time I thought it was Calvin and Hobbies. Probably indicating at an early age that reading was not my forte. This was one advantage of being in the middle of all the fighting is you're never too far from home. Throwing axes? I get your throwing axes. Two-handed swords? I almost have your two-handed swords. This one looks pretty good if we just improve the handling a touch. Yeah, there we go. Easy, fast way to build up that um, those new parts. Eventually you'll get some orders that are worth some damn good money. But we need to be a little bit better at smithing before we get there. Also, always on the hunt for those tribesmen daggers. A 
so close and so far. Yeah, does anyone actually know where we get those weird tribal throwing daggers? I would have thought they'd be around here, but I'm not spotting them. Right, back into the fray. And if I can grab a few more fians for the party. Oh, right, well, there's not really any space for it. I miss Stalin. He made our party feel like a one party. The disadvantage is that the fighting's not far from... Yeah, there's that as well. But as long as I'm not invested in Batania and keeping it alive, it's no big deal. We're a merc. As long as we get paid, we're happy. Influence gained from donating troops. Wounded troops are no longer paid wages. I mean, this is almost never going to come into effect because I plan on healing people fast, so... Might as well get that influence, which is always a grind. Alright, snap. Oh, hello, Yuan Shao! You are surprisingly fast. He was quite the old man, was Yuan Shao. Oh, well, he was young one day, right? But You coward. He wants a siege at Guandu, does he? Well, I guess I'll take out GF Mingo to try and draw him out. Oh no 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 no! Not not just yet. Get away from there. Get away from there. I don't want any of these annoying town battles. If you please stop there, I would ask you for your name. You're part of a rich clan. You are the leader of this rich clan. Hmm. Probably fetch a pretty penny if you live, and if you die, what a pity. Hang on. <laughs> I remember Nitro falling. Right, you gotta go down. No, um, no horrible map or reinforcements for you. Yeah, Boomer, say hi to Daddy and be ready to say goodbye to Daddy. What happened to Stalin? Uh, Stalin fell in combat and he did not get back up. I wish Baron was here. I bet he'd have some good Stalin facts for us. In lieu of that, does anyone else have some uh, nice Stalin facts to remember him by? Infantry. Oh boy, they are close. And they've got the relative high ground. Why do I feel like I'm always robbed of the high ground? Probably because I'm always robbed of the high ground. Well, the game knows that we're already too good and we don't need any more wimpy advantages, right? Yeah, maybe we could actually press our luck and get for No, no, they are... They're actually going to the side there. Bowmen do get up there. Cavalry to the side. Could you perhaps name a town after Stalin when you get to that point? Uh, what are we going to call it? Leningrad? Oh, crikey, what a shot. Shot in the head by someone there. At least I can return the favour. Offer them a lovely target behind your shields. What's this guy's story? The story is that you can block sh Is that you? No, that's just an egg white. You must be the commander. Come on then, GF Mingo. I challenge you to glorious one on one combat. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there at the back. Well, he went down, but he didn't die. Bet he would have died if I had my way with him. What a poor guy. <laughs> Flawless victory for us. That's what I like to see. Have to be Stalingrad, of course. Just don't fight any sieges there. 
Oh, oh God, where did he have all that money? I choose to live and fight another day. I think he got shot in the neck there, pal. At least he should be worth some decent spending money, but uh, I got all these prisoners, which I probably forgot to get rid of. Take the egg whites. Oh, a Fian, absolutely. And otherwise... Get rid of these ultra crummy guys and get in their half decent tiered units. It all sells for more. Lucky Yuan Xiao getting to live. Maybe if I'd equipped uh, Yuan, um, Stalin with some better equipment, he might not have fallen so readily. Well, we know he's holed up in there. We'll come and get him shortly. Ah, Moromer's working an army. Do we really have troops to make armies with? Oh, well, we're getting there. But we still, we still uh, win on the casualties inflicted. And if we went for peace, we'd actually be receiving money. I don't think I'd get any money out of that since I'm just a merc. But a man can dream. Still no companions here. The saddest of things. Right, what are these people worth? Archon is worth six grand. And Wario? Not quite. Nobody really wants Wario, but I want Wario to pay me. Okay, I thought I took the Fian, but sold him accidentally. I did not. Still take the Heavy Horseman and equip the units we do have. There we go, yeah. Just loving what we get now. We certainly turned things around from last session, and indeed the start of this session. But we have a long way to go. My desire to play this game is not so easily snuffed out. Although, when we are done with this for the day, I'm actually going to be loading up Urban Dead. Because we have been long overdue. Some raiding in Urban Dead. Very different kind of raiding from what you have here. Urundulf has died. Let's let's remember, what was Urundulf ever good for? Urundulf? Just so glad to see them fall like that and have entire clans wiped out. Big Biter and Frozen Kaiser, among others, are part of their clan. But whole clans need to die. Rathalos's caravan. I think I'm a little bit above. Oh, you Anshao! You fool! You're eyeing up Guandu right now. But Cao Cao is not your enemy today. It is me. Stop there. Who are you? It is you Anshao is my favorite character out of the Three Kingdoms. I, I've played him in every Dynasty Warriors game I get my hands on, and he's always my favorite. I read up a lot of information about him as well, from what is probably reputable sources and not just Koei uh, fanfic. Right, I can't believe you've fallen to be a wolfskin, Yuan Shao. If I were to put you out of your misery, it would be a personal favor from me to you. Where's this noble splay? It's kind of lacking here, isn't it? Yuan Shao got a big reimagining in Dynasty Warriors 6. It wasn't a very uh, good reimagining for him. But to be fair, there wasn't a lot to work with. As in from his uh, previous iterations. Right, what are we doing with you? I want the high ground, obviously. Infantry hold down there. Archers here in a loose formation. I wish I wouldn't cut you out of this when you give your formations. And then cavalry just be ready to jump on in at a moment's notice. I'm not sure if the enemy's going to come towards us or not. Hey, Dynasty Warriors 3 was a classic. I won't be having any slander. Well, Dynasty Warriors 3 is my favorite Dynasty Warriors. Probably because it actually has a campaign for Yuan Shao. Dynasty Warriors 4 just has... Uh, I think it just has Yuan Shao versus Gong Shun Jan. Which is not very exciting, it's just full of gimmicks. 
But yeah, there's an entire involved campaign for Yuan Shao. He does fight Cao Cao a fair bit, but he also takes out Liu Bei. I think he also takes on uh, Shu. Uh, Wu, rather. Get my Shu's and Wu's mixed up. Unthinkable. I can't tell if I'm being shot or if my archers are actually doing anything, but we're a million miles away over there. I don't think they're going to come for us. And why would they? So it's a bad deal for them. In that case, let's see what you can do. I wouldn't mind separating you and Shao, wherever he is. He's probably not on horseback, is he? I don't know. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to tell. And he doesn't look that splendid, does he? Oh god, Batanian scouts. Not a good deal for you. Which I very often just load up Dynasty Warriors 3. Load up the Battle of Guandu in that. I think it's got the best Guandu out of all the Dynasty Warrior games I've played. And I usually just run in and do one thing. And sometimes that one thing is just go and kill uh, Guan Yu so he doesn't do all of his uh, auto-kill events, which I'm not a big fan of. Not just because, obviously, I'm on Yuan Shao's side and he slaughters Yan Liang, follows up by killing um, Wen Chao, and then forces Liu Bei and Zhang Fei just to retreat by being there. God, Guan Yu is so overly loved by... Away. Wow, these poor guys. Yuan Shao, you were meant to have a pretty great army and you just have these scrubs. Well, I say that and I'm the one taking a whole lot of scrubby damage. I think my cavalry alone had this one taken care of if our uh, other units even done anything. Oh no, four kills to the Fian champions. Good to see. <laughs> I never noticed that, but I heard one of the units there scream, run, everyone run. There's not as much routing in this game as I would expect. Poor Yuan Shao, dragged from grace. I was a fan of the map set up for Dynasty Warriors 6. Dynasty Warriors 6 is uh, a not well regarded Dynasty Warriors game. I've never played it though, it didn't come out on PS2 or PC, so not happening. Or did it? What did it come out on? Or Yuan Shao, hopefully there's still a bit of sway in the Yuan clan. But otherwise you have precious little to offer me. I've been lurking and playing some games. I really got to complain about something. Don't make me quit to menu and quit the game. Oh, you mean here where you got to exit to main menu to quit? Well, that's what Alt F4 exists for. That's just a caravan. Probably not worth my time. I might help out with the Siege of Veron if it's going okay. Gives me an opportunity to rest up as well. Not to mention fighting a siege. Always pleasant. Until you lose all your amazing units in one very well-aimed fire cannon shot. Getting there with tactics, slowly but surely. Uh, more damage when you're sent to confront. More damage is snow, forest. Well, we fight a lot more often in forests than anywhere else because of our Batanian thingamajigger. Is that just plus 10 damage to all of your units? Because that's pretty good. Also, more speed in forest, also welcome. Well, very welcome. Only an auto calc. Well, that blows. Maybe tactics is a bit of a waste of time, but wasn't there something here that gives you more units? Yeah, that's the one. I want at least horde leader. How do you know your level cap here? I want to get to level 75. I'm currently at 50. We still have learning rate. 
But I thought this thing gave an indicator of how high your, how high your level can get. Not sure. Current level is 17, so there's still a lot of leveling to be done. Alright, bring down Veron Castle. They have uh, two catapults. Hopefully they'll target our siege weapons instead of anything else. You can get above the level cap, it's just a lot slower, I see. If you mouse over the track itself and not any of the perks, it can go much higher than attribute and focus points, but I don't know how much. Hmm. I've heard of a mod to increase the speed at which you level up, but I don't like it. Well, I don't like the idea of that. I like the relatively slow burn. Am I in charge of anyone here? Oh, I've got my... Wow, I've got a large party. In fact, all of my units are here. If that's the case, then... Oh god, I've got a lot to care about here. Um, couldn't we just hold back with all of our infantry? You guys just kind of hold out here. And then we get the archers up front to just shoot at them. Hopefully my units just don't get shot by one of those. Oh, that would be grim. But I think they're going to target the... Um, Loose, loose, and loose. Looks like the large got militia, so just shoot them dead, please. Oh well, I'm, I'm the one getting shot dead here. Well, I'm seeing a lot of my Fian champions slaughtering their people on the walls, which is good. Oh, but those heavy losses from the uh, the shots there never feel great. Don't worry, they're just Batanian volunteers. Nothing to worry about. Gotta be careful not to die myself or we're gonna lose all of my formations and orders and things. Jeez, guys. <laughs> Just hearing those shots go in, it's good. It's okay, they're just Batanian volunteers and scouts and other people that no one cares about. Just get those kills in my glorious Fians. There's a decent chance that I could get a level up from this actually, if one of my Fian champions gets enough kills. Whoever Coleman is, they went down. Who's Coleman? Firiad, Moramir, Wires, Sh Shitatsu Show. Maybe Coleman is a unit type that I didn't know about. Ow, okay, right, I've had my fun. Oh. Archers come here, shoot up. Oh god, two Fian champions out like that. Probably my ones. Oh, 
Holy crap, 76 kills by our Fians. Alright, well, I think I figured out how to do a siege. Then again, there are very low walls here. Lots of easy kills, even from down here. It's just a shame they had any of those catapults. That caused some pain. But not to my Fians. Splendid. And of course, these Fians have amazing armor. The one good side about being Batarian. This is one of the moments where we could just speed the game up by going here and da 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 da. Look at that. Massive amount of loot, even though I was a small part of the army. Because our Fians decimated. Oh, I tell a lie. One of them died somehow. Mm -mm -mm. This is one costly siege. Not for me. I haven't met properly. What is your name? Well, Moramir. The name is Jake. And, uh, ooh, do I see replacements? Not really. Two Fian. Oh, Fian, Fian, hero. Hero, hero, hero. And the Highborn Warriors as well. Veteran Skirmisher might sound nice, but I'm only interested in the Oathsworn and the path towards Oathsworn. Falksman is also not on the right path, so to hell with the rest of them. Is there anyone I can chuck away then? Who do we not care about so much? Do I have any people that I want to just chuck away? I guess this crummy trained warrior, but he is ready for an upgrade. Alright, Fien in training. Sucks to lose you, but away you go. The prisoners, on the other hand. Mm. I guess I take the most expensive and go from there. Yuan Shao, I need to deposit you somewhere. There's something to be said for taking all of you and just ditching the... Yeah, I can ditch them as garrison, so I'll just take what I can. Surprisingly not such great loot, but still all for me. Also... I'm long overdue upgrading these guys, but there's not a lot to upgrade them with, is there? Okay. Better weapons. I still give you the club, but Fugger is hanging on. I'm happy enough to see that. Alright. Tell you what, what would you and Shao get me in terms of influence? I wonder if that's more money. I don't know how much your influence... Oh, your influence goes down quite a lot. Depending on your pay. Probably better to lock you and Shao up and make sure this war goes better for us and I get the influence which turns into money so it's not that bad is it otherwise get rid of the utter tat that we have here it's all influence sort of we'll go until we get one more point of influence and then the rest i guess can be sold actually no i'm going to donate all the prisoners that i don't care about just for influence Scout, Batanian Horseman, even. Okay, well, there's not a lot to be getting out of it, but I'll still do it. Except I can't, because that's too much. Oh, man, this game sometimes. Alright, sod it, you're not getting my prisoners. Garrison, Jake? Oh, I completely forgot about the garrison. Excellent point. Donate to garrison. The garrison pretty much doesn't exist. Take this utter garbage... Actually, just take everything I don't have a note on. Except, oh god, I, I want those elite cataphracts. Alright, that looks pretty good. Don't I want these for myself? They're pretty high level units. So maybe I will keep those. They'll die eventually. But then what would I give them? I'm going to have this crummy raider. Have a couple of highborn youths, and that seems fine. Make sure we put a note in those ones to keep them. 
get the upgrades going, and all in all, a great siege. Renowned for every issue resolved. Uh, influence gained from battles, hell yes. Security bonus from town garrison, party size limit. Can't say no to party size limit. Wish I'd had that before I chucked my units into the garrison, but anything to buff party size limit is well worth it. Now, how are we looking on that war, eh? We would be receiving if we made the peace now, but I have no say in that since I am just a scummy merc. We're working our way up towards glorious clan level 3. Pete serific has got a pretty fantastic army marching over here. He wants to besiege Veron Castle. Dare I protect Veron Castle from that army? There's a lot of ways that that could go wrong. Mm. I mean, it's freshly taken. The garrison practically doesn't exist. Yeah, and there could easily be another army on its way. I don't know. It seems like a very bad deal for us. He'd wait for reinforcements of that, I'm damn near sure. Oh, oh, he's turned off. Okay. Well, if we joined in, then he certainly would have been turned off at the prospect of a siege there. It's Wen Chao. Wen Chao and Yuan Shao on different sides. I don't think Wen Chao was a particularly amazing fighter, but he was in the Yuan Shao army. Oh, yes, yeah, so there was the other army. I don't really want any of that. What's going on, though? You appear to have a mission for me. Oh, it's Caladog himself! Still alive when so many others have fallen. I know your name. They say you're a man of valor. If we cross swords, it would be an honor. Hmm. They use a, uh, we don't know enough about the enemy. Where they are is strong, where they're weak. We don't want to lead a huge army through their territory in a wild goose hunt. We need someone to ride through there swiftly, scouting out their garrisons. Go deep into the Western Empire territory. So these castles know every detail, what sort of fortifications, whether the walls are well manned or ungarrisoned. Consider it done, Commander. When you reach one of their fortresses, spend some time observing. Don't move on to the next at once. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. I've never seen this mission. How does it work? Thorios, Oristocaris, and Rote. I will not remember that. Oh, thankfully, they're already tagged on the map. Oh, well, Rote seems to be the easiest route for now but only for now should probably top off back at uh oh well go figure veron's under siege seems about right show me the dough yeah it must be kaladog's winning smile that's keeping him alive throughout all this chaos Stack Budkin arrows. Oh, I don't have a. Uh, I should keep those, though. There's some good arrows. Put a note in those so I don't accidentally sell them. Quite like the look at that Taj. Well, let's have a look at it here. Probably not so good for defending, but it does look nice. The game instantly telling me don't use that shield. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll listen to you, game. Get rid of that nonsense as well, just give me the dough. And that's not a great rate in the hardwood, but I'll take it. Otherwise, they're not great, but why not at least just give you some... Ooh, troop movement speed. Actually sounds quite nice for our infantry. You just take whatever. Goodbye crude iron charcoal at an amazing price. Say no to ore and linen and leather and fur. There we go, 15 grand well earned. God, I love making money from fights. Better than making money from the smithy, right? Ooh. Even so, we smelt down everything we have. 
and then further refine what we can. Slowly making our way up in those skills. I have a question for you or for the chat. I just began a new game. When I hired my first companion, all his perks are unassigned. I can build all his unlocked perks as I want. Is this new? Normally it can only be seen with my brother. Uh, hmm. All of them. I wasn't aware that happened for new recruits. I thought it only happened for the brother, but just consider yourself lucky. I haven't noticed it happen for other recruits. Maybe you have a mod for that? Hmm. It says you're new game, so I don't know. Sadly, I don't have the experience to answer that question. Right, here's Rote. Von Dougals has died. Von Dougals was a clan of the TBW clan. Oh no, that's TBW, the leader of the Avalonos clan. TBW doesn't look best pleased with that, but that's a Southern Empire thing, and we don't give two hoots about the Southern Empire. So, what does he mean by scout? How long do I have to be here for? Okay, good enough, I guess. And you want me over at uh, Thorios Castle as well? Metherius! Defending. Hmm. Lots of crummy recruits, I see. Well, don't mind me. I'll just have a friendly chin whack, shall we? King Deathburk has decided to make peace with Asarai. Batarians, Freed, Peace Declaration. You know what? I don't like fighting in the dark, so maybe we can wait until daytime before we have our engagement. The dark would not benefit me very well, considering I want my units to be able to see where they're shooting. Alright, no, Metherius. Come no closer. Lady of a rich and dying and clan. Ninja and Mr. Moreno couldn't make it. Will you? I don't know. Writing's on the wall for you, Metherius. 35. No children. Hmm. Yeah, well, hmm. Nah. Right, you know how it is. And the numbers look even, but their units are kind of crappy, so I have every confidence. Yeah, butter army. I had a butter army once. I sacrificed much of them to make my escape, because I didn't want to spend today in prison. We've got a river. We actually hold the high ground here, which is nice. My question is, are they going to come to me or not? Probably not, right? It would be interesting to see. Now oh, they are miles away. So what if I... Now if I went F10, my own unit would charge on in and have bad things happen, I'm sure. But they are moving. If I go F10... Oh, oh, cripes. Never mind that. They actually came charging. Did not expect. Where did they go? Uh, well, one of them just ate the dirt. That's one Imperial Heavy Horseman for, uh, for our prison. Jings, uh, you'd, you'd think the commander was dead given that choice of attack. All right, come on, Fianza, they're right there. Oh, yes! Butter army, meet your doom. Oh, 
Is that you, Metherius? Your decisions today were poorly made. It's a shame to have lost an oath sworn and all of that, but it's unreasonable to think that no one would die. God, that was uh, unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for my wallet. Batarians don't need a spyglass when they're already invented the machine gun, clearly. Just hearing that all go was nice. Not a lot of gold to plunder out of you. I thought you were meant to be rich. Well, if you are rich, surely you're going to be, uh, be paying a high price. Heavy horseman, yes. I, I guess Imperial Legionary, it's as high as it goes. Otherwise, the rest of this is just chaff. Why, well, I might take the crummy recruits, at least take the ones that are worth a bit of money before taking the others. Ooh. And I gained charm out of that somehow. Oh boy, there is a very tight time limit on getting this done, isn't there? Um, over to the castle. And let's try not to get caught while we head there. Anyone could jump out and... and catch us. You let it catch you. And then finally down here. If there was a neutral town I could stop along the way, that would be handy. Poros. Yeah, I think Poros. We should have time to stop there as well. Imagine the shame of being the one guy actually falling in that fight. It wasn't a small fight, but we were fighting butter resty. Travelling to Onika. And the Redfield bloodline is here as well. Tantalizing. God, my theory should barely worth the effort. No, I did kind of want to keep that legionary, but. Conformity is so long to build up. I think I'll just ditch you. Heavens knows I have a good amount of units as is. Yes. Yes, that's quite alright. And while we're at it. Obviously keep that, I like it a lot. Mm, tier 2 shield, tier 2 shield. I'm not seeing a lot of better stuff so far. Dump that for Dosh. Lovely thing being that even if you end up captured and at the bottom of the barrel, so to speak, you keep your money. Uh, maybe I can find... Oh, there's the Pugios, which we apparently like. You wouldn't happen to also have those daggers that I like. You do? Well, this is worth the money, I think, because we go straight to the smithy. And we smelt them all down. Wonder if that gave us a lot of parts or not. The parts grind is unreal. Also, yeah, because I think there's, what, 100 or 200 two-handed sword parts? I said we're working our way through the one-handed stuff. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Look at the large amount of blades we have here. I do have a fair amount of things here, though. I'm tempted to start making and breaking. And I think what I'll do for this run is a one-handed sword. Actually, is it one-handed or two-handed that gives both options when I craft the blade? Don't suppose anybody knows. I guess I can check here, can't I? I'm looking for a blade here that says one-handed and two-handed. Maybe it's on the staff part. It's all saying one-handed. Then maybe it's under two-handed. You can do a two-handed grip, make a bastard sword 1.5-handed. Not sure if that's a joke or not. Two-handed sword. There we go. The leather-wrapped extra-long two-handed sword grip. So I do need to work my way up with the two-handed swords. Not unthinkable to do, though. 
we lock ourselves to what we have available. We just make the highest tier one available. Although, yeah, we, we're pretty low on access to these kinds of goods. Also, it costs crude iron. But that's okay, we make crude iron out of doing this. So if I just forge a bunch of these, we unlock the smithing parts for doing so. But then we can also smelt them down. And as you see, we get most of the stuff back. I think we just lose one wrought iron and gain one crude iron on the smelting. And then you go back and you do it. And then you do it. And then you do it. Yeah, it's, uh, you're going to see the pattern here. And whenever you can, you upgrade the... Um, you upgrade the tier of this stuff. And I think this is what gives you the better... And the better everything. Make a bunch. Smelt a bunch. And go up a tier. Make a bunch. Smelt a bunch. Still find ways to go up a tier. Nah, no tier increase that I can see here. So you make a bunch. And whoops, I'm out of charcoal. So we make some more. And we smelt it all. And now we're clean out. Trust me, that's a lot faster than doing it in vanilla. I wasn't even looking at what I was making there. I was only interested in... Yoink. Interested in uh, grinding it up for the parts. Every time you make a single uh, sword, it would play this little animation for you and you have to click past. There's a lot of clicking involved. You don't want any of that. Oh, curiously, what would these be worth if I sold them? Which I will not be doing. Promised myself in the start I wouldn't sell crafted stuff. 500 apiece is pretty great. 600 for the fine ones, and this is relatively low tier. The good stuff can be worth so much money that you bankrupt an entire city by selling them one weapon. That's how broken smithing is, but I refuse to engage in that. I'm just here to do what I can to make us the best weapons of the team. Uh, anywhere I can buy some wood to smelt down the rest? Probably not, so let's make it down to this castle for the scouting job. Oh right, there was Resty. How long do I have on this job? Ten days. Mm, I better get going. But if uh, Chris Redfield wants to have a wee cheeky fight... Should I send the troops? Let's see how they do. Ow. 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 <laughs> losing an oath sworn. Losing three banner knights. Yeah, I can see why people hate pressing that button. Sadly, we did not end the red field line. Take your crummy units, though. Well, I doubt I'll find a good place to sell them along the way, but I'll take what I can. shouldn't have sold all my charcoal in retrospect. Now I want it for... Ooh, hello, Yuan Shao. How can I resist the opportunity? Although, is he going to make it? He makes it, damn. Running to the walls of Guandu. I thought we could pass through here, but no, we've got to take the... No, no, we can go up here. Sweet. Wait, no. Okay. If we can get there eventually, I do have a job to do. Ah, oh, They made peace before I finished the quest, so it just became nullified. I'll never know what the king was willing to give me there. Still, peace is an opportunity to head back, stock up, and most importantly, get a ton of wood. All these uh, disbanded armies. If I was part of the council, I could have resisted that, but it's quite unusual that you can shift an entire vote on your own, and it costs a ton of influence to do so. Did your kingdom get anything from that war? Um, we're being paid 450 dinars tribute per day. I don't know if we gained or lost a castle. We were already pretty much on our last legs when we went into that war. It's funny how we're being paid in all of these and we're so pathetic well I say we you know, I'm not part of this faction I'm just fighting for them 
All right, give me the hardwood. It might be expensive, but I still need it, so I'll buy it. As a vassal, you don't get money from influence. No, but you can get land, and that's going to pay you a whole lot better if you protect it well. Hey, Earthworm Gem. Am I down on, uh, down on my troops like this? Losing a banner knight. What a, what a disgrace. The oath sworn, sure, they come and go, but the other losses are a bit of a sting. Wow, actually, they got a ton of wood for me to buy up. This is quite good. Suppose you wouldn't have any horses for me as well. In times of peace, let the goods flow. Yeah, I like the I like the hobbies for the mounts. And you're the war mounts, also good. Got to spend the money we made at war. And 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 there's wood to be had over there as well. Hello, Mr. Streamer. I recently perished alongside you in Urban Dead in the Rothwood Siege. Perished alongside you? Well, I should hope so. I was one of the zombies. Only uh, only revive when someone rudely sticks a needle in me. I usually catch your streams because of weird Japan hours, but cheers. Have fun. Oh, I will. And I plan on having some Urban Dead after this is done. Just want to go around and destroy places. Never properly played as a zombie in Urban Dead before. It's nice to right that wrong. Oh god, that was expensive. I'll still buy it, though. And then over to Epic Cut Tree. What? No, no, Caladog. Perhaps don't declare war on the Frenchies that completely surround you. Oh boy, right here I was enjoying times of peace, but now it's time to go back to the front lines. Get rid of the trash that we don't want here. Level up roguery, if nothing else. Yeah, Caladog saying we can attack. To be fair, Caladog is still alive. Many others have fallen, but Caladog lives on. Was someone calling him Chadalog or something like that? There's our tribes and ones. They don't have a lot, though. What about the broad-bladed ones? Do they sell for anything worth our time? We'll sell this trash and... Sell, sell, sell. We actually get money for all the stuff we're selling. What in the world did I sell that's worth so much? I'll take your hardwood. And I want to smelt down those crafted weapons before I accidentally sell them for way too much money. I get the bladed throwing knives are not all that. So, 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 so. And there we go, and get the smelting going of approximately everything. Hey, we got the level though. And now... Mm, control or Vigor? I'm thinking Vigor. But, yeah, Vigor, surely. With that, maybe this can go higher. Oh yeah, someone was saying learning limit. It says learning limit is 20, but we have level 32. What's a man to make of that? Learning level here is 160. So how much over the learning limit can you go? I love this mechanic, but uh, it's, it's losing me a bit. Obfuscated is the word. Right, but that means with all this charcoal, we can get back to our favorite grind. We already smelted this stuff down, so we've got to forge the the best one-handed sword we can. Just go for the highest tier. I suppose if you want to micro it, you can look for the least materials that it costs. I'm assuming that material cost doesn't impact. Um, oh, that doesn't cost any hardwood at all. But you get hardwood back when you smelt it anyway, don't you? But I want to use tier two. So let's forge like five of those, and another five, and another five, and another five, and another five, at least until we get an upgraded piece. Ooh, 
Wait, why am I doing one-handed? I wanted to do two-handed, right? Oh, crumbs. I'm making a terrible mistake here. Whoops. Well, smelt it all. I forgot. I was meant to be a two-handed sword, not one-handed. I'm sure it's fine. I think we get the hardwood back, so I might as well use the one that uses hardwood. Give it that good old cane sword. Or a sword cane. Alright. Get forging. And then good, we get the we'll get the wood back for smelting it. There we go. This is what I want, the upping in terms of tier. Of course, now it starts costing proper iron, but that's okay. We have iron. And just start making loads of stuff. Again, this is so much better than doing it in vanilla, even if it looks like hell. The vanilla one is more hell. God, now it starts costing proper steel. I don't really want to be using steel, but that's our tier 3 piece, so... Go for it. Really bulking up my own uh, smithing level as well, which is nice. That's great. Now destroy it all. And then we get loads of this stuff back. And back in we go. Really, the only limit here is our charcoal. And at this point I could be selling these for some damn good money. No tear up, no tear up, no tear up. So keep forging until we do. I did do a run in my spare time where I was very heavily invested in the forging. Man, it was miserable. Well, the start of the game in particular, as you grind this up. One problem is the amount of steel I have is going down. It's good to have somebody that can um, build up the lower amounts to the better tiers of steel or just smelt stuff for steel, but we don't really have that. Still looking for a tier 4 piece. Steel is the worst part. I do not believe you can get steel without smelting unless I missed something. Uh, the Thamaskeen steel needs someone with the uh, good perks for it, which probably means I'm going to need someone else who can do... Um, who has smithing. But for that I hope to get a an elevated he hero. What's the word for it when you when you get a hero out of your regular army? I forget, but it's good. Alright, come on, can we at least get up to tier 4 on one of these things? The answer is no. There's so many pieces. Too many pieces. Alright, it's getting to the point where there's not too much to do there, so we'll call it there. And hopefully at some point find another source of steel. Here's the thought, Jake. You could respec smithing to get the perks necessary to make it yourself. It's a bit of money, but eh... You're right, but it's also a ton of charcoal, because every time you... Uh, every time you do a bit of that, it costs you one of your charcoals. Oh wow, we actually got another bit of smithing here. I'm never going to do this, and this doesn't matter, so... I guess I'll go with that. Maybe it works for the for the orders. Oh right, orders. I didn't even check to see if there were orders. This is gonna keep popping up for a while, I imagine. None of these are that interesting, but Simon Belmont wants an axe. Maybe I should give him an axe that is half decent. There you go. He's he's surely gonna say this is amazing, right? Yeah. That's what I like to see. Nice to get the smithing skill as well. And I also got some relations with Simon Belmont. Who, who in the world is Beef Squisher? Oh, I, I recognize the name, actually. What a horrible name. I just take this tat. I am most displeased. Good enough. 
going to be a lot of charcoal either way. Getting steel and upwards back from smelting in bulk is challenging. Well, steel comes from some of the items as well, doesn't it? Heck, I've uh, I've not been upping any of my uh, metal tiers, and I still have everything except for Thamaskin steel. I think it's just down to getting those Pugios and the tribal knives, which I'm pretty sure I already picked up here. All right, war against the French. This could be the end of Britannia, but it won't be the end of us. Kind of miss referencing Barrel, but a Saint Barrel story. Barrel's story came to a very sad conclusion. At least he got to be a king for a wee while. His own kingdom, eh? He's got to count for something. I have way too much food. What's going on here? 312 loads of grain. I don't think there's any good place to be selling grain to. So I might as well just ditch what I can since it's weighing me down for no good reason. Grain. Yeah, I mean... What does it matter? Just get rid of it, even if it's not worth dosh. Steel can be covered by having two smithing companions or smelting throwing knives. I'm not sure if it's all throwing knives, though. I think it's just those fancy ones, the tribal ones. Because I think I tried these and they, they weren't so good. I can check, though. I'll buy one of each of these. And see if any of them smelt good. Waste of money, but for science. Well, interestingly, Highland throwing axes do give two steel apiece, but that's 3,000 cost for them. That's not a great deal. Yeah, you do get wood, though, I suppose, and that gives you more charcoal. But yeah, very expensive. Probably something to do when money is not an issue. And although I have 100,000, you see how quickly that stuff can drain away. Right, speaking of hardwood, I could probably get a whole lot of it from raiding you over here, assuming there's no army to immediately come and have their way with me. Titanian heroes, always welcome. Oh, it hurts me to attack you since you are Batanian. Hmm... I guess I'll just buy your hardwood while I'm here and not raid you. I wanted to raid them for the wood, but I refuse to turn on my fellow Batanians. Well, in combat. If you want to do a hit and run, force them to give you product. Yeah, I don't know if that affects relations, but I reckon all hostile uh, actions would. Damn, Chattelog is too far away. I would happily join him, but... I can't believe this is Batanian. I'm still too small to... Uh... Ooh, raiding you for horses sounds like fun. I do like horses. Get the egg whites, get the fians. Put a note in you so that I always keep a hold of you. And the rest are a bit blah. And yeah, give me your horses. Oh, they just do so. One whole regular mount and two bits of grain. You think that's really what I'm here for? Raid the freaking village. And keep an eye open for anyone that tries to sneak up on us. There we go. Now, I didn't get any influence for that. I've just been hemorrhaging influence in this peacetime. Which I guess makes sense. Congratulations, Frozen Kaiser, on winning your tournament. But will you survive overall? Boy, there's a whole lot of not armies around here, but I don't want to get caught in the back and then snuffed out like a candle now, do I? Baron Berrican. Hmm. Also, Champion Lance. Who in the world is Champion Lance? I suppose it matters little. Come now, Vlandians. You know how this is going to go. It's been a while. Do I know you? Jake has been taken prisoner by Baron Barakan. Ah, 
How it pains me to do this, Baron Barakan. Truly it does. But you must surrender or die. Too far away from Bogbeth to get your back up? Well, now. I think we'll do this the personal touch way. They say revenge is a dish best served cold. I prefer to think it's just a dish best served. Got some great high ground here. Can we, like, loose formation that way? I don't know what way they're going to approach us, but... Must be ready for anything. Hmm... Could we get all the way up here? That seems pretty good. Infantry! Infantry get down there. Maybe not that far. Move. Thereabouts. Cavalry, move. This kind of height advantage should be fine. The sun in our eyes, not a problem, I'm sure. Assuming those of you that can have a shield. Wow, some of you are actually making shots from here? What are you shooting? Fians, man. Is there anything they can't do? Archers! Forward! Uh, why... How do I make them look in one direction? I want them to look that way. F7. F7 is retreat. Oh, F7's face that direction. Look that way. There we go. Jings, was that so hard to figure out? Uh, actually, we are the ones being shot, which is a little off-putting. If that is the case. Footmen! Move! Archers! Move! Let's see what we can do with this. If we were all the way up here, I'm sure we'd. Ah, crap! Damn the edge of the battles. Archers! Move! Archers get here. Cavalry. Cavalry, engage. Onward. Don't want these guys hanging around and giving us grief. Wait, oh crikey. I feel like my mouse wheel has been changing my, uh, or it's been scrolling and changing my weapon setup every now and then. Okay, great. We have our we have our archer shooting fine. Ah, oh, look at those arrows go. Must be really hard to see what you're shooting at with the uh, sun like that. Well, there's no sun, but it's still the brightness. I feel like there was a battle in uh, Lord of the Rings decided this way. They're going for it. The fools. Did they lose their commander? Oh, they did. Barakan got shot. So now they're doing the sillies. Wait, you guys have... Oh, you've got throwing axes. That is cute. That's very, very cute.
Throwing axes are actually very good during sieges. It allows your attacker to spit out some damage before reaching the breach. Especially since it's equipped on regular foot soldiers. I don't know if it's better or worse than a javelin. Probably doesn't have the damage output of a javelin. It's not that I gave up on horse archers, ZOZ, but all my horse archers are very dead. And I haven't been over to the far east to replace them. Landian Champion, well, you one day will be a banner knight. I should put a note on you. Vlandian sergeants are also very good. So I guess I should grab them where they're going. What What is also... Vlandian swordsmen and sergeants are worth my time. Should really have this sorted by tier. And the rest of these guys, I suppose I should put a pin in you, but the rest of you guys, do I even want you? Not really, I'm raiding through the area, so I'll just leave the... Oh, 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 don't think I didn't notice those highborn warriors. The youth I'm not so keen about, though. I'll leave them to their own devices. Taking all your goodies, and some of that is good goodies. Ah, you know, Fugger, you've had that crummy spiked club tier one for a long time. Here's an Imperial Light Mace. Don't thank me all at once. And also... Well, I would give you some throwing axes or something if we had any, but we don't. Here's a nice shield as well. I'm surprised you've been alive for as long as you have, representing the Germans, despite being a lowly foot soldier. But you are alive. So good job. And... Let's give you better goodies. The problem is if a companion dies, you lose all of their stuff. And oh, that's painful. But that's just how it goes. So... Baron. Mm -hmm -hmm. Are you sure you want to execute him? Your relations would change with a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should learn a bit more about Baron before we do this to him. Baron is the leader of the Deirothad, an average clan within Valandia, our sworn enemies. I can really only think of one way this is going to go. A lot of people weren't happy with that, but hey, that's war. I can always make them happy by making them some nice weapons in the forge. Also, Hazard getting better at riding. 10 range damage. Mounted archers. I think at some point I will want to ride with lots of mounted archers. So I think I'll actually go with that. Also, aptitude. Mm, leadership, I think. I really do want the leader of the masses. There will be a day when I have lots and lots of land at my disposal, I assume. One hand it is tempting as well, though, but I don't think there's anything that's immediately going to be that good for us. It's, it's so hard to know. The, the perks are so scattered, it's very difficult to think, oh, I want this because of this perk, except probably medicine. Some of those medical perks are just mm -hmm, so good. Right, well, one Frenchman dead, but there are so many more French to kill. Champion Lance. Is someone put in the name Champion Lance? Or is someone put in the name Lance and it's giving them the term Champion? I'm awfully confused. Oh, we were right next to Pen Canock, so I could have just stopped in here anyway. I'm going to smelt that. I'm just going to ditch that. And ditch all of this. Could be experience, but I want money at this point. And if you have hardwood, I don't think I'm even going to pay attention to the price. I buy hardwood these days. Although that's such good money for the charcoal. Mm. It's hard to say no to such good money for charcoal, even though the reason I'm buying hardwood is to get charcoal. Maybe maybe just sell some of the most outrageously expensive stuff. Otherwise, otherwise... Troop movement speed, that's all well and good. God, I miss having, I miss having good party members. I really want to have some of them upgrade, but 
I'm not seeing many of them get enough kills in battle to be eligible for that. If I want wood as well, there's always the option just smelting down hammers. They're a bit expensive, but at least they're there, and I get some other crappy materials out of it. And... Yeah, those axes are too expensive to really justify buying for the smelting alone. A large bag of Highland throwing daggers. No, I'll pass, thanks. But I'm still going to smelt down what I have. Go smelt maxing. Go smelt alling. Refine a huge amount of that. Smelt some more and do some orders. Okay, especially when they ask for stuff that I have a lot of parts for, it makes it a lot easier to uh, reach their demands. You want to do so as cheaply as possible, I imagine, but you also don't want to stress over this, right? A handling could be made a little better if it was a little shorter, I think. So close and yet so far. Can we handle better with this? There we go. Three grand well made. Although that cost me three steel, didn't it? Shouldn't be throwing away my steel. I need that stuff. But doing that got two skill points. That's got to be worth our time, right? You just have any old tosh. Can you only get companions from battles this mod, or can you find them in taverns? You can still find them in taverns, but they're so hard to find. Uh, ooh. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? Yeah, Fatuba Sakura looks exactly how I remember her. Well, what is it? I want you in my company? Wait, even though she's an enemy? No, she, why was her name in red? Anyway, point is we can bring her on. And I don't see a good reason not to. Yeah, on you come. I feel pretty low on my number of companions these days, When even though I claimed I wanted this to be companion heavy. So let's just get her tooled up. Actually, I sold all my loot, didn't I? So there's nothing really to give you. Hmm. Well, just try not to get yourself killed out there, okay? Wouldn't be unthinkable just to go to the store and get her something simple. I'll have her in with the uh, the front line. I don't want to. I don't want to just throw her life away, right? So a sword's a sword. Have a shield, and in this case, a shield's a shield. And uh, some crappy throwing knives. Yeah, see if you can make use of those. And uh, here's a really crappy hat. There's practically no armor on that, is there? Um, here we go. If you survive like this, then you're going to get some good stuff. But you have to survive like that. Wait, you don't use any resources to melt weapons and you get the same quality alloys back. That makes no sense at all. No, you don't. It actually goes down a bit. I shall show you, actually. Hi-Fi Panda. Let's say we want to grind up our two-handed sores, which we do. And we want to make it out of the best materials. Or the highest tier materials for the most leveling up. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it uses one wrought iron, three steel, three fine steel, and a bit of charcoal. Great. Let's forge it. Bang. Uh, also unlocked part. Great. So remember, that was one, three, and three. When we smelt it back down, we get the one wrought iron back. We get two of the fine steel and four of the steel. So what it does is it takes one of the highest level ingredients that was involved, and then you get back one of a lower ingredient. So you will eventually run out of your best stuff and end up with loads of crude and wrought iron, or even uh, iron, depending on how you do it. Um, but it's well worth it, because in doing so, you get a lot of smithing skill, and you unlock parts. How we unlock two parts from that? Three if you count the forging. And that, I think, is the best way to go about grinding up your smithing stuff. But hey, smithing is just be better if it weren't in the game. Oh, not to mention both of those cost one bit of charcoal. So two in total. But that's why I buy hardwood whenever I can. Anyway, that has nothing to do with fighting big battles, so let's get out to fighting big battles. 
Not against our Batarian friends, though. I'm not into brother wars. But the moment I find some Frenchies, like uh, the people in Etiford. Hey, Etifordians, give me your stuff. You don't want to give me your stuff? Well, die. I can't believe they killed a heavy horseman. Yeah, that's why people hate using that auto-resolve. And I do too. But you can't be too attached to your units at all times, can you? Let's bring you over. Is any of that good for Futaba? Yeah, here you go. Actual upgrades. Actual. Whoa, actually that lowers your body armor. I bet she stinks. Right. Nice of you to grudgingly bring out 16 grain. It's still mine. And off we go. Village battle, horsemen got caught in a fair, probably. You'd think they'd be a bit more trained for that. Right, we're looking out for people in their armies to slaughter them. I'd love to take on Wen Chao, but he's just a mercenary himself. And until the day he's hired, he's not really our enemy. Although he probably isn't very happy about what we did to Wen Chao. Maria Theresa von Habsburg, Embers of the Flame. Again, sadly, not our enemy. God, it's so quiet out here. A Wallachian witch. Lots of villagers and caravans, including good old Fat Miner. But hey, Fat Miner, this might be a bad day for you. Because I need influence, and you are influence. And running away in a forest is a very bad deal for you. What news of the markets? And what do you have? They have money, but I'm quite certain they're not going to give me that money willy-nilly. That is cheap oil, I think. But no, I'd rather take these things by force. That's all the garbage that I have. Not these, those are good for smelting. So we sell them, and then we demand them back. Well, we can pay you. Here's a thousand. Just take it and let us go. If I take that... Can I attack them immediately after? No, surely the game wouldn't allow that. But I do still want everything they've got. I wanted to investigate for science, but I also wanted to fight them. Have a great stream, Jake. i got to sleep for work. I'll finish watching the stream on YouTube. And I'll get this on YouTube ASAP. I am so happy with how well it's streaming, by the way. And I'm just using some crummy... Uh, Crummy 4G SIM card shoved into a router. A router that isn't mine. It was left behind in the in the house when I moved in. I I will be at a loss if somebody comes and just takes that. Well, there we go. Futaba, Trigvi, and Fugger all in the front lines here. I wonder if increased troop movement speed is truly the best for them, because I, I don't tend to want them to do that much moving. But when we have a lot more companions, I'll have a lot more a lot more consideration over what to give them. Ooh, layout here might not be that great. Uh, they're over there. I do want the high ground, sure enough. Can we get you over here? Infantry, Infantry over there. Move. You over here. If they end up there, they will have the high ground, but... Yeah, the high ground isn't everything, is it? Plus, I'm quite confident that our Fians can handle the situation. That's why I give them longbows. Ah, oh, see, they're already shooting. Fantastic. Infantry, move! Make a shield wall! Some of the Fians are a little too far down there. Archers, forward! Forward a bit more. God, I love seeing those go. Not to mention they got the tartan on. Yeah. Yeah, I like the Fians. I'd be hard pressed to ever not like the Fians. We came up here, we'd be in position to be shot by their guys, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Meanwhile, 
just their cavalry getting battered by arrows. Vlandian cavalry, no less, so always welcome to just chip away at them. What in the world are these people hoping to achieve by standing there and eating this? Probably survival. I forgot that these are traders and not an actual army. If you want, you can have them use a volley by holding fire. Really? Hold fire! Fire! Not as much of a volley as I'd hoped. Uh, they still got tons of arrows, though. Even if the accuracy isn't that fantastic. Oof, well, there's a there's isn't too shabby. <laughs> Down you go, go there. These poor guys, right? Is this really worth the money? Oh, no, oh, there. They've had a thought now. Horsemen. Maybe you should engage those horsemen? Uh, oh god, our poor oath sworn over there. Footman, you guys get out of the shield wall and charge. Because honestly, what do these guys even have left? Not their stuff. Still left. You know, we've had one distinguished service and not any more of them. Maybe it's just because of small battles. If I hadn't had that happen before uh, at all, I would have thought that it maybe doesn't happen, but nah, surely it does. Right, on you come. You're all just going to be sold to the highest bidder. What I really took you out for was your stuff, and it's not the best of stuff, but loot is loot. They'll pee their pants and they should, they should have just surrendered. They tried to buy me off, that's not unconditional surrender. Ah, here we go. Um, what are we working on? Probably still leadership. I want my larger armies. Speaking of armies, I want to find some armies. Where are they all hiding? Where are these Frenchmen? Well, they're probably laying siege to our lands, but I was hoping that some of them might be around here just slowly catching up with the main armies. But it's just caravans and such. I suppose is isn't too bad, but still, I know what I want. You are under siege. By who? Is this your only war? Gear up your newest buddy with the trash loot you got. Yeah, so Fatuba. There we go. You're getting somewhere now. That's some actual body protection. I think you had about five or six before. Maybe I can loot some horses. That'll make me feel a bit better. Give me your goods. If you want to die, you want to die. Oh, God, that's a lot of them. All the more to grind levels off of you with. Man, Persona 5 was an amazingly good UI. 
And there was a game attached as well. But you really could have replaced it with any other Persona game. Okay, this is more like it. A much more flatter area. Not climbing up some horrible mountain just to die. How are we going to do this though? I just reckon... Oh god, no, I don't want them in a shield wall. Have them loose. There we go. I think I moved the wrong horseman. They're probably going to take the high ground and shoot us, which sucks, but our, our archers are much better, so that's okay. Actually, with that in mind, perhaps the uh, cavalry should be sitting back a bit. And if they're going to be shooting you, get into a shield wall. Let's do, do still advance. And you guys just hold where you are. You're in a great, great place to start shooting. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes. Even if they're engaging like that, I think I'll keep the shield wall up. Oh god, Fatuba went down already? So much for your shield wall, Fatuba. Fatuba, you're the only person to have gone down. What are you playing at? Where is, where is she? Where's that loser's body? She's wearing green. I think. Is that, is that her underfoot there? Uh, that's not enough green. Uh, there she is! What were you thinking, Fatima? Probably thinking, wow, everyone around me is so much better equipped than I am. <laughs> we won indeed, yes, I'm glad you understand. Uh, prisoners are probably a bit of a waste of time. I'll just take what I can to limit. And I want your... I want your horses more so than most, but... Fat if I can get... Maybe she took a headshot. She doesn't have good head armor. There, there's a better shield as well. I wonder if she'll be able to heal up in time for the next fight. Right. I want a bit more than three of your crummiest mounts, so... We're raiding you for what you're worth. We're disorganized anyway, so we might as well spend the time raiding. Don't know where they got that hard wood from. A mule, a rouncy. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't be uh, asking for their stuff first. I feel like you get a lot more goods out of a uh, proper raid. Maybe I'll do that over here, right? I'll show you a proper raid. Also gives my units a chance to heal up, including Futaba. And I need horses for those. Oh, oh, you... Oh, they're resisting me, are they? Well, it seems like another lo lovely flat area, so... I'm more than open to watching these guys die some more. That's what I'm getting at. Our siege battle still bugged. I haven't played since a month ago. What do you mean by siege battle bug? If you mean the um, the lords come in and steal your siege, then yeah, they still do that. You know, this is probably just going to be just the same as the last one, but I don't have a problem with that because it was great. I can select myself for this, that's cool. God, I, I like I like being able to view it like this. 
I think there's a slow down command, but I don't know what it is. Might be great to get some nice... Oi, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Don't, don't, don't do that. Stay back. Stay back, my avatar. Is Futaba there, and is Futaba, you know, well? Was that Futaba? Might be. Anything's possible. God, I love to see this. <laughs> I swear I saw her just get hit. I don't want to send in the mounted uh, the cavalry because with the Fians shooting, if any Fian gets a lot of kills, then they might get the um, get the elevated thingamajigger. Also, can you guys like fall back a bit? Oh god, they turn around for that. That was not what I want. Guess it buys them a little bit of time though. Well, these fields won't be worked for quite some time. Such triumphant music. Still gives a ton of influence uh, massacring these villages. I'm not complaining, I'm just noting. Also, I don't think Futaba was there. Yeah, who was there in the front lines then? Someone looked very out of place on the front line. Ah, it was Fugger, representing the German masses, of course. I don't know where they were hiding all these goods, but I'm taking them and raiding them. But does that cut the raiding bar short? No, the raiding bar is good and long, right, so. Unless I want to raid somewhere very quickly, I should make sure that we only raid instead of um, demanding their stuff then raiding. Oh, this is nice. Loads of grain, hardwood, olives, hides, and hides sell for not tons of money, but at least money. Mm, well, never go hungry when you're raiding French villages. No influence, though. What does it take to get influence? Well, I suppose we've got quite a lot of influence from the fight, but the raid itself, it's a little sad to see that it doesn't give anything. Come on. Uh, not Fugger. Futaba? It has a slightly better shield, apparently, but that's all I can give you. Join the shield wall where you belong. Actually, is she feeling any better yet? No, not really. Would be nice to find a settlement. Ah, yes, down here. Into neutral lands. Dispose of some of the stuff that we have and get back to the fighting. Looks like Southern Empire is busy in some of their own wars. Fine by me. Get rid of these trash prisoners. Well, they might not be trash, but they're not what I want in my army. Recruit in another cataphract. God, I love the cataphracts. And... No... Uh, no companion to get from the tavern, sadly. What about goods for trade? This will all be smelted down, no question about it. That stuff all just goes away, aside from our amazing stacked arrows. Also goes away, and all, the, all those goodies that we got. I'm probably going to end up with a lot more standards than I want. You tend to get those off of... Um, Lords quite easily. Okay, the hides were nowhere near as valuable as I thought, but it still all just gets sold. Pottery, linen, that is too much grain, even though it doesn't sell for much. You know, raiding olives gives you tons of them. Hmm. Raiding in general just gives tons of stuff. See, I like this. I like this a fair bit. 
I might love it enough to get myself a cataphract half scale barding. Because I don't like my horse, the sheer amount of damage my horse keeps taking. 22 grand, well spent. How else can you get the really good horses? Better speed, better maneuver. I don't mind the lower charge damage. On you come, there we go. I I've earned this, really. I've also earned some better armor if there is any going. Because at least this can't be taken from me if and when I fall. Some cape, leg, and arm stuff wouldn't go amiss. But it feels like you get very small incremental increases in uh, armor. Look at that, 37 grand and it's giving me two more body armor, and two more leg armor at the expense of loads of my arm stuff, so... Hard to justify some of these upgrades. This one doesn't even give me more armor. Tough choice. Anyway, taking that. And those are the tribal daggers that I'm after. And you wouldn't happen to have a Pugio? You got a bunch of them. Worth it. Because we go to the smithy and... Well, we smelt big time. Smelt it all. And then... Down you go, go. And then any orders worth our time? Oof. I don't know if he'd ever actually pay us the 20 grand for it, but Franconian wants a really nice sword. Let's see if we can give him a really nice sword. Look at that, this one almost beats, uh, almost gives him what he needs already. He just wants a bit of faster swing speed. There you go, Franco. Come on, you'll love it. Wow. He's really happy. I gained four skill points for doing that. And it is a real nice sword. Heck, I, I wouldn't mind one of those swords for myself. But I want to I want to make the absolute best stuff, so I'm waiting until I have tier five uh, goodies for it. Otherwise, Captain Falcon wants some stuff. Yeah, good enough. And Crush Finger Caffrey. Uh I guess. I wonder if Franco will show up using the sword. I don't think it works that way, but it would be amazing if it did. I mean, that would that would genuinely impress me. Ooh, almost there. A bit more reach on you if we can. They do care about reach, but maybe... No, no, they won't see past the, the limits of my abilities. Right, well, failing that, we've got some... A little bit more two-handed sword grind to do. That seems okay. So this is going to liquidate our fine steel down to steel. And certainly work on our charcoal, but we just go clang. And if we ever get a tier 5, we definitely want to check that out. Still tier 4. Still tier 4. Still tier 4, but that's alright, we get most of this uh, stuff back just by smelting it all. And then back we go, go. Clang. Oh, the excitement to get a tier 5 part. And remember, two-handed sword is what I want to make for myself, so when we do actually get this up to the highest stuff, we'll be making that for me. And for any team members who want them, although I agree. We've been playing for quite a while, and we still haven't had any chatters actually join us on the team. But I'm sure we'll get them. We just need some more distinguished service. Ah, here we go. Starting to get some tier 5 stuff, which is what I'm looking for. It's fine if it uses more fine steel. It's perhaps even good. And here's some tier 5 blades. Oh, it needs the mask and steel for the tier 5 blade. That's almost a problem, but also not a problem. We won't make them just yet because this stuff's incredibly expensive, but we'll do this for now. Try and get ourselves a tier 5 piece down here, which we now have. 
Okay, that's pretty good actually. Get them all smelted back down. Make and smelt, make and smelt. Still need a bunch of that fine steel, but that's why those daggers are so good. And now our smithing skill is going to the moon. Masterwork weapons are now a possibility. Plus one focus point to one-handed and two-handed. Or plus one endurance. Okay, I think I want the one-handed and two-handed thing. Plus, uh, two extra focus points seems like a big deal. I'll get that eventually. Take a peek at the encyclopedia, see if any chatters are nearby. Yeah, that's a lot to scroll through. I will, however, periodically check in the taverns for them. Plus one endurance means more learning limit for smithing, riding, and athletics. Mm, yeah, but athletics doesn't mean much. You make a good point on smithing and riding, but I've really been not paying attention to my one-handed and two-handed. You know what? I, I really feel like I deserve a good sword. How far are we from having all of the two-handed sword parts? Does anyone know how many there are? We only really care about tier 5. We've got all the blades, all the guards, all the sticks. Oh, actually, we have all the parts for two-handed swords. Okay, we're going to make ourselves the best sword we can then. For that, I think I need to go to the arena. Athletics is only good for any time you're forced to fight on foot and has some good perks. Uh, seldom do I fight on foot, though. Right, so you are able to help out respecking. We can do that under endurance, smithing. For eight grand, we're going to reset all of our perks. And then we come out of here. I've never done this before, but I'm pretending I know what I'm doing. Where does one even acquire the best metal? Is it locked? Uh, in a manner of speaking, yes. We're about to do that right now, though. So I just reset all of my perks on smithing. And now, of course I'm going to take Charcoal Master. But if we take steel, you can refine two units of steel into uh, crude iron. Actually, where's the one for the Damascan stuff? Yeah, I could take just that, but I do want the chance of creating fire. Actually... It might be worth just keeping the Steelmaker 3. Mm. You know what? I think I will, actually. Keep Curious Smelter. Keep Curious Smith. But this is one you need. You need this perk to get Thamascan Steel. I'm pretty sure there's no other way to get it. So pick up Steelmaker 3. I'd rather have the Steelmakers on a companion so that I myself can have all the good stuff at the top, but... I don't have a companion that's good at that, so we'll just go with that. Neither of these matter for us. Vigor or control. Hey, you could respec this to uh, to game yourself getting some extra goodies, but I still do want the vigor. Okay, now with that done, we can go back into the smithy. See, it's a pretty involved mechanic, but it's still pretty dire. Right, here we go. And now we can go to refining, and we turn two fine steel into one Thamascan steel, and some crude iron as a byproduct. But I'm going to need a bunch of that, so clang, clang. Now we have a good amount of it. If I'd taken the other stuff, I could be making all of these, but it's it's a build-up, so a lot of this turns into some of this, turns into a little bit of this, turns into a tiny bit of this, turns into a speck of this. Anyway, I'm here to make the best two-handed sword that I can never done this before, so I know that I want it to be one-handed and two-handed, which I think limits us on the kind of grip. Yeah, it has to be a tier 4 grip. I honestly don't know the difference between these so much. Probably the extra long one, because I do like reach on these. But then you lose swing speed, and uh, I'll just take extra long for the heck of it. Lots of blades to choose from. I was hoping there'd be a nice bendy one for a bit of style. The mountain blade. Hmm. Also, I can make them long. Really long. 
Oh, I'm doing very well today, Taryn. Any day that I'm playing Bannerlord is bound to be a good day. Which of these do we even really want? That makes it look kind of classy. The size, I can't even really tell what it's changing here. And then the pommel at the end. I kind of miss the sword cane, don't you? Where was the sword cane? <laughs> uh, let's see, I can hang that up with my umbrella. I don't know if these other things are much better, though. It increases value, but... I think I like that little hook. This looks so unwieldy, it's unreal. Also, the swing cut damage is really quite low for a sword. Maybe we just need this end part to be larger. It actually lowers the handling. Are you planning on using this from horseback? Yes, I am. I'm not convinced of the blade here. Yeah, I wonder if we can make this better. There's some cooler looking blades out there. Swing speed, swing cut damage. Hey, look at that thing. In my opinion, anything less than 110 is unusable. 110 what? Do you mean length? Or reach? Or cut damage? Hmm. Not a lot of particularly long uh, tier 5 ones, are there? You're long and you are long. You're longer, though. Look at that one. That one gets straight to the point. Bit on the end is ridiculous. <laughs> Feels like something I would uh, jab people with. And I'm not convinced it does that much swinging cut damage. The handle is the one with the really low length. There are ones with more length out there, and length is vital. I suppose I didn't really pay much attention to the uh, grip that I'm using here. 126, 128, 130. 31 on you, but you're only two-handed, so that's not good enough. 129 for the second one. Alright, that seems to be the best one for length. That swing cut damage doesn't seem so great, but... You know what? I think I'll have it. A broken. Okay, so I somehow made a really bad version of it. Uh, could I please make a second one that isn't broken? Crude? What are you trying to say, game? Uh, I want to save this one. Save the design. And now it shows up on my save designs here. Well, at least I can smelt it back down to not have lost all that stuff, but still. Considerable amount of oosh to that. So I guess it got a loss of stats due to being crude or broken. Still says it's tier 6. Actually, what is it losing? A bit of thrust damage. Swing speed 83, swing speed 70. Okay, that's a that's a big a big load of bad. Smelt you back down, smelt you back down, gain those points and try and forge it again. Try and not be a disaster. Oh, it's two-handed and not terrible. Can we make another one that is even better? Kind of. But now I don't have enough of the Thamascan steel to make another one, so we'll have to make do with the one that we do have. And this is where I find that it's actually worse than what I'm using, but let's check it out. Inventory on me. Weapon, this thing. So... It has a lower speed, better cut damage, worse thrust damage. It's got the length, it's got crappy handling, but it can be one-handed or two-handed. 
Also, I'm putting the weapon up to the top so that it stops... Um, There we go, so it stops thinking I'm a horse archer. Eh, not bad. Also, decreased morale shock. Surely I've got a better thing than that. Decreased range damage. Increased movement speed. That's got to be good for the cavalry. Oh, you can see the hook up there. It's really like I've got an umbrella. I like it. One-handed. It's a civilian weapon? Wow, okay. It's a shame I can't put the same weapon as Civi and not Civi, but wow. Wow, very cool. Well, I, I should make another one and bring it in as a Civi weapon, but all in due time. I'm looking forward to the next fight where I can use this thing. All in all, we're looking relatively kitted out. There's certainly a lot better stuff out there, but the incremental changes... Never nearly as good as you like. Right, splendid. We finally got to the point where we can smith stuff that we actually want to use. Maybe. The legendary blade from the Mists of Time, the crafted two-handed sword. It's not a legendary, though. Well, they'll be writing legends of it in due time. Holy smokes, the sand people are losing land to the French. I think the Frenchies are going for world conquest here. But that does mean that these guys are cut off. Sadly, I don't really have the army to lay them to siege, but still... Maybe I should go and help out Chadalog. To horse. Mm, okay, that's just tournaments. The purple stuff I assume is someone dying, but it's also using purple for uh, tournaments. Abcomer should be ours. They're so close to our lands, it's no good. Hey, Chadalog. You got a quest for me this time? My greetings to you. Do you even like me? Mm, kind of. Well, that's nice. Uh, what's happening here? Animals drop dead. What do you need? I need hobbies. I actually have hobbies. So, I'm pretty sure I have hobbies. Inventory, saddles. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of hobbies. They're yours, my good friend. Just like these troops are mine. And the troop number of mine is going up nicely. Splendidly, even. Here are the horses, my lord. And there we go. Charm is up. Relations are up. And, you know, Caladog is alive where so many others have fallen. So I'm happy to keep him happy. Morimer, what's up? What is your name? I thought we knew each other. Name's Jake, by the way. You and I do not have a good history. I don't trust you. You must have been friends with someone I killed. That is a shame. Mm. Yeah, never mind. I wonder if Chadalog has a uh, fertile daughter who wouldn't mind adding to the DDR empire, actually. You do have a daughter called Corin. She does not have a spouse, and she's got a bazillion skills, despite being low-leveled. Hmm. Tempting. Corrine is a badass. Yeah, she could be my piece of badass. Propose an alliance between our families through marriage. My own hand. No, I don't want base egg. Oh, God, she's the run to the litter right there. Maybe I need to find her and kill her. Ooh, that might not work. Is there a way to get Corin? Corin is in his army. It's time for courtship. Hmm, would she even like us? I've never actually succeeded in getting courtship to the point of marriage, but... I'll give it a go. This is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name is Jake, madame. You're a man of valor. Okay, well, I'd like to discuss a proposal which we Oh, I was hoping for hoping for your hand here. Maybe I could just give you some money. Everyone likes money. Oh well. I actually gained a skill point and charm through that. Hmm, 
Okay, having a hard time flirting on the battlefield. Don't worry, allow me to scout around for you. Caladog. Damn, the champion lance is just begging me to attack them. Mm, oh, perhaps I can join you at Aster Castle. How's the siege going? Uh, they have a lot of catapults. That can't be good for us. Alright, here we go. This worked out pretty well for me last time when I sent in the troops to attack. And actually, we're a considerable part of this army, so... Could be some fat loot with my name on it. Oh boy, where do the hours go when playing Bannerlord? It's such a good game. I'm going to be hard-pressed to have the weekly one-shot tomorrow when I could be playing more Bannerlord. Oh, right, I was ready to take a drink, but we're already at it. Why does it scatter my units so much? Anyway, infantry, just, just kind of, like, go away. Can I not tell them to retreat, actually? I don't want them to die for no good reason. Yeah, just get the hell out of here. I don't, I don't want my good infantry dying to uh, a waste of time here. I'm here to take those walls. Forward and in the loose formation. Loose formation. Soldiers. Archer, move, archer. Yeah, if you if you guys are just like forward. around here, I don't know why you're not taking loose formation there, but move, forward. just get there and take some shots, kill them all. Look at this ridiculous sword. <laughs> Ow. Maybe it's better to, like, spread them apart. Just get over there and take your shots. Fian Champion's already getting their kills in, which is nice. Uh, we've already taken massive losses because of my retreat order. <laughs> but surely that's good for building up my tactics, right? Uh, maybe I should help them out. Not just show off my new sword all day. You're right, that was an excellent shot. Well, thank you to whoever recommended that I take more time at assaulting a castle with my archers. You helped out. And at least those aren't my Batanian warriors eating those big, uh, big fireball attacks. Ugh, always feels bad hearing that squish and knowing those are your units, though. You only get tactics XP for retreat order. If you're Volante. <laughs> That's funny, but I'm sure a joke. It'd be amazing if it weren't, though. Oh, that was close and juicy. Don't worry. My sword cane will help you bring down this door. Ugh. Boy, this is terrible. <laughs> I wonder if you get experience for this. It was me. It was all me. I took down the door. So unwieldy. Tell you what, let's do it. Let's do it like this. 
Now that's some damage. I hope those aren't my Fian champions getting destroyed. Oh, that totally is. Where's my backup? Oh god, where's my shield? Time for some swell revenge. Ugh. I was hoping there were more on the retreat. Whew, wow, I'm glad I get my health back after every fight. Some of it at least. Who's even still out there? Apparently some Fian champions. If they had Fian champions on the wall, no wonder they got some kills in. There we go. And despite arriving late to the party with only 40 units, we come in and we grab 45% of the loot. That's what I like to see. Oh god, this run speed, I miss high athletics. I spend 90% of my time on horseback, so I don't care about athletics too much. Ah, you arrived just in the nick of time. You have my deepest thanks. How deep does this thanks go? I couldn't help but notice you have uh, almost no family. Eh, too young. Hmm. Uh, let's keep that in mind, shall we? Get my Fian back at least, or one of them. I might as well swell up the ranks a little bit. None of these are particularly... Oh, no, no, we like Vlandian sergeants a lot. Probably should have taken all the prisoners, but hey-ho. Some of that might well be worth my while. And by mine, I mean... Trigger could do with that, which is somehow better. And, yeah, there we go. Sakura might yet live. Fine, ooh, fine tier 5 short sword. That must be my short sword. Couldn't I give you something nicer, like an axe? Well, you know what? She's surviving pretty well. That's why we're giving her the good stuff. Fuger, on the other hand, is still making good of that mace. I like what I see, honestly. Okay. Well, a glorious fight. And we're learning how to use two-handed. Better handling, better damage to shields. I like damage to shields, but not with a sword, so... Mm, damage against shields by troops in your formation. Nah. Also, I have a focus point. What was I plan? Oh, yeah, I still want my leadership. But I'm not sure I want that much more leadership. Plus 10 party size limit is actually quite tempting, though, to make our way up to there. But I think after this, I'm going to be plowing it into one and two-handed. Perhaps both. We'll save a glaive playthrough for another time. Alright. Lovely fight. And there's more fighting to be done. Of course, since I'm just a merc, I'm not on the cards for owning that myself. But I could always take the advantage and head out for a lovely raid. Although... And Struda... I do like some good battles, and you're there to be a good battle for me. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Mm. Oh, average well. The name is Jake, and you are here to die. Yeah, and Darius, I think I need to look up some better weapon uh, weapon setups uh, Sakura, get, get in the shield wall where you belong 
You've been sitting out for too long. Mm, increased troop movement speed on that's probably not the best. I need a better banner for you, but I'll get that someday. Part of me wonders why I'm in charge of the cavalry instead of the archers, but... Right, just looks like a big, largely flat area. Not really anything offering much height advantage. And where are our friends? They're not too far away. We'll just take what is slightly elevated up here. Infantry, use your increased movement speed to get a little bit further. I'm still considered a mounted archer, but why? Hmm, I bet that would do better with no shield weighing me down. Come on, give me these Vlandian squires. Gotta make back my losses here. It does have that reach, though. I do like that reach. Form a wall for all the good that'll do anyone involved. Mm. I was told never have shield wall for engagements like this, but if they're just coming in drip feed, I don't think there's any real downside to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I feel that extra range. So do they. Eat my umbrella. Ooh, wow. Well, the lucky short and stature French evading that attack. Just go in and ravage them. Really neat helmet and sword combo, aesthetics wise. You think so? It's not by choice that I've been having this. Would you call it a kettle helm? Don't know why it's got that circular rim around it. Probably just for blocking out the sun, right? This is why I love Glaive's range is so pleasant on horseback. Yeah, but this one combines the best of both worlds. Wait, can you use a shield with a Glaive or are they forced two-handed? Wow, this is impressive. Actually, no losses on this. And this is an actual enemy army. Not some ruckus. Okay, this is taking forever, but this is why we have... Speed up command. Meow. That last Blandian champion falls. Yeah, enemy lords tend to churn through troops a lot, so fresh raw recruits are to be expected and enjoyed. I shall partake. Sergeant, uh, do the gallants, yeah, the gallants become the banner knights, so yoink. And Vanguard is... I mean, it's good, but it's not the same. Champion is one short of Banner Knight, so yoink. And Knight is one short of Champion, so yoink. The Squires are pretty low down in the pecking order. I'm not sure I care so much about them. I might take the Vanguard anyway. They're as high as the regular stuff goes. Swordsmen and sergeants I'm interested in. They have neither, and I don't want to swell up my prisoner rank with a load of nonsense. That'll do me fine, honestly. Hmm. Who wants some goodies? There we go. Give you an actual bit of protection on the head now. Well, i got to hand it to Sakura for all the living she's doing. I really expected her to be mowed down on the front lines in no time. 
Right. What do I invest in? I'd like to be super intelligent. But Vigor does talk to me. Mm, it's hard to turn down intelligence. Even though I'm pretty sure I said I would in, uh, indulge in Vigor once I got to a certain point. But it just has that lovely double down on steward and medicine that I like. Also, Fatuba. Party size? Oh, maybe someday you could lead your own party. That would be impressive. Yeah. Believe. Believe that someday you will rise to lofty ranks, Sakura. You could use one with a Mena Vlion. So piercing pole arm. Swings and pokes with shields and swung as two handed. Ooh. Like I said, I think I'll stick with the one in two handed uh, on this run. Because going for a pole arm is a whole different skill set to start caring about. Right. You guys are... Ugh, oh, you're Batanian. I was thinking of raiding you, but... I don't do Brother Wars. I do do paying lots of money for food, sadly. Uh, not food, wood. The W is important. Do I think I could take on that 108 strong army, though? How cocky are we feeling? I mean, that would certainly earn me some big props, and it's mostly made of volunteers. But does the... Do the defenders come out here and help? Is he running from me? Running from Jake to settlement? What are you on about? Maybe I can cut you off from the settlement and I want to drive you away from it. Also, if time passes, that's time that my units can be... Uh, my units and myself can be repaired. Double the morale bonus. Troop upgrade post. Uh, da, 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 da. Food consumption and sieges. Uh, I don't know, the costs aren't that big. Keeping morale high has a good double down with the medicine thing. So... Mm, but I'm never in governed settlements. I guess I'll take that then. Food is money in the end, but there's more to it than that, because food takes up space. How are you over there? I can't get over there. Right. Hey, maybe maybe Lupin will join in this fight. Yours is not a face I know. Oh yeah. What is your name, stranger? Another Baron to go down. Hmm. You've got Jason Myers and Powermonger as babies. But if you die here, your clan is reduced to just Elendara. Average clan, average death. The name's Jake, and I'm afraid it's a bad, bad day to be you. I thought we'd be outnumbered here. But the shoe is on the other clog. The AI knows this. That's why they're running. Well, they ran the wrong way. Good to see there's still some fight in the Batarians, and we've actually wrestled back a bit of land. Now, will our units fight as one? Probably not, right? So where's my where's my ally? Oh, where is my ally? Don't don't screw me, my friend. Wish I could be in charge of everyone. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, well, I'll need to see what you're up to here. Archers! Forward! Soldier! Move! It's practically just a blank battlefield, though. There's high ground over there, but there's no way that's going to be useful in this battle, since we're the attackers. Hopefully our archers can still blot out the sun. He's got a lot of archers too. We definitely decimate on the uh, cavalry front though. Mm, man, just hearing all those hooves on the ground. How can one not get excited? Mm, 
little bit of a bump up here, isn't there? Get the arrows over here. Footman over there. Cavalry there. Who the heck is that? Not one of my units, is it? Oh, right, no, my, my friend just wants to send his units in to... Well, die, I guess. I'm afraid I am not here to die. Maybe he, maybe he's going to win this one, actually. That'd be scary. Archer. Right, well, if they're going straight on in, archers in, horsemen ready on the flank. My own infantry, second row. Second row. Looks like he's shield walling up for a slow approach. But he's coming around. Well, not my problem. Alright, riders, time for engagement. Because we spy some folks over here that need to go, go. Mm. <laughs> I like this sword. It's a little bit ridiculous, but that, in a way, is just right. Oh, maybe this is a bit ridiculous. Yikes. Ah, oh, brother wars never feel good. Look at all those Batarians we're taking out. Oh, jeez, okay, well, there's another Batarian taken out. It's okay, I already gave the charge order. They know what to do. Not a single loss on our side, although Trigvi bought it. He's just taking a dirt nap, though. He'll get right back up. Yeah, good thing I had the reinforcements then, because without that, if I went down like that... That could spell disaster for our team. Lovely. Yeah, my, my leg got shattered with that one. Well, Alendra, we'll see what my mer uh, mercy is worth. And another Baron. Well. I'm glad I saved space for prisoners around here. I would love to shove you into a castle to make the most of this war, but I might... No, that would give me influence. That is a good idea. In the meantime, though, just give me your good stuff. So I want your... For God's sake, sort it by tier. Hero, obviously. Picked warrior. Highborn warrior. Not your light cavalry. Mm, but I have space for more units, so I think I will take the clan warriors just for front runners. They should be quick and easy to hire. And the rest of them, I guess I'll just take the high tiered ones to sell to the highest bidder. Oh, of course, the mounted ones. And with that, we should double back for a wee bit. The highborn youths, no, I'm, I'm packed on units at this point. Troops will gain experience, but they can't get too much. Ooh, more stacked. More stacked goodies. I think by now we have a better shield, right? This shield that we found has got to be considered better. And how about you, Fatuba? Wish I had some throwing daggers to give to Trigby. That would feel quite fitting for him. Alright, all well and good. Relations increased with Fenpat, but why? Renown gain from battles, yes. Experience on troops on recruitment, heavens yes. But faster non-bandit prisoner recruitment is just, hmm. 
No, the Renown grind is real, so it's got to be the Renown. Can't say no to that. Trigger is... There's nothing to say for Trigger, but Fugger. You're doing well on the front lines. I, I love to see this progression on our units. Larger shield protection area against projectiles. That sounds awesome for a shield wall. Larger shield protection area against projectiles to troops in your formation. That sounds amazing. Damage to shields will block, block in the wrong direction. Nah, larger shield protection against projectiles. Yeah. Larger shield protection area against projectiles to troops in your formation while in shield wall. Surely this one's strictly better. Anyway, I like that against the projectile, so on you go. i got to make sure that Fugger is in charge of that army, though. How's everyone doing, companion-wise? Trig V is resting from his dirt nap, but Fugger's doing well. God, I'd love to see it. Right, like I said, I want to turn back a bit and deposit what I have, but where are we? I find it so easy to lose my bearings here. Um... Hopefully there's space in the Maranath settlement for what I'm looking to deposit. And hopefully they don't escape on the way there either. Oh, the snake's troops are attacking. Well, now is not the time. I'm too laden with prisoners to care about you right now, snake. There we go. Hopefully there's space in the dungeon. And here you go. Oh, wow. Who was the one that was worth tons? Baron Valeric's worth a load. Anyway, the rest of them could just stay locked up for all I care. And I won't pack the place full of prisoners that aren't so great for me. Wow. Hold on. 24 points in charm for depositing prisoners. I had no idea it even worked that way. But I'm definitely taking that. Avoiding critical failure. Double persuasion success. Increased relations with powerful nobles and governed. Yeah, I'll just take top one. It's not worth overly thinking about. I, I don't put a lot of stock in charm in this game. Gifting valuable prisoners gives massive relationship increase. Charm is pretty good in later levels. What does charm give you that's so great? Increased relation with NPCs plus bonus sounds good. Influence per day for every skill point above 200. Wow, that's a lot of influence. Double the relation game for helping lords in battle. Loyalty bonus or settlement. That's a huge loyalty bonus. If you wanted to... I don't know how, if charm can be leveled up by just governing. Probably not. But if you had uh, good charming people in charge, you would never have loyalty problems. That's amazing. But it's a long way down the route. Maybe there's a better way to get loyalty. Anyway, far from my concern. Get to that tavern. Be sad that there are no companions. And... Get rid of all these people we don't care about. Am I sure I don't care about all of these? I kind of want the picked warrior. But the rest of them, yeah, they can all they can all just sit on their thumbs for a wee bit. Clan warriors are a little tempting, considering that my party could be larger. So you know what, I will take them. I always feel like I want a few more in the front line. Clan leaders have special titles before their names. So for Landy, it's Baron. Batania, it's more Mayor. Emperor for Archon and so on. Those are more valuable and give more rewards. Oh, that explains it. I was wondering what the more Mayor was. Absolutely bring heroes into the fray. Still got room for a few more. And this is good. I'm actually feeling like I contribute to the wars these days. Which is just as well because there's one thing Batania needs. It's handouts. Funnily enough, we're considered winning this war. If we had peace, we'd be paid. Whilst I'm here, though, you know what needs to be done. We go to Smithy. We smelt all in Smithy. And I even need to get some refining done. Not sure I want to forge anything, but there might be an order or two worth doing. Especially this one for Slippy Toad. If they want two-handed swords, that's great, because those we can do. If I can make it out of some relatively low tier stuff, that's all the better. They want some good reach on the thing. I'm sure I have something here that's got some good reach. Yeah, 
go figure, the one that pays a lot has uh, pretty hefty demands. That almost gets there. There's got to be a sl Ah, there we go. That's a good bit of range on you. The swing speed might be hard to get for you. Hmm. You seem considerably better on all fronts. sure what the pommel at the end of the sword even does for the stats. Doesn't seem to affect anything that much. What the hell, maybe they'll be happy enough with this. Although it does cost my glorious fine steel. I don't like spending my fine steel. Ah, there you go, Slippy. Be satisfied with this. No, not at all. He's going to cut a lot off of that. But I didn't want to scutter around to this too much. Still give me this skill point, though. The smelt all button is my beloved, yeah, otherwise it's a ton of clicking. Another dissatisfied customer keeps our economy rolling. I was wondering if there's any good stuff to buy here for smelting down. Again, those axes are a little too expensive for it, but uh, a dagger from elsewhere, nice. Anyway, I've already made my sword, there's no need to, no need to worry too much about that. There's more worry about going and assisting with this big The snake! Right, he can't escape. I mean, he can try, but he can't escape. That's what he gets for being on foot. He's just got a load of uh, Valandian recruits. What do you want, stranger? Who are you? Oh, I didn't realize the snake was an 18-year-old girl. You're tiny. Uh, what of your clan, though? An average clan and you're not in charge. Let's make sure you never become in charge. Had to leave for a few hours. Anything of note happened? Well, I got my good sword going and Batani is at war with a completely enveloping French lot. But surprisingly enough, the war isn't going too badly. And that is surprising. Archers get over there in loose formation and infantry. Maybe just a wee bit of an, of an advancement for you. Oh wow, the enemy's miles away. Um, huh. Just get moving out a fair bit. I've got fewer cavalry than I recall having. I guess they've been taking attrition as we go along and I've not really been uh, replacing them. But that's how it goes sometimes. I do like the camera mod. It can feel very awkward positioning your units when in uh, third person mode like this. Somewhat, somewhat high area here. Don't think the oh the enemy's moving a little bit. Get over here, everyone. And if you think this takes too long, the mod's also nice for this. Speed up. Although, for some reason, <laughs> my, my mounted archer just loves to run off on his own. I really need to find a way to make him not be considered a mounted archer. But I also want him to have a bow. Cavalry, move! Looks like they're not keen on engaging. Who would imagine? I guess they don't want the game to feel like an RTS. I know, I, I can get behind that. I'm not a fan of RTS at all. Okay, if we get into position here, we'll be in great setup for taking them on. Even though they're a little bit higher up, our longbows will smite them. 
Infantry, make yourself a lovely shield wall target. And just walk on over. Fians and Fians in training, do what you do best. I think my, uh, my cavalry big shot at a little bit. Right, well they do their thing. See if we can't bait out their horses for an attack. Oh yeah! Oh, good grief, that feels good. You cannot beat my umbrella sword. Oh, hello. They're coming in for an engagement here. And make them make them earn it. There we go. I'm sure people thought our goose was looking mighty cooked early on when we got double capped and total party wiped, but I know how to bring everything back. Even without Yuna by my side. It's a lot of French footmen. Those seem not great. Uh, they were fresh recruits. There we go. The snake's troops may have attacked, but they couldn't handle it. Fugger went down, though. That's not good. That's a real problem with my companions, actually. They keep entering battle with 20% health, and... They really don't last long like that. I wonder if there's a way to make them actually get their health back between fights, because it's uh, rather disheartening. Trigvi died. Wait, I missed that. Trigvi actually died. Oh, well, that is sad. He's there, but it'll show up as him dead after the fight. Oof. Oh, I don't like that. All right, get a replacement champion. Sergeant. Infantry can become a sergeant, which is nice, I guess. But so can swordsmen. And gallant can become banner knight. Yeah, the game won't crash to keep Trigby alive this time. Uh, I won't bother about the rest of them. Peshaw to your units. I certainly think that... Uh, We've got an upgrade for you, though, now, Fatuba. Oh, what I could actually do is since my companions lose their gear when they die, I can take it off at this point. That's nice. And I certainly will do that. There you go, Trigby. We'll always remember you. Right, there we go. Now to worm my way out of situations. Now I'm not too sad about giving my units very good gear. Because we can always rob their corpses. Ah. See the important lessons you can learn in this game. Is that under siege by any of our friends? What in the world is going on here? Mawako? No. No, I'd rather not be reminded of Mawako. But they are disorganized. Before that, wasn't I going to make sure that I have good banners on people that are in charge? Fatuba, what banner do you have? Oh, Zhugeli Hang is gone. Apparently that's a better shield? Really? Ah, actually, that looks quite nice. It's even got our banner on it. Hmm. Futaba. Maybe just don't take as much uh, damage. We'll always remember you, he says, while stripping the still-worn body of all equipment. <laughs> Not incorrect. Oh god, how many of them are there there? 
Running, running, running. They're all running, so surely they think we're going to trash them. So let's go and trash them. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, Stranger? Good opportunity to grab Mwaku, Scrooge McDuck, and Lassand. I do have some cavalry, though. This won't be a walk in the park. And they outnumber us considerably. I know your name. They say you're a man of valor. Who says that? Well, have at. Three. Three parties. Time for many ouchies. Yeah, at night time as well. It's probably not so good for our archers, but... Believe. Even in close combat, those fians can do some mighty damage. Also, this looks like some beneficial um, ground to us. We have some relative high ground over here. Let's just see what we make of this. Oh god, that's some menacing music, isn't it? I might be coming a little too close with this, but I do want to be somewhat close. God, that is some very scary sounding music. Right, get over here everyone. Actually, that might be... Ah, oh, whatever, we're on our way already. Right, infantry, time for shield wall. And march off to be a tantalizing target. Fians, do what you do best. Maybe my cavalry should take a step back so they're not taking any shots and blocking my own units. Looks like they're mostly engaging. And they are getting those kills in, which is great. Their cavalry seem to be lost down the hill. Yeah, maybe I should take some pot shots too. I consider myself a half-decent archer. I think I'm actually aiming too high. Okay, they're going off the sides. What can we make of that? Good stuff, actually, if they're planning to approach from this side. In that case, arrows go a little bit further, so you're on the crest. Footmen still present a nice shield wall target over there, please. for it, and there are a lot of them, lest we forget. And they still have cavalry. That I'm not fond of. Having the cavalry advantage feels so damn good until you don't have it. Hey, take a bite of... Oh, wow, okay. I was, <laughs> I was not the one to get that. God, there are a lot of them. Right, cavalry. Time to engage. I don't think shield wall formation is going to help you out too much at this point. Get into a regular line formation and fight. Let them break through to our archers. There we go. Lovely. Uh, 
Where do you think you're going? Choppy choppy. Wait, are, are there any actual units on these anymore? No, it's all just dead horses. <laughs> that for when three cats in a car is saying they always feel so bad for when they hit the horse instead of the rider. The horses know what they signed up for, don't worry. And there we go, finally! You wait for a bus and then three come along. Fiat, oh, we can only choose up to two. Well, I'm taking an Oath Sworn. Oh, I get nine skills on a Fiat champion. Oh, that's kills, not skills. Still, though. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's have at. Sea Space and Barb and Falk have joined. And. A Batanian Fian champion. Right, what do I want them to be doing? I would like to have somebody as... Sorry, athletics are great. What else do we even care about them having, though? I suppose engineering is nice. And maybe some backup scouting. All right, and now our Batanian Oath Sworn. I think it's all just the same stuff here, so... Athletics... Maybe some riding, if you ever choose to do that? So, athletic, horses, and engineer. There we go. So, we might have lost ourselves a Trigvi, but we've gained ourselves a Sea Space and a Barb and Falk. Sakura bit the dirt. Good thing they actually uh, lasted there. Holy smokes, though, those Fians. And that Oaths one was really out for blood. I love to see it. The name of the mod that allows your regular units to upgrade to companions if they shine in battle is called Distinguished Service. I'm mostly using it because there are so few companions and I want a lot of companions in my army, but... It feels nice to actually have units fight and earn that place instead of just going into the tavern and finding someone with a sob story who wants 500 gold to even join your party. Well, Lassand I give up. I give and Scrooge up. McDuck and Mawako. Damn you and your Sudoku puzzle games and uh, Nancy Drew in the Shadow of Water's Edge. You're all my prisoner. Get in. Uh, there's a lot more of you here than I can deal with, so I'm going to have to do a bit of a purge. Much as I love my highborn warriors, I think that I'm going to have to say goodbye to them. In favor of... God, you've got some nice units here. Sort by tier. Let's see the best thing. Uh, we like the sergeants. I don't care so much about you. Swordsmen become sergeants. Gallants become even better versions of Gallants, and I'm already near my maximum here. Mm. I guess I'll take the Vanguard, can't go wrong with it. Same with your regular cavalry guy. And then the rest are just going to be sharpshooters and other guys that I just toss away like rubbish. The more, the more, the thing I'm more interested in is this fat loot. Come on, this has got to be good. Yeah, I've seen better. I've seen considerably better. We're not overloaded just yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. Right, well, let's have a look at our new friends, shall we? It's been a long time coming. Uh, I myself have advanced in medicine, so... Oh, nice, nice siege bombardment. Recover mounts of dead cavalry troops. Isn't that really good? Depends if it applies to enemies or not, because stealing their mounts would probably be amazing. But it probably doesn't work that way. I'll just take the... Um, yeah, less people dying in sieges is better. Right, so they have a bajillion skills. 
I'm going to tell them to just auto assign, but are there any that are absolutely vital? If we have Sea Spacer Barb and Falk, they can certainly speak up. But I'm not sure if either are around right now. They both signed up, you know, to be these characters. I think what I should do is make sure that they have the engineering and the scouting, because I probably want them as my engineer and scout once it becomes too much for me. So that's pretty good. And Barb and Falk, you get that and that and double down on intelligence, or single down on intelligence. I'm also curious about the gear that they have, but I promised myself I would not strip my alive compatriots if they were elevated like this, because they get some damn good equipment. Um, yeah, if anybody knows of some must-have uh, perks here, then sure, otherwise I'll just leave it to the AI to questionably assign. Not sure I will have you as my scout. How am I doing as a scout? Not terribly, given my lack of focus on it. It's engineering that I'm more interested in. Uh, yeah, Sea Space, you're going to be our engineer. Speed to ranged siege engines. Yes. Lower chance of prisoner. Well, you're probably not going to be in charge of such a thing, but hit points to ranged siege engines. Yes. Spec out the bow parts for an archer captain. Now, that's a good point. I think, actually, Barb and Falk would do well to lead our archers, whereas Sea Space... Hang on, which one's which? Let me double check here. Yeah, so Barb and Falk in charge of the infantry, because he upgraded from infantry, and Sea Space in charge of our archers. I like the sound of that, so I should at least pick their perks on that that maximize their, uh, their unit. But otherwise I'll leave it to the AI to figure out, because I don't want to assign 79 skills. So, Sea Space, and you should probably max this out. Oh, it's, it's not going to go any higher, is it? No, probably not. No, definitely not. Okay, so figure out the rest. Anyway. Arch 20% ar uh, or 20 archery skill for uh, for the Fians just sounds deadly. Armor penetration for Fians? Yes. Accuracy penalty, reloads, oh yes. Mm, neither of these are particularly important, let's give you that. Damage with bows by tier 3 troops, hell yes. Oh hell yes. Aiming, duration, losing accuracy, nah, none of these, neither of these really matter much, do they? Uh, zoom with bows, visual range, damage taken. Damage from projectiles to troops in your formation sounds amazing. Morale to range troops in your party. Experience? No. Morale. We don't really care that much about... Well, maybe the experience would have been better, but too bad. Uh, arrow, extra arrow per quiver to troops. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize there was a skill to use a longbow from horseback. That is cool. All right, that's pretty splendid for you. And then what about Barb and Falk leading the infantry? I don't know if any of these help with that. God knows, but I might as well just make you very good at all of these. Some of those are only if he's party leader. I thought it was for captain. But yeah, I suppose there were captain and party leader, wasn't there? Maybe I was getting too excited over nothing, but too bad. Uh... Ooh, I don't want to read through all of these. Let's just say we're done. And then I go to campaign options, allocate clan perks automatically, and then I think it ought, it allocates them when it does the wage calculations. So till then, let's go away and hope that we don't have any skill level ups for anyone else, because that would really get in the way. What an amazing fight, though. Great to find three lords like that, and I need to find a friendly place to deposit them. Unfortunately, the only friendly place nearby is Abcomer Castle, and that's 
Oh, right, no, we can we can go to pretty much our capital. Probably the best place for it. Oh, it's so tempting to take another fight, but we got places to be here. Oh, but you are gathering. Oh, man, the temptation to fight, but no. No, we can't. We've got to deposit these people safe and sound so that they don't cause us issues. And we check to see that they have indeed spent their points. Probably not very wisely. But that's okay. The important thing is that we absolutely turn that pack off, or else it's going to allocate perks that we do not want that done automatically. Opportunity to take their... Yeah, you have no idea. Let's have a look at their equipment. So, here's Sea Space. A tier 5 Longbow. Rusty Stacked Buduin Arrows. Really? Rusty? I could give you better than that, you know? Um... I just give you regular stack instead of rusty. God knows the difference that it made. And a tier 6 two-handed sword. However, some of this stuff is pretty crummy. Sure, you've got the tier 6 body armor, but your gloves kind of blow. Let's give you better gloves. And your boots kind of blow. Give you better boots. Even that kind of blows. There you go. Not giving you a mount, though. You'll join in with the rest. Especially since... Uh, yeah, I can't, can't use that with mounts anyway. And we're going to lock you to no horse. What about Barb and Falk, though? I wish you could confirm without having to close the screen. Right, Barb and Falk, tier 6 headgear, tier 2 cape, which I could give you a better one of. Amazing body armor. So-so other stuff. Eh, good enough. Uh, do I want you mounted, though? Nah, it tends not to like mounted commanders with non-mounted uh, units. Also makes you a bit of a target, so we'll lock this to nothing. Not a very good spear for some reason. You're apparently better with that long, fine spear, but... Big shield, one-handed axe, throwing axes. Now, I like to see those. And on top of that, what kind of nice... Thing can I give you? Increased troop movement speed. I actually do really like the troop movement speed for moving my archers into position better. So that's what I will do. So, Sea Space Echo. You're in charge of the archers, and I want those archers moving faster. And Barb and Falk. We'll take less range damage on our melee units. In the off, I don't know if that applies to the shield as well, but we'll give it anyway. Morale shock doesn't seem to be a big deal. Got a lot of stuff to sell, but man, I am happy with that. Good to see Distinguished Service coming to, into its own when you actually take some big fights. Still, it's important that I deposit my units, so let's go. It's the key to winning this war, making sure that we have enough uh, prisoners that they don't want to keep uh, keep fighting. I don't actually know how the AI makes those decisions, but prisoners seem to help quite a lot. Strangely enough, so do raids. Keep, dungeon, donate. Snake, and Lasand and Scrooge McDuck, and Mawako. It's not nearly as much influence as I would like, but it's still some. And uh, we're making five and a half grand per tick on Merc wages. Here I thought you couldn't get riches, just a Merc. Still no people to hire here. But Distinguished Service is fine. You just gave him the cape, you took off C... I know, I know. Just the staggering of um, of upgrades, really. I thought I said I'd keep the cavalry. Did I really want it? Yeah, I've got enough units here as it is. Give me the egg white, but otherwise... Carry on. Mm, I think I wanted that picked warrior, though. Meaning I should lock them in. I, I am bad at remembering what I plan to do with my prisoners. If they're locked, I generally want them. But that's a lot of egg whites and gallants. So I should probably ditch some of those. Because it takes a long while for them to be ready to join us. So I think I will actually do that. Take some, take some of these crummy egg whites and gallants. And even some sergeants. Even though they're really good, they take a long time to join me. And I want that roguery. 
Otherwise, we've got stuff to smelt down, no doubt. Do I care about any of this stuff? Maybe, but away it all goes regardless. Good for the parts, if nothing else. Egg whites have so much protein. Think of the gains, Jake. The gain. We have some of them. Uh, I could make some of that Thamask and steel. Oh, but I'm pretty low on fine steel. Maybe I should take in the perk for that. And what I certainly... Although I said I would keep someone around as an engineer, there's a lot I have to learn about engineering myself. I should start a siege. Yeah, just do a siege and get these level ups. Just a little bit of it to get me some overall uh, overall level should be good. Speaking of which, I'm a bit more charming these days. Relationship gain with the opposing gender? Yeah, because I do need to get uh, some babies going at some point. I hate to just die and have it game over there and then. Alright, this is splendid. I haven't saved all game, so... Chat campaign. Zero two. Do you have a last in your side? I was trying to court what's her face, um, Kala Chad's daughter, but she was having none of it probably because she was on the war march. Anyway, great shot from us, and we saw some more people to attack down south, so let's head back down south. Oh, I forgot to sell my stuff. Somewhat important to keep ourselves lean. Uh, do I care about any of this stuff? Mm, not really. That is a nice shield. But you can't smelt shields, and we do find them, and everybody has a shield, don't they? Well, actually, Sea Space doesn't, but I don't think I... Ah, well, there's a, there's a troubling thought. Maybe I want him to have a shield. It might help keep him alive. That might be a decent idea? But then he can't use that with his two-handed sword, can he? Which also means I'd be thinking of giving him just a one-handed sword. But that might, yeah, might be a very good idea. Just if they end up in melee, give him a much better chance of surviving compared to the others. And, you know, if I'm going to give him a sword, I might as well give him a nice axe. Yeah, that seems more sea space, doesn't it? There we go. So if, if he gets drawn into close combat, at least he can shield himself while fighting. And the axe is good at breaking other shields if it comes to that. I don't need a shield, I need ammo, says... Oh, okay, Sea Space himself chiming in. So I did say, if people had preference for what they want their hero to be, they absolutely can. So, there you go, you get your ammo. Right. Right, right, right. You should spec out the bow perks for an archer cap. I'm pretty sure I did that. Did I trade away all my garbage, though? I don't think I did. Too busy being yelled at by Sea Space for not getting him the right things. Even if they're rusty, I still want to keep hold of those. Hold on, a step war bow. I've already got a step war bow, but that is good. Let's lock that in. The rest of the stuff can go bye-bye. Same with the armor. I've got way too much armor. Nice head armor, though. Are we sure that uh, sure that no one like Futaba would want that? No, apparently we've got better already. Sweet, then away it all goes. Give me the dough, because at least money can't be stolen from me if and when we fail. I'm also going to get rid of these. They're so darn heavy. If it comes to it, we could always find and buy some nice stuff. Why am I still so overburdened? It's probably... Well, a good amount of it is the iron and stuff that I have, not to mention the charcoal. But this grain can't be helping. I'm looking forward to having my own place so I can have a personal stash with all my forging stuff. It's a lot of olives. Right, away you go, olives. I need to be lean, you know. Rusty bolts are perfect for giving the enemies tinnitus. Yeah, but we need them dead faster, not slower. Okay, with our newfound leadership... Let's head back into the fray. I gotta say, I was worried about this French war, but it's going pretty well. Also, DDR Jake won the tournament at Epicotrie. Excuse me. DDR Jake, vassal of Northern Empire. Lord 
of the Rich Neritzis family. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I've got a spouse. I've got a sister. Two sisters. I never knew Illustra John was my sister. But he's devious and cruel, which does explain the maps he makes me. Interesting. Perhaps we'll cross swords with that DDR Jake at some point. I'm still not willing to become a vassal. I like the mercenary life a lot. Especially since this place is going to die at some point. So I'd uh, rather be ready to set out my own. We're going to get things like sea space leveling up. But what do we even put him in? Two-handed, one-handed. He's already got the engineering and the scouting. But he's surprisingly good at trade. Where did that come from? Anyway, none of this seems too interesting, but we'll focus you a bit more on two-handed, just in case you ever learn a thing or two about lopping heads out there. There's Fox McLeod, not our concern. Uh, this is not a siege that's ours, but it's good to see that the French are under more pressure. Make me a stereotype, a sniper. Well, you are a sniper. I'm not abandoning the homeland. I will definitely be taking good personal care of Batarian lands. It's just that at the moment the leadership's just not in the right place. Oh, hello. Sima Yi. Sima Yi. Run, run as fast as you can. Oi, sorry. I don't think I know you. Nowhere near as regal as I expect Sima Yi to be. Yield or fight, and I'm just going to auto-resolve this one. It shouldn't be too hard, right? And then cue us losing equites, elite cataphracts. Madness. God, auto-resolve hurts. I'm not so sure I care much about your prisoners, so to hell with them. Uh, phalanx, decreased damage taken from range damage. It's just, still just 5% though, so never mind that. Who's the imbecile now? Sima Yi. <laughs> He's probably going to be able to escape at some point. I love Bolshevik on bicycle. Nice raiding you got going there. Villagers, Eridand. Well, Eru, what do you have there? Lots of Landian recruits. Well, get the machine guns ready. Yours is not a place I know. What is your name, stranger? Part of the De Merok clan. You're alongside Pepperoni, the creepy robot cat and the beast within. Oh god, it's a beast in the making. Right. God, I love it when you're at the stage of the game where you can go around and just pick these fun fights. And then again, what part of the game isn't fun, aside from smithing? And uh, most of the other little mini-games that are tacked on and half-baked. Oh, the very end game. Yeah, I have not experienced that, but I've heard. I have heard the tale. Right, Barb and Folk the Brave. You are in charge of Futaba's life, as well as that of uh, 31 hard-baked Batarian frontline troops, which I think at this point should have a few Valandrians mixed in there. <laughs> You look so pathetic there with your mace. <laughs> now, do we have any pressed Frenchmen in here? Would have thought some of them would be on our side by now. Well, that's what I got for thinking. Should never do that. And Fugger, you need to get there in the front lines as well, somehow. And Sea Space, those archers are your archers now. Take damn good care of them. I have been nurturing them for a long time. All right, what are we what are we fighting against here? Uh, no sense racing for that high ground. In a sense, we have the ground that we want right here. Why does it count you as a melee unit? Infantry get down low. Horsemen on the flank. Come on, you should have uh, stats or perks that make that better on 
in the meanwhile, see space in the sharpshooters. Do your thing. I really don't think they want to engage, but it's all right. Horsemen, come on me. We are going to draw them out. Starting to wish I had more horseback archers. That was pretty cool in its own right. Are they having any of this? I suppose we could at least uh, have our way with their cavalry. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, my days. If you haven't played this game, you don't know this feeling. And it's a good feeling. Mm. <laughs> I forgot the dismemberment mod. I gotta remember to put that in next time. Alright, folks. Back it up. Sheer drop down there, possibly. Mm. Cavalry. Uh, let's go with engage order. They are on their way after all. Into the meat grinder, you go. I bet I could watch it from here. Infantry! Warlord! Infantry attack! No, you don't. Man. I don't consider the Batanians as being particularly good foot troops, but these oath swarms, they're not too shabby. Their shields look really brittle, though. I like how two-handed axes feel on horse. Yeah, I think two-handed uh, axe on horseback is my favorite weapon so far. But I have not yet tried glaive, and I'm sure I will someday. Oh, crikey. Sucks to be you. On Avenue Q. Flawless so far. No, you don't. Just no, you don't. Perfect. Actual perfection. Is it possible to for uh, custom forge a glaive that also works as a Couched lance. That I don't know. Ah, you're my prisoner now, maggot. Do I want or care about any of your units? I like knight. Why does this keep changing its order? Uh, I like sergeant. I like knight. The rest of these guys I don't really think I care too much about. Because I'm still waiting on pressing some of these guys into my army anyway. Getting to the point where there's not a lot of upgrades to do. Because we've got a lot of people that are pretty maxed out. 48 Fian champions. Hmm. Also, what the heck? Our troop capacity has gone way up. That could mean only one thing. No, not invasion. That our clan level has gone up and it's time to press in more. That's the stuff. Okay, great. We need to go and grab them. On top of that, I suppose we've been gradually leveling up our stewardship. I like that prisoners carrying as forced labor. Mm. It's good stuff, and we'll get there. Right, am I close enough to actually get more? Also, I think I'll leave that capacity to a degree, and I will. S I'll get forty mounted cavalry, uh, mounted archers, mounted cavalry. Of course, it's mounted cavalry. It's in the name. Uh, Auto fled. You're lucky I'm disorganized, but I'm pressing deeper into enemy territory. 
Why did my wages go down so much? Now it's only three grand. I was making five grand before. I wonder if I could just take a castle. Would anyone notice? Actually, I'm not sure that would do so well as a mercenary. out here. I was hoping I could raid some horses or something similarly good. But they're not big on horses. Maybe I could head up north and grab their horses. I want to have a good raid going. Uh, well, do I really want to raid or do I want more of a party? Stalin knew how to party. He, he was the guy. It's a shame we've lost him. Edoran has escaped. Yeah, that makes sense. They just love to escape very quickly. Still got Sima Yi, of course. Killing Sima Yi is certainly an option, but the Hidden Hand people wouldn't be very happy. There'll probably become a point where we end up hunting and killing as many people as we can, especially if they are chat members. Oh, that was a bit faster than I wanted. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Do I really not know you? Well, you're just a minor part, or you have a, an average clan, but you're still going to die. Settlements sometimes rebel, and those are free real estate. Yeah, I'm waiting on that, although I haven't noticed any rebellions yet. I do plan on taking a rebelling Batanian settlement, if I can. And from there, we will grow and our empire shall become pretty meaty. At least that's the plan. Ooh, it's quite a nice layout, actually. Oh, we got a lovely crest up here if we can have it. Get over there and shoot down. Infantry, go there. Cavalry. I actually want you guys on me. And we'll run distraction in case they try to secure the better land. Meanwhile, I'll just use my umbrella sword. Not great, not great. Oh boy, that went a lot worse than expected. Well, that's okay. My troops know to follow my example, except maybe not the eating the dirt part of it. That does leave our units pretty open to being mangled by the horses, though. I said I would distract, and I did distract. There we go, they know what to do. Did someone just say I'll eat your liver? Oh god, what, what should have been a calculated kill here has become a uh, bit of a grinder. At least the Fians are where they should be, to a degree. Slowly running uphill. Hopefully eating the pain. Horses, get out of the way of the bows! You fools! Uh-oh, the tab I just went down, but not fatally. That does mean that she's going to be nursing her wounds for quite a long time. I gotta, I gotta figure out some way to handle that, because otherwise, let's say I have 50 companions. They're gonna be out of battles for a very long time. Or rather, they'll be in battles and instantly dropping dead. I wonder if there's some mod that can just make them... Just basically have my companions at 100% health after each fight. I wonder if that's something that's possible. Might look into that just to keep it more usable to have lots of companions. Well, at least I wasn't the only one to fall. Sakura and one warrior joining me in the dirt. But you know, I led by example. Distracted for about two seconds. 
distracting my own party more than anything now. All right, at least I get my prisoner, and we don't need any replay. Again, let's just try to remember it's tier game. And uh, none of these seem important to me. Keep the swordsman locked in and recruit him when necessary. Nova says hi, well, welcome. There we go, doing our part for the war. I said I wanted to go north and raid some horses though, and raid we shall. Fortunately, with such high morale, our speed of gaining our units... But Riku! Freaking Riku! You made Final Fantasy X pretty rubbish. Well, the parts that you were in. Riku sees any part of the game and thinks, you know what would make this better? Having it be all about me, me, me. If I could also engage these villagers, that'd be sweet. I'm waiting for daylight, though. I don't like fighting battles at night. Daylight enough. See, so yes, this is what I mean. Futaba is going to join the fight with 21 hit points, but one shot and she falls. And she could die from that. But that's just the risk that we're here for. Now, Riku. Oi, sorry, I don't think I know you. Change your voice actor, I see. You're part of the hidden hand? Actually, if Riku dies, there's very little left of this clan. Oh, it could be reduced to only Florida Man if I took Sima Yi's head off. Well now, we'll see how Riku stands up to this onslaught. The hidden hand of Florida Man. Why is Florida Man a faction leader, asks Nova Light. In this kind of situation, you need to make up your own head cannon, or else it falls apart under scrutiny. Tired of constant oppression under US law, Florida Man has sailed over to Calredia, where he can finally engage in all of his sick perversions. I even know where the enemy's going to be here. Let's have a look-see. Oh, it's open, open land here, basically, so... Footman over there. Just use the general setup that we have. I'm feeling that attrition on my cavalry, though. Hopefully not going to feel the attrition on my sword here. It's out for blood. Nice open area for fighting. Come on, cavalry. Taste the umbrella. Oh, damn short Frenchman. There we go. Oh, sorry about your horse. <laughs> Ooh, but there's a good opportunity to just kind of ride down here and... Oh, this feels familiar. It's okay, that's probably what I was planning on doing. For them. It's okay though. Group. Forward. Footmen. Move. Riders. Forward. Yeah, they've got some better high ground. But there's the thing, the enemy is often the defender. So they're not the ones coming to gun me down. Not so mounted anymore, are we? Compensating for aiming too high at these tiny Frenchmen. And now I'm taking it out in their poor horses. Are we close enough to be doing anything here? I'm not so sure. Oh, no, I'm, I'm seeing projectiles. Oh, I'm seeing projectiles go kind of the wrong way. And the right way. Sea space, see, teach them right. I think they can move and shoot, which is rather nice. Nice block. There we go. Shield is shield's just weighing me down. 
Don't need any shielding. Mm. <laughs> I never thought the... Uh, oh my... Okay, I thought you were looking the wrong way there. Uh, I never thought that the two-handed sword could feel so good. It just strikes me as such a missionary weapon. was a good block. If I had my glorious um, axe, that probably would have cleaved your hidden hand shield in half. Oh, they're going for it. Uh, by it, I mean potentially me. Oh, I love just seeing the projectiles come in. Look at them go! And I mean, go! Right, get out of here. Oh no, don't follow me. Charge. That's what I wanted to do. Line formation. I don't mind the Fians engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They have that two-handed sword and great armor. Damn, Riku and your survival. Right, there is a temptation to take off Riku's head as well as... Sima Yi's head. Wouldn't be without its diplomatic consequences, but the thought of almost wiping out a clan is tantalizing. If I don't do it now, they're only going to escape, aren't they? So, Sima Yi, I think you've got to go. Riku, I think you've got to go. It's a shame I can't steal their equipment as I execute them. And again, since I'm using the No Relations mod, the game doesn't keep popping up at the top to remind me about people that hate me. It does, however, show it in the uh, the combat log. A lot of people not happy with me for all of this, but if you're making enemies, you're doing something right. Marriageable women caravan. Caravan of Hatsune Miku and Popuri. Could I get two caravans for the price of one? Another two wise to my ways. I will, however. Uh, Randy Random. Member of the Golden Boar. We'll have a chat, Randy. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? You are a mercenary. You only have four members. You're very poor, but you still have decent strength. You're a friendly guy. Hmm. You took GF Mingo as a prisoner. Good on you. Right, well, we have we have no uh, no heads to butt over this. I'll leave you on your way, Randy. In fact, maybe you can watch me as I loot this place for horses. They don't want me to? Well, in go the troops. I'm not a big fan of these fights. But if I send in troops, some of them are going to die for sure. Some of my really good troops are going to die for sure. Send in the troops. Wow, surprised. Actually didn't happen. I'm not taking your crummy prisoners though. Yeah, there's no way to kill people without getting a devious trait, or at least execute them without getting it, as far as I'm aware. So come on, there's gotta be some horses here for me. To a mule. Mm, quirk horse, Ramsey, mule, tools. I'm just doing what I can for the war. All for the war effort. Uh, well, I mean, these are these are French people, so I don't really care if they hate me for raiding their poor little village. It's slim pickings on the plunder for gold, though. It's just a lot better for materials, but saddle horses... 
Stumper horses, Rouncey. They don't have any good horses to loot here, do they? How's the war effort looking? Good question. Are we still considered winning? Mm, if we... Oh, we did gain a town, though. We came into this with uh, three towns and one castle. Now we have six castles and four towns. Batani is back, baby. Outnumbered, but never outgunned. Doubtlessly because of my glorious help and uh, gathering of prisoners. Uh, Barb and Falk, do you have something to say? What we did to that village, I don't like it. They're a lot like my people. You're Batanian, they're French, they're nothing like your people. Perhaps you're not suited for... Th I don't know if that makes them go away, but... Uh, I make these decisions, sunshine. Don't run your mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wouldn't mind some of that hardwood if it's going. But I also want to defend ourselves, so let's make our way over. Uh, ooh. One's joining up with the army. If I can take them on one by one, that would be nice. I think you're a little too far away to join in this fight. Get ourselves the extra Fian. Always welcome. Florida man, Jake, up at the village. Oh, which village? I've got to. I've got to help my. Got to help my people here, though. Right. So if I take out Morcon and then make out, uh, take out Baron, that should lighten the load. Ah, oh, but they already took Comer. Dang. Hmm. Well, I'm still taking my fights. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name? Didn't stranger? imagine that we'd be fighting the French so damn much here. Up at Rotodan, thank you. I will turn around and make my way back to see, see if I can put an end to that clan then. 105 on 101. Lots of levied crossbowmen, so we're going to be shot by crossbows. Not a problem for our party, though. Far from it. God, I've been at this all day, and it's so fun I could be at this all rest of day. Where does the time go when playing Banner Lord? Uh, rain is not so good for us and our focus on shooting. But we have a pretty good position here, I would dare to say. It's all uphill for us. Footmen just take that. Fians take this. Horsemen on the flank. They've got a lot of crossbows. But shields should be pretty effective against crossbows. Yeah, there was an actual battle fought between the English and French like this, where the rain really helped out it's the English. Okay, good, good. I think we have the range advantage on the crossbows. Hmm. Cavalry, do some minor engagement. Me? I'll do some major engagement. Especially against those high tier ones with the fancy helmets. Damn Vlandian champions. Oh, easy now. Don't you dare be taking out my units. I like these guys. They're so good at harassing. Would be nice to give my... my cavalry the order to engage enemy cavalry. There we go, enough of those. I'm glad somebody pointed out that they're really good units. Mm. 
easy money. In fact, everybody. Leave none alive. They're only French. Plus, I got some two-handed swordsmanship to level up. I wonder if I can level it up. I, I've got very low vigor and aptitude points for it. Ah, always a pleasure. You need some alive, the world needs cheese. Ah, the Italians and the Swiss make plenty good cheese. And now that I'm out of Sweden, I can say without fear of my life that Danes make good cheese too. <laughs> Day is ours indeed. In fact, what good French cheeses are there? I don't, I don't doubt that there are, but I don't think Brie is that great. Is Camembert French? Mm, again, please, sort by tier game. Take your sergeant, your vanguard, your champion. None of the other ones really appeal to me. Off they trot. Camembert is French. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I love cheese, so not even a fair comparison. Increased charge damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be having that since I lead the cavalry for now. That is a nice find. Hungary has one kind of tasteless cheese. <laughs> it's expensive, too. Cheese is hung uh, hungry. Cheese is expensive. Could I take on a 192 army? Maybe the better question is should I take on a 192 army? Would be good for the war. Would be good for me. Oh, hey, there's Pan Connick. I could at least stop in here and get rid of some garbage. And if I'm running into it, perhaps certain death, it might not be the worst idea to stock up on some um, meat shields. I doubt they'd appreciate being called that, but I'll call a spade a spade, and they will be my meat shields. I got a bit too much fish and grain. It comes a point where you have a touch too much food, especially since it's easy to find. Uh, just get rid of all that. I want the money. And I want those knives smelted down, probably. Just get rid of all the... Oh, crikey, did I just get rid of one of my stacked, nice Budkin arrows? Keep those. And keep that step war bow. I forgot clicking on this overwrites your lock for that. Alright, happy to get some money. Florida man is still there. I know, I know. I'm working on it. First off, though, away goes all this stuff, and this stuff gets refined. There's no real need to forge, but if you want a two-handed mace, then you better believe I can't give you a good two-handed mace. You want blunt damage? I can't do you blunt damage, but here you go anyway. I'm going to trim 20k off the order press. Okay, okay. That did... Oh, no, these are one-handed maces. Different story entirely. Right. There's that army. I think I'm going to swell up the front meat shields, even though I said I was going to hold out for uh, horseback cavalry. If I'm taking a big fight, I need a lot of people to fight. Well, fight for me at least. Right, he's slower because he's in an army. I'm going to swing round until it's morning time. What's he made of anyway? 40 cavalry. So he actually out cavalries us. That's a concern, especially given that they are French cavalry. Are they good French cavalry? God knows what order this is. Fifteen squires. I think that's... I, I don't actually know what tier squire is. 
Oh, Squire is the lowest tier. Well, that's pretty good. That's 15 of them, which aren't going to be that great. But that's only 15 out of 40. Screw it. First light we're having you. Oh, before your reinforcements get here, especially. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. Ah, oh, me. I'm your maker. Now that we've met, I'm not one for talk. If you have anything to say, say it. Surrender or die. Okay, well, let's have that. We're outnumbered, about 1.5 to 1. And uh, I have a lot of gear that I don't want to lose if this goes pear-shaped. I can see the publicity for Jake's armaments is going, they'll never deliver what I ask for, wood commission again. Ooh, on the plus side, these trees aren't so good for running horses through. On the other side, they're not great for firing our arrows from either are they I think we might be best situated up here and holding this position maybe something like that Let's see how this goes then there's another hill for them to easily crest over there but fight the good fight everybody Okay, that's a pretty beefy shield wall, but do I really have to have my companions on the front line? Surely it would make sense for the more commanding styles to be at the back, where you're not gonna die before everybody else? I really like that they're raising the shields up on the back ones as well to prevent missile fire from arcing over. I don't, however, like that they are... Oh, are they moving? Where even are they? They're chuffing miles away. And there is a bit of a height advantage over here, but god, that's ages away. Something of a height advantage over here, actually, and since we have the time. Get into a line formation and head over there. Foot troops, cavalry, be ready for anything. Radia, you lead by example. Well, hopefully my troops don't run in and die instantly based on my last example. Alright, if we hold this and they don't come too much closer, that's nice. But they are right there, and they are getting closer. Soldiers forward! Forward! Move! Infantry! Move! Move! Move. Mm, oh, that's a little concerning, though. They're already shooting us from there. Who flanks who in this situation? Do you guys actually have shields? I think some of you do, actually. Maybe you should shield? <laughs> Is that an option for you? Cavalry, Cavalry, get back a bit. At least the Fians are getting into position. That's more like it. Sea space, show them how it's done. Show them how to win an archery fight. Just some Fian is holding onto the banner? Okay. Raise your, shields. Raise your shields and close a bit on them. Remember, we are outnumbered here, so getting some kills in early is more than welcome. Can you have them use pikes? Mm. I mean, they have that. I don't know how to give them a specific order to use their pikes, though. I love how one can see you getting better at the game every hour you stream. I don't know. It looks better until it doesn't. It's alright, Mount. I gave you all this armor for a reason. Uh, they are, however, looking to close on in. Sure. 
Okay, but most of their archers seem pretty ravaged. So once they start closing a bit closer, I'm going to have my uh, units form a wider line. That's probably close enough, isn't it? Yeah. I want you in line formation. And I want you kind of spread wide a bit here. And then it's time for the cavalry to start engaging. So that our enemies are somewhat broken up on their approach. And you know what? I can help with that too. Oh god, they got long pointy sticks. My least favourite. Where did their cavalry come from? They just came out of nowhere. I don't think our front line's going to hold here very well. Hold strong, my greatest Batanian warriors. Uh, ooh, I don't think they held very well. Easy now, easy now. Whew. Not too shabby. Ignore the mountain of bodies that we left behind on our own side. Oh wow, not a single footman lived. Well, to see more of the battle, that is. Certainly, certainly some will make it out. Come closer so I can stab you. Oh, there goes Baron. He only goes down, though, not out. There we go. I was a little worried that they had the cavalry advantage. Fian's the Batanian front line. <laughs> there was a distraction. Hey, they did their job. They took the enemy... Uh, they took the enemy projectiles. And remember, I fed a lot of green units into there so they would uh, sponge out the counter a wee bit. I just hope our compatriots survived. Oh, they look okay. Fugger and Sakura took mere fle flesh wounds. Same with Barb and Falk. But you, when you're joining my front line, you know what you're getting into. It's never going to be a fun story. One Fian champion died. Now there's the real loss. Alright, you're my prisoner now, and I'm chucking you into the dungeon so we can actually win this war. Much as I'd like to remove your head. Oh, all those prisoners. It's It always pains me when you get all these prisoners, and you can't take them. Prisoner limit is so low. Oh, oh, hey, there's a free on back. Nice. Otherwise, I guess I'll take your knights. Do I want your fatties? Mm, I want that Batanian hero back, that's for sure. Do I want the highborn warriors? Maybe a little bit. Otherwise, the rest of these are just a waste of space. Unless I'm right next to a town, but I don't think I am, am I? Am I? I mean, what's stopping me just taking them all and then releasing any that I can't get to a town in time? Mm, there's a castle and a town. There's no way I'll get to that town in time to sell them off. Instead, I'll just have a lot of my units, or a lot of my prisoners, break out, I think. Regrettable. Alright, which of these can I just get rid of? Not you guys, obviously. Maybe I'll just take some of the uh, more horsebacky ones, which at least still sell.
Hi Jake, YouTube Scrub here, loving the series, and I have a question, because I have a backlog. Is the new playthrough? It is a new playthrough. The specifically new thing is that we're using chatter and chat submitted characters here. So whilst there are still some vanilla units, or u vanilla names rather, there are plenty that are either people from chat or people that they have put in. And we can see that from the hero list here. I don't think you'd be seeing Wan Shi and Wan Tao and Yuan Shao in the base game. Same with Wario. Someone's just called video games in here. Uncle Lubeck and Trigvi. Oh, right. No, dead Trigvi. <laughs> Sorry, Trigvi. Isn't there a filter for alive? Yeah, here we go. Alive. Met before? It's considerably shorter. Never mind them. Right, at least we can get in here and ransom off some of these guys for actual money. Uh, no, I want to shove you in the prison. Still a little high on these, so... Bye-bye gallants and egg whites. These champions are good, but I can't recruit them all. Fians, on the other hand, I absolutely can and will. Who else is dead, Jake? Just... Oh, God, if you want to check by dead... A lot of people have died. I remember killing 808. We've got Anima. Anon Finn died quite some time ago. Most remember him as a hero. Some resent how he curtailed the ancient liberties of his people to transform them from nomads into lords. Yeah, quite. Hey, Ark is there. Captain Swox from Avorion, Doc Spangler died. Dong Joe, I'm sad I never got to meet him. Nitro died early. Yeah, lots of people have died and many more will die. Teruin of the DDR? I think they were slain from the get go. Right, keep. Dungeon. Ah, bothers me every time. The dungeon sizes are so tiny. But I think there'll be space in here because there's barely any prisoners. Oh, but while I'm here, always get rid of this trash. I will probably start using auto trade soon, but not just yet. And I got a lot of wrought iron. Can I just dump a whole bunch of that? It's, it's uh, actually weighing something. And not terribly useful on its own. Almost the same with iron. Otherwise I can melt down a lot of these. Lordly iron shield. That's better than what I have. Otherwise sell, 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 sell. Nice longbow, but I don't do longbow. And weapons, they tend to just get smelted. Hardwood? No hardwood. How about food though? Grain, fish, grapes, meat, olives, butter, cheese. I'll take all the date fruits and all the beer just to max out my bonus to stewardship. And my god, my units are a bit banged up. I, I need to hold, hold down a little bit. I'll do that over in the castle though because I want to deposit these um, prisoners. Oh, jeez, I could potentially turn the tides of that battle. Not from here, though. Who's over there? Oh, it's Caladog himself. Ooh. Oh, God, no, he is crumbling. Huh? You're not letting me in? What the hell? Why can't I come into Astor Castle? It's ours. Maybe Tors hates me and he's not letting me in. I I don't think I know you. Peace to you. You don't know me, but you hate me. Mm-hmm. Speak truthfully. Uh well, could you let me in? How much can I bribe people? Well, let's say I gave you ten thousand dinars. How happy would that make you? It does nothing? Oh god. What does it take to boost relation? 
Okay, well that's unfortunate. I can't get in to deposit this prisoner. Maybe they would have to let me in if I was a member of the faction. But I'm just a merc. Right. Oh boy, could I really turn this battle around? No, 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 no. But it looks like they broke off for some reason. I guess they had a mutual retreat. And this is start if if my own troops were, you know, just a little bit more not dead. God damn it, guys. My own units are really wounded here. But then again, a lot of them are the crummy Batanian... Uh, oh, right, right, my, my front line is butchered. My people that actually score kills are feeling okay. You know you want to. I do want to. Right, Tegan, I know it doesn't look good, but I'm coming on in. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to borrow their front line. I hope they don't mind. And I don't have time to organize my armies. I just got to see where the fighting is and hop on in. Which generally just means positioning my Fians and hoping my allies can hold the line. Oh, I should have checked what the Frenchies are made of as well. Right, where's the fighting? It's not ongoing, which I find is kind of weird. You join in a fight and everyone's just ready to line up anew. Yes, get over here then and shoot them as they come. That might be a little far for them to go, considering where we are right now. Oh, especially since my ally is moving to the back. Okay, right, if that's the case. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, and there's no way I should be going on in here. Right, I gotta remember, we gotta fight together here. And that means him being the meat shield and my Fians being the Gatling guns. <laughs> Call Gandalf for backup. I don't think Gandalf's going to help us out here. It'd be nice if he did. How do I know which ones are mine? Soldiers! Move forward! I guess those are mine since they're moving back. Oh god, the whole Get army's back. moving back over here. We're all just running back, it seems. I suppose he saw this as being a good high ground and wants to station our army over here. And to be fair, this looks like a pretty nice high ground. Shame it's half out of the area, but still. Fians. Trummy infantry. Cavalry. Uh, cavalry a little further away. This is the fight of your life, everybody. Act like it. Even I'm a little injured here. There we go, that's what I like to hear. Thwack, thwack, thwack. Each of my Fians have a lot of... Uh, a lot of arrows. When the cavalry engage, I'll give my cavalry the engagement order as well. I don't want them dying, but man, we are out cavalry, aren't we? Alright. Starting those kills going now. It's a competition who gets to be the meat shield. Tis a great honour to be a meat shield for the glorious Petenian Fians. Won't hear otherwise. What the heck is the cavalry doing? They're just... Maybe they're trying to bait out an attack or bait out uh, arrows. Either way, the longer we keep like this, the better, but I greatly fear their cavalry charge. 
The moment we see them moving, I want to give the order to engage myself. Looks like they're moving there, but not moving closer. Their units are on the march, though. Well, we've scored 18 kills so far. Ah, uh, but they're on their way, right? Cavalry! Wait, why have them? Why is them, one of them not even mounted? That can't be good, right? God. Right. Don't you dare attack my very, very vulnerable foot troops. I'm trying to convince them that Fians are vulnerable so they let their guard down. Difficult to swing the sword in such a tight confines. That's why thrusting is good, but I actually don't know how to thrust. Just sometimes it comes out of a th as a thrust and sometimes it's a swing. Okay, this exchange seems to have gone quite well. But they are getting close to our meat shield wall and our meat shield wall ain't great. Not liking that red. Not liking how close they are to the Fians either. Come on. I put a lot in the line for my people. Ow! <laughs> oh, God. Surrender, folks. Just hold strong. Oh god, I can't believe the frontliners are actually holding well. Probably not my frontliners. How are the Fians doing? Still shooting? Still harassed by enemy cavalry, though. Get down! I think there was a wave of reinforcements. Really? Shouldn't be any reinforcements in a battle this size. We can have up to 500 on each side in this. Of course, it's uh, balanced out depending on how large each size is, but unless uh, there's a total of more than a thousand troops, there should be no reinforcements. Alright, the line is held. The cavalry, the enemy cavalry are largely scattered. Our own foot troops are still operating, which is great. Uh, not mine, though. Mine are very dead. Sword sister, don't make me laugh. So really don't make me laugh. The the wounds kinda hurt here. I'm impressed they haven't broken at least. I love this so much more than Dynasty Warriors glory fighter stuff. You're just one man here. I don't have my Musso abilities, I can't eat steamed buns to heal up. There we go. Out of all of that, we had one Fian champion scoring seven kills, and they're going to join us as a compatriot, and it is... Darthair! Are you around, Darthair, and do you have any preference as to what you become? I mean, I, I am willing to take any kind of, uh, this is what I want to be. Even if it means stripping you down, giving you a big mace, and telling you to charge in and die. But preferably you don't go for that, because I would like to actually win. I'm not seeing any Darth there. But... In that case, I'll just make my own call here. In which case, I probably just want Athletics, Riding, and... Uh, you know, Medicine might actually make you better at fighting. As in, keeping you alive better. So, enjoy that. Riding, athletics, medicine, on you go. And then the rest of these losers, no quarter. Wow, oh, you're made up, you, you ate that handily. 
Okay, yeah. A whole lot more damage coming in from using this two-handed. This is kind of bad. It's a brother war. We're fighting retreating Fian champions. They deserve better than that. But if we defeat them like this, that means we can take them as prisoners. And that means that we're really just uh, teaching them to be good Batanians again. Yeah, may as well be my kill. To thrust, pull the mouse forward as you attack. Let's try that. Uh. Oh, right. You mean pull it towards me. Ah. Oh, easy. Thanks for that. Well, that was a sure loss that we turned into a pretty good win. And, uh... Barban and Fugger and Futaba once again all ate the dirt nap. But they didn't die, which is rather nice. I'm tempting fate here. They really should have died by now. I think to keep my companions alive, having them on horseback in the uh, in the elites might be better for them. Prisoners, he says, after chopping their heads off. Absolutely. Okay. It's a shame none of the enemy lords died. Maybe the death rate needs to be cracked up some more. I think it goes from 1 to 100. 1 is the highest, 100 the lowest. I have it on 3. Oh, nice plunder. Also, more prisoners are better prisoners. How much of the uh, percentage contribution was mine? Ah, Layson. A lady, if you will. With an ex-spouse. A dead ex-spouse. You wouldn't mind uh, hopping aboard the Jake train, would you? Well, maybe we will meet again. God, those prisoners. Right. Well, you know how I like the sorted. By tier. Fian champions, yes. Banner knights, double yes. Elite cataphracts, whatever the next level of yes is. I'll take your champions, but I don't think I care so much about the others, and I'm overloaded on prisoners anyway. So... I guess it's goodbye to... Picked warrior, he's not that great, although he's almost ready to join me. And get rid of the swordsman and a couple of the highborn warriors. That'll keep us good. We were 59% of an otherwise very large battle. That is good. That's damn good. Right, here we go. Don't suppose Darth Air has been around to say what they want to be as our newest compatriot here. I suppose they could just join Sea Space in the front lines. Rusty stuff, longbow. Although, you know, they could get re kitted out. Maybe they want to join on a Lancer Brigade. But for now, we'll just shove them in with the Fians, and I don't want to overthink what they do. Damn, what a fight. Still not allowed to. Still not enough to let me into the Fen Engal Castle, but. Maybe I could turn around and go to Maranath and get these prisoners safely deposited. Oh, Darth there is here saying, I like big swords. Y you couldn't give us a bit of a better uh, understanding of what you want to be? There we go. Get ourselves the party size. It won't affect us now, but it will affect us when we get some fiefs. There's also a whole heap of skills for you, and I'm not sure I'm really willing to give them all out, but oh, I can't choose one of the later ones without doing all the earlier ones. All right, screw it. There's, there's no way in heck I'm bothering with, uh, with all of that. I just go campaign options, figure it out yourself, and then next time there's a payment, you will figure it out yourself. Oh, that should be done already then. There we go. And you decided that you don't want to use a longbow on horseback. That was your choice to make. I'm glad that's easy enough to do. Frontline big sword. Live fast, die young. Oh, man. It's, 
it's such an effort to get you to the level of being our uh, one of our compatriots, but hey ho, right. I'm going to get you back home and get you kitted out for that. If it's your request, I will adhere to your request. Oh, I want to fight these people, but I really need to rest up back home for a bit. <laughs> Loud crying baby in the background. Testament by early time in, uh, in Sweden. Right, where are you? Darth there. You'll keep this gear because it's pretty good. I might even have some better gear for you. That means no arrows for you, just big sword. No shield, shields for wimps apparently. But it might be nice to give you something you can throw at the enemy as they come your way. And actually, 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 actually. Since we do occasionally make a shield wall, let's actually give you a shield that can be used for that. Here's a reinforced targe. Probably not the best for a shield wall, is it? No, not at all. That's considerably better. And here's some throwing axes, and... I'll give you some more throwing axes. It just seems more in tune with who we are. There we go. So now you can lob six axes at the people that come our way, and then take out your big sword and chop them. And then a shield for when we're in shield wall formation. Get to work, Darth there. Jesus, that was expensive. Oh, that's because I bought the shield for you. Oh, hell no, I'm not buying shields for you. I want to give you a shield. A cavalry kite shield? Nah. Here's a heater shield. With a very, very faded uh, emblem on it. Alright, glorious. That's right, we do have javelins. If you join up and you want to be a javelinier, that can also be arranged. There's a lot of malleability in what we can have people do. That said, for now, our people just need to rest. Get to the keep. Get to the dungeon. Get those prisoners out of my hair. Uh, you, 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 and you. That's a lot of meaty influence. I hope influence caps at 99, doesn't it? I bet it caps at 99. Let's test that, shall we? No, it does not, says Bay. So you're saying by chance we have it at 99.99. And you're completely correct. Good. That made me worry. Who was that there? Freddy freaking fish! <laughs> Alright, well you're all going in here. It's relation boost, it's charm, and it's influence, and that's a fat lot of mercenary wages for me. And I like that. And I really like that. Fian champions, banner knights, elite cataphracts, lock them all in. I want them. It can go into the thousands. Then you must get outrageous amounts of money if you have that much. Right, right, right. Let's go to the trade. I must have some stuff that I can part with at this point. Weapons to smelt down, hardwood to get, although not a lot of it. Hog, sheep, cow, clay, tools, ore, leather, a bunch of our grain, even though it barely sells for any money, because we have too much. Same with the fish. God, I love raiding. Hey, I think rushing into vassalage is a fool's errand. There's a lot of fun to be had as a mercenary before you go beyond that. And that's what I'll stick to. Do I have the herding penalty? I do. Unbelievably, I actually have too many horses. But I'm going to keep it like that because we are going to get ourselves some more units soon. All the while, though, I got too much junk, so away it goes. All of this stuff, aside from the. No, oh, we got those. Those can pile up nicely. Splintered stacked bodkin arrows. Rusty ones. I guess it just really reduces the damage that they do. I'll keep the rusty ones and get rid of the splintered ones. Unfortunately, i got to do this a bit manually because... Do I want to keep you? I mean, that is a nice shield, isn't it? Surely I could have a nicer shield. 
It's apparently better, but it thinks that that other one is better. And I suppose it is. Alright, get out of here unless there's someone else that needs a decent shield. Mm, nah, we're all good. Get it sold, get it sold, get it sold. And the weapons we smelt down. Especially early on, it's hard to get matching culture governors, giving people a spare governors. Yeah, I think. Looking after your lands can be a royal pain, can't they? Right, smelt it all. I said all of it, included the tapered blade. Really building up that smithing. Could I perhaps get one more slight level? Come on, just a, a teeny tiny little extra level. Holy crapola! This guy's willing to pay me outrageous sums of money. It's Slippy the Toad again. Well, what do you want? A two-handed sword? I can deliver on that. I should definitely give you something worth your while. I want a good long reach on this thing. Probably needs the longest stick and the uh, longest blade I have going for that reach. The other stuff might be difficult to get you. Just assuming that giving them the best stuff available will help out here, but it can be really hard to get this right. For example, the swing speed, if I could just lower this down a bit. That's almost good. But it's that thrust damage that hurts. Some people have really uh, intense needs, don't they? That's practically everything. Surely you'll be satisfied with that. Yeah, on you go. Ah, <laughs> I lost a lot of money on that. But I still gained a decent amount, so that'll do you. And it gave me a lot of points, which I can throw into endurance or one-handed and two-handed. What's actually better? I mean, I, I am long overdue sinking into one-handed and two-handed here. I think I want the one and two-handed. That way I can thwack you down here. Uh, it didn't show up here. Hmm. Has Jake ever had a single happy customer? I try. Right, let's see if it takes effect after we do it here. Okay, there we go. We get the extra one, and now we'll actually get some one and two handed skills. Screw pole arming. Excellent. And that's where we're going to call it here for Mountain Blade, but not for this stream.